Richmond are still in their pose. No, Richmond are going early, I think. Look at the Crows still there. Have not moved a muscle. Now and then Taylor off. Walker takes a step, then the team break. Richard Douglas with him, Rory Sloan right beside him. They break now towards the city end. So too do Richmond to the punt road end. We are not far away from a start. The 2017 AFL Grand Final, Crows v Richmond. Tom Pike and Damien Hardwick just shook hands in the middle. The umpires uh, run to their positions. That was a magnificent rendition Wasn't of it? the uh, national anthem. And just the Crows did not batter and either, did they? They stood there. Well, it's worked for them. They've had two good starts. Here's a stat. The Crows have outscored Geelong and GWS in the first half by 13 goals. 13 goals they've started beautifully. Richmond haven't. But Richmond's second half, they've outscored at those same two teams, Geelong and GWS, by 13 goals. Well, the, all the figures are point to being an even contest, but I just think Adelaide have the more talent. Who knows the grand final, anything can happen, but the Crows are switched on. I saw Taylor Walker, heard him right during the week. Every player just said, we're here to win. Not here to muck around, we're here to win. And they're in cherry, uh, well, they tip-top shape, aren't they? They're, only missing, yep. they're missing Brody Smith and Mitch McGovern. Yep. Richmond pretty well full strength, but uh, the players that have come in are, are great players too. We can do all the stats under the sun. You know, who's better inside 50, who's better ball in hand, who can bring the heat. It's about who can it's play their game the style for 120 yeah. minutes. And I just know I'm going to get that from Richmond. We will get it from the Crows. It's going to be a cracking game. Taylor Walker going in the middle of the ground, Cotchin with him. Do so you want to see him go to the punt road in? Well, Is that I the think way? that's the way I'd go. Okay, here's the toss. Taylor Walker, Trent Cotchin. Coin goes up, coin comes down, and Taylor Walker's going to the city end. Now, I reckon he won the toss. He did. He so did. I reckon it's a swirling breeze. Look at those flags. Maybe it's not as strong as you think, Stephen, but Mark Bickley was out there. We'll ask him when he gets back in the He's won three shortly. from three, Taylor Walker, and he's gone exactly the wrong way that I've said. And you know what? They've done well. They've started well, so let's get into it. Big huddle, Richmond sent our forward bright sunshine here at the mcg conditions this perfect. is where the hush goes over this is where the captain speaks to his troops this is where he just gives them one focus whatever that one focus is it might be hitting the body it might be getting your hands on it it might be just be there for your teammate outnumber the opposition whatever it is the message has been done richmond break from their huddle taylor walker spoke to his group they break the bench for the crows again it's andy otten comes out here hugh greenwood Brad Crouch, who tends to start on there, and Kelly. And we've got Ellis, Edwards, Castagna, and also Graham. And last, before the bounce, credit to for Biob and Cox in the boys. Thank you for your contributions. The benches come down. I tell you what, things are hotting up now. Keep your eyes on the defence. Will anyone go to Trent Cotchin? There already is a bit of pushing and shoving. Cotchin going to Sloan. Uh, well, Rance, the ground, Rance, Jacobs, Scott Jenkins, Matt Crouch, Richard Douglas, and Rory Sloan. Cotchin, then, and Curvis with the ruck. Martin starting in the middle of the ground, and Prestia. Chance of star started line up. Hear the roar. Here we go. The go start Stephen. of the grand final for RAA. Here we go. Jacobs gets the first tap down onto the ground. Ball got jarred free, and umpires come in early for a free kick. It's going to go Cotchin's way. That happened exactly the same in the prelim. Oh. Gee, that's a terrible kick. Led, peeled off his man and has taken a mark. Left-hand halfback flank comes up onto the wing. Little push and a shove there by Cameron. Gets tackled from behind from Basha Hooley. Gets the arms free tonight. He started on the wing. Goes now for a shallow inside 50. Gee, that's a great contested mark by Rance. Started on Taylor Walker, right-hand halfback flank. Yeah, brilliant mark there from Rance at a super season. All Australian captains go short. They go via the Cape to Prest here. What a season he's had since coming with the Gold Coast. Looks for Grimes and Grimes marks millimeters inside the line in the pocket so adelaide won the toss so there can't be a lot of breeze out there if it is it's swirly grimes straight down the middle out towards the wing oh good mark there too taken by caddy and they're away now to hooley basher hooley brings it out to vloster now he's at center half back richmond getting a bit of early ball nice kick to nan curvis marks on the wing plays on quickly to caddy again now to dustin martin i love him you hear the roar when he kicks it wasn't a great kick but lands in no man's land trapped by rioli rioli looks at the goals rewalt back there talia rewalt neither can take it ball comes to ground this is where richmond have been so good townsend he fell over he slipped over did not get the free kick the crows come in to lend a hand Ball, is it coming out? I don't think so. Umpire will call for ball up. So a bit of danger averted then. Yeah, well, Grimes is on the bets. Rance is on Walker. Boston on Charlie Cameron. They've emptied up now. 
Looks like Asprey's gone to JJ. Some of those key match-up picks will join us shortly. Inside 50 for Richmond. Free kick. It's going to go Saucy Jacobs' way. Well, that's what happens because Nankervis empties out. Ruck was done by Rewalt. Saucy gets the first one. Gave the lead to Matt Crouch. Into the pocket. Long, loopy handball there. Ends up with the running Matt Crouch. A second touch for him. Goes long to the outer side wing. What a great leg that was. Atkins, terrific. He just led brilliantly. It was a great leg. And he's marked on that outer side wing. Two minutes gone. No big hits. Just feeling each other out like two big heavyweights. He now goes long with a loopy handball over the top. Now to D-Mac, who gave it off to Laird. He gets another touch. God, he gets some coverage of his leg. Goes now inside 50. Nan Curvis went back. Got a fist through to the ball. Charlie Cameron came charging through. Handball's forward. Lynch couldn't quite get it. Ball ends up on the ground. Ends up again with Lynch. And oh. great little leg. He's given it to Jacobs. Told to play on. He was told to play on. Briggs socking it off the ground. Talk about luck. a fortune. And I reckon the mark was paid. It wasn't paid. Now another inside 50. Getting under it is Taylor Walker. Another fist through the ball. Ball pinging around like there's no man's business. McIntosh didn't know what to do, so squirts it forward. In there's D-Mac. Can't quite get his hands on it. Should have been holding the ball. Rory Sloan and Lynch on that left-hand halfback flank. Oh, Boston. tackling. Oh, Talk about so ball yeah. up and Bix joins us. They've put the whistle away, haven't they? They haven't wow. paid a mark. There's been a couple of frees that would normally get paid. No one's complaining, though. There's some heat out there. Three gone in the village. Seven in the Hubbard Golden Grove. Time clock. Three minutes gone, no score. Unbelievable. Richmond, it's been played about 80 metres. Dustin Martin did his don't argue. It lands once again in no man's land. Ball got a bad bounce. McIntosh has been oh. good early. Copped it up though. Laird's been in everything. Oh, Dustin Martin, I thought, gave away a free kick. Umpire said play it on. Now Crouch has got his man. It's Sloan. And Rory Sloan can go back from 45 out and kick Adelaide's first goal. They just worked their way through some traffic then and Bixon ended up with Sloan. Well, I'll tell you what, Matty Crouch take a bow again. It's just the composure because he got it. He was under real heat. He lowered his eyes and Sloan had drifted forward and was able to accept about a 22-metre pass and he's going to shoot directly in front, 35, maybe 40 metres out. 18 goals for the year. He's inspirational. Rory Sloan appendix out three weeks ago and he comes. Kick on his way. Bang! Goal! Perfect start, Adelaide. That ball did not deviate from the time it left the boot. And he slotted the big sausage roll, Bix. And Adelaide lead by six points uh, on I'll the RAA scoreboard. I'll tell you what was really good was the pressure on the Richmond defenders as they came out, forcing the quick kick quickly. And Rory Laird, what a start he's had. He's had three disposals already. And that was a pivotal intercept. Got a handball moving and ended up with Matt Crouch, who, as I said, lowered his eyes and was able to get a nice pass to to Rory Sloan had gone forward. Laird's had six already. Two kicks, four handballs. What a start. Well, he's going at more than one a minute. Four and a half minutes gone. Village Tavern and Hubbard Golden Grove clock. Six points to margin. Back they go again. Matt Crouch, Rory Sloan, Richard Douglas. OK, Nan Curvis now with Jacobs. Jacobs wins it down to Rory Sloan. Hambles to Matt Crouch. Gave it to Douglas. Hamble now to Seedsman. Breaks through the corridor. On his right leg goes forward. JJ's there with Asprey. Puts up the big mitts. Can't get it. Cameron with the crumb. Kicks around his body on his left. Looks for Eddie Betts. He's in the pocket. Oh! He bobbles. Eddie Betts, goal! Oh, yes! Lost and choked! Eddie Betts' pressure was brilliant. He gets his first. The margin's 12. Two straight to no score. Eddie Betts gets his first. Well, TJM goal of the day. I tell you what, Adelaide, the work in the middle. Sloan to Matt Crouch to Douglas. Douglas was standing shoulder to shoulder with Dustin Martin. I was watching it. When Douglas received the handball from Matt Crouch, Dustin Martin had taken two steps and Douglas had run 15 metres. Paid him no respect whatsoever. Douglas gave it to Seeds when it went forward and Betts, a nice one. Just look at Charlie Cameron limping there. He's got the trainer out just looking at his leg. Got a corky Bix in that contest. TJM goal of the day. What a go, Eddie Betts. Can't give him any room at all. Cameron is limping towards the pocket, but he'll be okay. Perfect start by Adelaide. Lead by two goals. Richmond just a little bit fumbly at the moment. Martin there. Couldn't take it. They went straight at him. Crows go forward again, but I think the umpire's seen a free. Is it going to go to Dusty Martin? It will. What a year he's had. The Tell number four. M. Crouch certainly has targeted um, Koch, and he's pumped in him, I reckon, mm. five times. So Richmond under siege at the moment. Adelaide two quick goals. Sloan and Betts. Martin goes short and finds his man in Cotchen. Is that a super final series? Really elevated his status. Kicks up towards full forward. Out comes Rewald. Oh, oh what a grab. Did he play it? He has. Yeah. A drum and goal mark of the day. Jack Rewald. Now, Tali has always had his measure in recent times, but that was an exceptional grab. Well, he got a big run up at it over the back of Jake Lever, no doubt about it, it was a mark, he took it 
clunked it, stopped it, took it all the way to ground. It bobbled out. A few of the Crows players saying he dropped it, but that's a mark. And it's the big kick. 52 goals for the year. Jack Revolt, he's had many, many shots on this ground. He's an important cog in the Richmond wheel, and he needs this for their sake. Adelaide to kick the first two. Can he strike back with an accurate kick? And he comes right behind him. Leans back and has missed. Boy, got to make the most of the opportunities. He missed to the left-hand side. Adelaide lead by 11 on the RAA scoreboard. Well, Cameron's off in yeah. the hands of the trainers. Bix, keep your eye on that. And Knight is definitely running with Cochin because they both came off together. Short kick by Brown. Yeah, Knight starting on the wing and then picking up Cochin once the ball's bounced. Seven minutes gone. Hardigan's got it. Crows by 11. Looks out there for D-Mac. And it's going to go out of bounds between wing and half forward. Two straight 12 to Adelaide. One point to Richmond. We said conversion is important. That was a big miss by Rewalt. As good a mark as it was for Drummond Golf. Margin is 11. Umpire now throws it in. Out of side, halfback flank. Nan Curvis just pushed his man out of it. It was good football. Prestia diving back in there is Caddy Ock. Good work by Green, but that was outstanding on the left leg. Got a really good set of skills. Rance is there with Andy Ott, who went straight to him. Prestia came into Vlostin. Vlostin had to kick it around his body. It's going to go out of bounds on the full. No, it's just going to bounce in. It was slapped on by Rioli. Slapped on by Caddy. Still in, still in, still in. Leave it brilliant to DMAC. Gave it back to Harding and ball in hand. They're just a terrific team. He now goes goes back into the corner. Oh, oh, this is a really big kick. Needed a mark there by Walker. It wasn't. It was spoiled. Ended up in McIntosh. They're going full face of goal now. That's young Butler. Hambles now to Edwards. Edwards Titch gave it to Nan Curvis. Kicked around his body on his left. Almost a mark by Caddy. Almost a mark. Hardigan now will relieve the pressure to Atkins on that halfback flank who dropped it. But is he good enough to get away? See the tackling ferocious. A double team there. Luke Brown now throws it on the boot in the Sloan direction and bounces once. Outside the defensive 50 and out of play. Boy. Yep, just watching Charlie Cameron now. He's trying to walk it off. It's his left leg at the moment, giving him a bit of grief. Eight big minutes big gone in first quarter. Adelaide lead by 11 points. Looking dangerous when they go forward. But Richmond have had two golden opportunities. Nan Curvis, Jacobs won the tap. Presti couldn't get it. Edwards could. Sidestep the player. Dropped it. Picked it up again. Now goes over top to Presti again. He's 55 out. Spears a ball to Rewalt. He's got away. Tough angle now. He's on the other side. Right half forward flank, 45 out. Tough angle for a right footer. But he's at a sider. He's at a kick. And Talia, Talia stands the mark. Yeah, just got him on the lead there. Uh, Daniel Talia was expecting the big long kick to come in, but it was a broken tackle. And then there was time and space for the Richmond player to enter it in. It was a beautiful kick. Well, he's playing a different role these days, Jack Revolt, a real team player, unselfish. 52 goals for the year. He's got Richmond's first score today and only score. And they'll roar if this goes through. Revolt's kick. Does he like it? No, he doesn't. Once again, missed on this time on the far side. They got two behind. Adelaide have two goals, a margin of 10. Talk about mind games when you miss two early goals and or shots in a grand final. Inside 50s for Balfour's when you're ready. Bix two straight to two yep. points. Rewalt two marks inside 50. It There's was Balfour's stat. Yeah, it was five to one. It's now five to four. That's in Adelaide's favour. Okay, Brown to the outer side. Gee, that was wishful thinking. Talia was out there on Rewalt. Boston's got it. Gives it to Rewalt. He's going to have his third shot at goal. He kicks it long. He's oh, he's kicked. Wow. He has kicked three yep. points. Bix margin cut to nine. RAA score. I tell you what, I've been watching Matt Crouch on the bench as well. He came off about four minutes ago. He's been trying to get back on, but he can't get anyone close enough to him to get off. Well, keep your eyes on Cameron. That's an important part as Brown now sweeps it back towards the halfback flank. Bounces between a couple of players. Broad picked it up did really well. Got it to Ellis. Now to McIntosh. He's on the wing. They go backwards to go forward. Broad again. Oh. Lobbered it forward. Big saucy Jacobs just over his head and Nan Curvis escorts the ball over and out, 55 out from the Tigers goal, having a moment here the Tigers yep, no doubt about that, they've just been uh, winning the ball, and they haven't been able to get it out of their back half, we know Richmond are good at holding it in Cameron and Crouch on and also Laird, a triple change there, 12 plays, 3 at lead 10 and a half gone, first quarter footy on 5 double A. as we wait for Jacobs and Nan Curvis, Nan Curvis won that one, in the Edwards direction, Seisman couldn't pick it up, Martin was good got it out now towards Graham well, the ball gets transferred very quickly back to Crouch he just feeds his teammate in oh, the vision. season back towards Cameron. Cameron takes the mark. Now, Betts wants it longer, but he goes to Tommy Lynch. Good stuff here. Short ball was good. Marked by Otten. Diving mark. Kicking half out from goal. Now, Richmond will try and flood back. 
Andy Ott, what a story, inspirational story. Kicks in the Walker direction, but Taylor walk out, Mark, a good mark, they've lost and a really good mark, two on one. Well, that was a good lead up by Andy Ott, and Rance was off him, peeled off, they've got to hit those lead ups. Good football, nine points the margin, RAA scoreboard, 11 and a half minutes gone. Lost and comes out this near side, Andy Ott will go with it, so too will Jacobs. Give that a drummer golf mark of the day, he's been everywhere, saucy. So too far out to score, Ott and again. Taylor Walk empties back. Matty Crouch gets in close. On the lead again is Andy Ott. And they want to give it to him. Don't worry about that. Seedsman wants it. Now he goes into the pocket. Needs to be exact. It was. And Knight has marked the number three in the pocket. Number three is famous for Crows in grand finals. It was <laughs> Dee Jarman. It's in in Texter. Right hand forward pocket. Going towards the city end. Swirling breeze. Inside right hand post. Picks call it through. Well, I'll tell you what. That was poor defence by Richmond because Otten had a really good lead and could have easily accepted it. They then stood off Riley Knight saying he's not going to use him. And uh, Matty Crouch. Very precise by foot was able to put it to advantage. They're clearly going to hit up those lead-up targets too straight. Matty Knight, right leg. He's done no. it. No, he hasn't. Steemore Hicks. Riley Knight. 2-1 to three points. Margin 10. RAA scoreboard. Well, ball. I guess Richmond fans held their breath oh. after Jack Revolt had three pings and kicked three points. That would have been devastating if Riley Knight was able to kick through. Dagger through the heart. Vlosten takes a mark. Deep in defence. 2-1 to three points. 2017 grand final. And none of these boys have played in a grand final. Only second time in the history. Grimes, nice mark. He's got the job on bets. Had a good year too. There was a good empty out kick. That was a set piece, that one. Caddy shepherded Grimes mark. So Richmond looked dangerous going forward. They've had a few pings at goal yet to score a major. It's a nice kick. Townsend and Lever. Talia came in. Mark not paid. Comes back towards Townsend now. Also Brad Crouch. Matt Crouch has been prominent. Brad not so yet. Ball goes out of play. 55 out from the Tigers goal. Going to the punt road end. Just a big difference so far on the uh, Balfour stat sheet. Adelaide going at 75% by foot. Richmond just 57. Krug doing the ruck work with JJ. Both ruckmen are off. So up goes JJ. Josh Jenkins. Ball comes to ground. Hacked out of the air by Brad Crouch. Once again, players converge everywhere. Basha Uli did really well. The long bomb Talia. Good Read boy. it perfectly. Took a drum and golf days, mark in the days of 50. Mark Bickley saying it is. <laughs> They're not playing in Hardigan now. What can Adelaide do? Can they build some momentum? Little short pass. I don't mind going through the corridor now to Matt Crouch. Rory Laird always gets away. On the outer side now does well. Just pings it short. Adelaide out of trouble. Yeah, on the outer side, halfback flank. Ball in the hand of Kelly. 2-1-13 to three points. Margin is 10. RAA scoreboard. So Kelly taking plenty of time. 40 minutes gone, as we said. Long to that outer side wing. Big men will need to fly. Walker was one of the big men with Rance. Lost in the third man in. has been terrific, my dad. Goes back now to Ellis. Still on that outer side wing. Was going to go to Basha Hooley. Some big matchups. Grimes on Betts. Rance on Walker. Lost on Cameron. Asprey on JJ when he's there. Now he just chips it short. And Rance again has got ball in hand. He goes long to the right-hand half-forward flank. Big men will need to fly. Well, one of them there was Kelly. Ball to the ground. Driving on to it was Townsend. He got rock and rolled. Umpire says, holding the ball, the seat, the cog, the cherry, the nut. Pull it what you want. Right-hand half-back flank. Well, last, Pros get the free. Last time I, Kelly just banged it long down the line, and it was Walker versus three. They don't want to do that unless they're going to get some numbers under them. So I reckon they'll try and change direction here. They've got some numbers on this side. Not been physical this game, has it? Or high Not intensity, yet. I wouldn't have thought. Hugh Greenwood now with a footy. Another great story. Many, many stories within this game. The kick up towards Walk had one arm impeded. Hooley's been really good. Some Done some great things. Now to Lambert. Lambert fires the ball back. Here come the cavalry. Walker. Tarly was there too. He couldn't take the mark. Ball spills free. Crows on the march now. Brad Crouch sweeps it out wide towards Laird. Had that little fumble. Martin did the don't argue. Then sweeps it out to Ellis. Ellis now gathers momentum. It's a high ball. Caddy's going to set himself. Caddy from the side. Got thumped away. Lever's second effort. Really good. Comes to Atkins. To Matt Crouch has been everywhere. Oh, and what he's lost his man in Tommy Lynch. Well, he's got the Norm Smith in the bank. I know it's only early. Lynch now pulls the trigger. Goes to oh. Walker. Dropped it. Got to be a free kick for Hyatt. Was lucky. Otten is out on the outer side. He's out. He was told to play on. Holding the ball. Well, they call play oh, no. on. What a big call. He got holding the ball. Lost in the game. Got that one. Chip kick now to Basha Hawley. Looks to be the plus one. Hambles over to Nan Curvis. He gave it back to Vlosten. Get his stats for Balfour's and the inside 50. Goes into the pocket. Castagna runs out. He's got it. Lever's got him. He hambles out to the running butler. He squirts the ball into the pocket. And that's a terrific mark Caddy. by Caddy. Left hand forward pocket. They're going to have their fourth shot oh, at goal. Played on. That was brilliant. He played on. Opens the angle. 
And there's the yellow and black wall. Oh, that's their first. Big error on the outer side. Walker looks a little bit proppy for mine. Two under one three. Well, he played on well, no, no, it was no, silly football no, in the end. What happened was margin it, four points. It was a free kick that Walker earned, and Otten picked the ball up and took off. He took the advantage when there was no advantage. He had a bloke right alongside of him. He tackled him, holding the ball. All of a sudden, the ball goes down the other end, and Richmond kick a goal. So Andy Otten was the one that made the mistake. Taylor Walker had earned the free kick. Unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes. He obviously didn't realise he was hot, so uh, back to a pretty even game now. Let's have a look. Oh, Crouch, it certainly is. Matty Crouch has had nine. Laird's had seven. Lost in seven. Martin, five. They're the leading stat winners, thanks to Balfour. Just saw the paint professionals replay spot on there, Bix. Andy Otten should let Taylor Walker have it. Sometimes they play on and without regard for what's coming forward. Presti did well to Cochin and the Tiger Army go forward again. Kelly in the way she dropped off his chest. He'd like that moment again. It's time to pick it up. Atkins now with a long ball. Eddie Betts started behind, got in front and went behind again. Grimes with him. Grimes won the one-on-one. -on -one. Betts still pursuing him. McIntosh was good. Presti's been prominent. Works it up towards half oh. forward. Nice Mark Lever. Jakey Lever, will this be his last game for the Crows? Who knows? Atkins to Laird. Oh, he caught oh, Gone holding the ball. See, this taking a little bit of extra time and Richmond a chance to go forward. Well, it was a great tackle by Rewalt on that outer side wing. They're had, starting to get themselves into it. Four had points to margin. To. That's why he held on to it. He's looking up. He didn't want to kick to the extra number, so he held on to it. And got well, that's tackled. the pressure. Rewalt now goes to the right-hand halfback flank. Big fist by Talia. Ball on the ground. The crumbing's been outstanding by Richmond. Greenwood was terrific there with those long arms. Now to Laird. He's marked and he plays on. Gives it out now to Kelly. Kelly with that left leg to the right-hand half-forward flank. Jenkins in front. On him is Rand. They're rolling off of everyone. That was a big fish through the ball. Ended up again with Kelly. Now to Brad Crouch. Out of side wing still. Brad Crouch. Good boys to JJ. Gives it to Lynch. Here's the kick. Lynch inside 50. Ott with the fly. Lost in there. Out the back is Charlie Cameron. He's got the pace, but he doesn't look right. Good work by Charlie. Held by Greg. No free kick. Asprey handles over the top. Oh. Dan Curvis messed it up. Charlie Cameron's pressure again to Dan Curvis. He gets rock and roll. It's got to be holding the no, ball. Hold the man to holding the man from Cameron to Greg. Right hand half. Back flank, two under one three, margin four, Adelaide's way, RAA scoreboard. Yeah, he just fell over, Charlie, and as he fairly dragged the Richmond player down. He's, he's got a sore left calf, Bix. Six and even contest, isn't it? Really yeah. is between the two. Is Grig now up in the caddy direction? McKay with him. Back towards yeah. left, been outstanding free kick of the Tigers. That matchup's not great for Adelaide. McKay on caddy. McKay just knew caddy's real strong in the air and just tried to use his body to get him out of it. But gave away See, what Knight's doing a great job on Cochin. Don't worry about that. Really roughing him up. Margin four points. Josh Caddy now, a high ball. Hardigan's going to set himself in front. Should take the mark almost. Umpire paid it. Yep, they had to. Actually, almost come out of the chest and the crowd on this side saw it. It's been a bit shaky. Kyle Hardigan with a few of his short kicks. I think he might be inclined to go along the line here. Adelaide need a settler. They started off in fine style. A couple of goals in the last goal went to the Tigers. Hardigan down the line. Jacobs down Kervis. Neither can take the mark. Beat Hooley. Douglas was good to Krauts. Krauts wanted the holding a man. Probably should have got it. Didn't. Edwards in oh, there. Hands oh, are good. Brilliant. Gives it off to Hooley to Martin. Justin Martin takes about three on. Took four on in the end. Back to Shane Edwards. It was a wobbling ball. It was a shocking kick in the end. Hard one to gather. Kelly couldn't gather it. Here go the Tigers again. Rioli in there again. Now the through Atkins. This is a big turnover here. Douglas made a bad kick. Look okay. He fends up a man. They swarm on him. And oh, he's been no. done for holding the ball. Oh, be serious? No Yellow prior jumpers everywhere. I Yellow guess, jumpers everywhere. Unless he said the fend off was prior opportunity, he had no other option. So Ellis goes forward. Martin now leads the race. Good football from behind by Brown crumbing in, but Martin somehow got it from Atkins. Kicked around his body. G knew he hit the target. Basher Hooley shot it. Goal. He's kicked it. He's been awesome. Crowd goers won. Martin touches it. Something happens, and it did. And they hit the lead by two points. They being Richmond. 2-1 to 2-3, and that's on the RAA scoreboard. Well, one thing Richmond have done is they've been able to build a wall in their front half, so a couple of times Adelaide have tried to come out and tried to come through the middle, and it just hasn't worked. The Richmond defenders have had their numbers in the right spot. They've chopped it off in their own half, and they've gone back and scored, and that was a case of that. Looking for Richard Douglas, it was the pass coming out of the fence. It missed him. The turnover came, and how good was Dustin Martin? He's had seven disposals going at 86% efficiency at the moment. Very good player. For Balfour stat, Basher Hooley, the plus one, hasn't he been awesome? Yeah, he's had uh, six disposals, three kicks, three handles. Vlosten also across half-backs had seven. Well, the Tigers in front, 2-3 two, to 2-1 two, Adelaide. A bit of a drought recent times, haven't scored for quite a while. Back in the centre now. Nan Curvis 
and also Jakes will be pivotal, but the Tigers go forward. Trent Cotton, it's a high ball. Revolt gets here. Talia gets in. I can get a glove on it. Mopping up the back of the pack was Laird. It's got caught once today. Finds Brown. Brown almost caught. Got boot the ball. Tigers keep pushing hard. Crouch has been outstanding. That's Mac Crouch. Sloan pushed off the ball by Cotchen. Seedsman tried to get him. Cotchen somehow got it to Graham. The young man playing game number five. Whoa. Didn't do much with it as he'd been done for throw he has. Yeah, he grabbed him by the arm and he just had the little handover with one hand there. So great work by Sloan. Well, it's cranked up a bit now. Sloan now to Lever. They got a bit of space. He should go to Kelly. Might go further. He's going to bide his time. Bounce number three. He's got to keep going. and have another bounce. He does. He's got to hit Walker now. From half back. Goes long and strong. And went straight through Hooley's hands. That was a mistake. Walker. Oh. Claimed the footy. Found Otten. On, on the on lead now. Now they're running hard. They're storming through the centre. Riley Knight has the footy. Betts in the pocket. It goes towards him and beyond. Jenkins. Betts. Can someone take a mark? Oh, oh someone can. Name Curvis. Puts a free kick anyhow. Rance will take it. And they dodge a bullet. Well, Rance pulls the trigger comes to Presti. They've been terrific in the back half, Richmond. Well, that's what Jenkins has to do. He has to get that the ground. Betts was on the deck. Okay, here comes the turnover. Walker's got it in the pocket. Does a kick. Presti smothers. Out of bounds, 45 metres around from that right-hand post. It was a good little contest. Mm. Eddie Betts shepherded. Ball inside 50. 2-1 Adelaide. Richmond 2-3. Margin is two points on the RAA scoreboard and we play 23 minutes. The 2017 AFL Grand Final. A lot of changes. Hardigan goes on. Brett Crouch wants to get on. Boundary line throw in inside 50. Uh, Jacobs didn't get hand on it. Gee, they've done terrifically well out of there. Good kick out of the pack. Ends up with Lever. He pushed his man out. Then goes back inside 50. Jenkins! Oh. Could've, he could have died for that. Rance was on him out of bounds. 20 metres around from that right-hand post. Well, Peppering them in, Bix. What are those Balfour stats? Yeah, the inside 50s are 11 to Adelaide, 14 to Richmond. So Richmond has shaded them after Adelaide had five of the first six. OK, boundary throwing again inside 50 for Adelaide. Jacobs gets in front. Nan Curvis with him. Jacobs wins it. Rory Sloan couldn't quite get it. Martin kicked it with Greek. And here's that man again. He's been good. He's been good. Yeah, notice uh, Cameron's alongside him now. I just wonder whether they might have just see if they can shut him down. And what what number for Hooley there? Bix, we get a chance. Kick, kick out to Ash. Asprey now, Walker tried to corral him. David Asprey's had a super year. That's oh. out of bounds deliberately, surely. Yeah, they had it? Hooley's had seven. Wills, yeah. thanks to Balfour's. Great footy by Walker then, wasn't it? Yeah, his, his pressure's well, been good. Hooley's had seven and a goal. 2-3 two, to 2-1. Two, so Adelaide just stifled a bit at the moment. The Richmond defence has been good. As Douglas kicks up towards full four. Jacob's at the back. Could it take the mark? Sloan could. Sloan for a second, yes! Good boy. Well done, Rory Sloan. Kicks it 18 rows back. Something out of nothing. The ball came off hand. Sloan in the right spot at the right moment. And has kicked a terrific goal. His second, a TJM goal of the day. And Adelaide snaps back the lead to lead by four. Yeah, look, it's great work by Jacobs. We saw the last time it went in. It was Jenkins versus the big fella, Nan Curvis and Rance. That's always going to be hard for the big man. Jacobs goes back there. All of a sudden, Nan Curvis is worried about Jacobs not marking it. The ball comes to ground, and Rory Sloan, what a star. Just had the composure. He's going to quickly snap it on his boot. He just caught himself, took an extra step, steadied, and kicked it beautifully. Okay, in the middle of the ground, Greenwood goes straight in there with Brad Crouch. Source has been outstanding. Rory Sloan with two goals. RAA scoreboard. It is Crows by eight points. Umpy taps it down. It was a good bounce. Rory Sloan's going to get it. It was good work there by Sloan to Greenwood. Looks a little bit lively. Goes to the outer side. Douglas runs out there. Board with the fist. Seedsman with the don't argue. Back to Douglas who fumbled. Now he gets a quick kick inside 50. Out there's JJ. In there is Rance. Ball goes over the top of both of their heads. Oh, he fumbled that brilliantly, Rance. And through for a point. Let's check that score. Adelaide 3 2 20. I reckon they're going into a breeze there's no doubt about that for me Richmond 2 3 15 margin there's a neat nine points mm. RAA scoreboard and that's better by Jenkins he made sure that Rance couldn't mark it and set up an attack all of a sudden the ball's on the deck and they force it through for a See, some big numbers for Adelaide Atkins to start at world two Hawley kicked to himself and kicked it another 55 Lever tried to get in the contest couldn't loose ball Went past to Lambert, picked up by Greenwood, fires it back in the bets direction, two on one here, little Eddie Kinnick, no, he can't take the mark. And Blostin for the second time has taken a very oh. good mark. What happened there? Was it touched? Oh, holding the ball then, you clown. Well, no, no, it's touched. touched off the boot, so I don't think he knew the play at the other end, but... No poor opportunity. Let's have a look here, chance now, it's at the head of the goal square, Adelaide lead by five. And they're circling like sharks. Watch Eddie Betts, he gets on the move at these ones. Knights is there. Riley Knight as well. Where's Betts? Comes to Greenwood! Greenwood! 
once again off the big Rackman's hands. Greenwood, following Sloan in style, has kicked another goal. And Adelaide get two goals in time on. And the lead now picks out to 11. Give that a TJM goal today. What about Hugh Greenwood? One kick, five handballs last week. It's the first quarter. He's had six kicks and a handball, and now he's got a goal. Can he's I had... just say, I had a look at the paint professionals replay. He's so smart by Source Jack. He was on his own. They yeah. could have gone to the stars, like you said, Betts, but no, 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 no. Huey Greenwood. Yeah. <laughs> Two late goals. Greenwood's been outstanding. Crouch 10, Led 9, Atkins and Greenwood 7. Been the key ball winners, all thanks to, to Balfour's. Okie dokie, back into the middle we go. 4 2, 26 to 2 3, 15. Time on here in the first quarter, RAA scoreboard. Up they go, down they go. Nan Curvis has been terrific. Number one team for centre oh. square clearances. Good work by Green with those big long arms. Edwards dives in. Green with another tackle. Martin put himself in there. Little kick by Grigg out of the pack. Going back and taking it as Brown. Here's the play on now. Beautiful work to Lever. Lever to this near side. Atkins who's been absolutely busy for Balfour. He goes pumpy, pumpy. We're going to hold the damn thing up. Yeah, pretty certain there's Matty Bode on the boundary line just telling him how long to go, so not long. 11 points, first quarter, Adelaide's way, empties right up. Oh, Eddie Betts should be a mark. Umpire said play on. Andy on said, mate, umpire, no. what are you doing, dude? Right-hand <laughs> half-forward oh, flank baller. Big, Gee, that was a big fly big by Eddie. Five, yeah, what's the paint professional's replay? Oh, just never controlled it. Just bounced on the deck. Okay, 11 points, the margin. Again, Jacobs, colossal, comes out, going through his D-mark. Oh. Oh, he's unreal. Oh, he got tackled brilliantly by Greenwood. Almost to don't argue. Prestia got the crumbs, comes out. Lever with the fist. It was a massive fist, but it was back into the dangerous territory of the corridor. Good little kick off the ground by Lambert. Here's an important one. Big slap by Caddy out the back. Was Hardigan numbers with the Crows. Gives a handball to Richard Douglas. Beautiful footy. Off his left shoe goes to the outer side. Cameron just doesn't look like he's got a set of wheels on him. It's a foot race in two. It's Cameron and Broad. Broad and Cameron. Cameron and Broad still on the outer side wing. Tackle. Out of bounds on the floor. Oh, no, boundary throw in. <laughs> On the outer side wing, 4 2 26. That's Adelaide Richmond, 2 3 15, margin 11. Getting a little bit dark here at the MCG. It is. And, and what about the Adelaide defence? He's holding up oh. well. Kelly, Hardigan, Brown, Lever, all doing really well. 28 gone in the village tavern time clock, and Adelaide snare another one. They've got the last couple. Richmond a chance to advance now. On the outer side's Prestia for the high ball. Townsend goes up. Siren sounds. What a quarter of footy. A really good quarter from both teams. Adelaide got the first couple of goals. Richmond hit back to hit the lead. And the last couple in time on red time. Goals to Sloan and Greenwood. See Adelaide on, lead on, by 11. On. There's a free, free kick, kick on the outer side. No, just, after the siren. Well, he's going to have to kick it 68 metres, I reckon. Is that Townsend? Yeah, pushing the back. He's paid on lever. As Serious? The siren word. We saw Jaden Hunt up in well, Darwin. I, didn't I know him, it's different here. I didn't give him any chance. But Jacob Townsend, he's going to... Have his right shoulder will be leaning out. He had to move a chair because the umpire wants him to lean up against the fence. He's had a remarkable uh, few games, 14 goals in about four games. And the young fella now, it's a tough kick. Get everyone down there on the line. Be lucky to score, you'd think. Oh, kick straight in the man, straight in the head. Oh, well done, yeah. Lever. Jakey Lever goes in as a crack at him. It's on now on the other side. Players come from everywhere. Caddy, look at Caddy go. Here's uh, the thing for me. If Lever's not going to be there next year, I'd say to him, you know what? You can get reported, and then the opposition team you go to can get it. I've got to say, Bix, we go to the break, what get a quarter of 40. Out. He's lived up to everything we wanted. Oh, through. boy. It's Brilliant. a titanic tussle with Adelaide leading by 11. I had a little heart moment there. When he kicked into the man, I'm, you thought think, I'm thinking, yeah, don't go over 50. the mark, Jake. That's the only way they could have possibly scored, but he was good. He, he didn't encroach over the mark. As the players come in now, each of their camps, I tell you what, there's a few blokes taking some deep breaths because it's been fast and furious and, and there hasn't been anything, uh, no quarter given. And a lot going between the two teams. Leave a bit of finger pointing there to Jack Revot. We're going to take a break. Stay with us. It's Grand Final 2017. Adelaide, it's a thrilling game. 4-2-26. The Tigers, 2-3-15. Welcome back to the MCG. 4-2-2-3. Two, two, a terrific uh, quarter from both teams, really. But Adelaide are le leading and Bix, you've got a a good step there. Three of their key forwards have hardly touched it. Well, Jenkins has had one handball. Uh, Betts has had one kick. Walker's had one kick. So, some upside for Adelaide. The other thing as well, uh, contested possession is very much in Richmond's favour as well. 41 to 36. So, they're winning it when it's been bobbling around in the ground. So, it's hard work for Adelaide because we know Richmond are going to get some numbers back. But on the other hand, Adelaide have looked really steady down back. Laird's had nine. Um, who else? Hardigan's had six. Lever, Brown. Uh, all those guys across half-back have had five and six amongst them. Uh, inside 50s, 14 to Adelaide, 
15 to Richmond and, of course, Adelaide. As we uh, have come to expect, six shots on goal, four goals, two to Richmond, two goals, three. Jack Revolt, who normally is one of the most beautiful kicks you can ever see with that beautiful technique, kicked three behinds. He may well rue a couple of those first set shots. Yeah, well said, Vic, except for Balfour's 4-2 two to 2-3. Two, and a bit of... Uh... A little bit of anger between the two teams on the quarter time. Soren Townsend kicked it straight into Jake Lever and there's a bit of banter there. Mm. So maybe the game will heat up. But, Robbie, you're right. Early on, it was really just like a minor round. There weren't any big clashes, were there? But it's fast. It was fast yeah, and furious. It, it picked up a bit. Keeping an eye on Charlie Cameron had a lot of attention by the physio there at quarter time. He got a knock to that left calf. He's got it heavily strapped. Coming off is Andy Otten, Lever. So too Brad Crouch and Greenwood, who was fantastic. Goal scorer Sloan with two. Eddie Betts with one. Greenwood with the other one. 4 2 26 is on target to kick 100. First to 100 wins. 2 3 15. Getting dark here. Lights are on. It is Richmond versus Adelaide. The AFL Grand Final. Glider Roll Garage Doors scoreboard. Here we go. Start of the second. 11 points to the margin. Ball ends up now with Lynch who ran through the ball. Crashing through a game was Douglas on hands and knees. So too Gotch and secondary stoppage. Light rain falling and we've got ourselves another ball up. Bix, light rain falling. Yep, and just another uh, interesting stat. Uh, Luke Brown on Daniel Rioli. Rioli's had one touch. Glideral garage door scoreboard. Adelaide by 11. What a game of footy. It's the grand final. No tomorrow for the lose. That's for sure. The winner's oh. rebel. Gee, big hit there. Townsend came off his line. Crack, cracked in hard. Richmond are cracked yeah. in really yeah. hard. Free kick Adelaide though. It's going to be Kelly. He did that well, Kelly. Yeah, just got his head over the footy. They protect you when you put your head over it and came at hard. But what about David McKay's attack on the ball about a, a couple of seconds earlier was outstanding. Jake Kelly, an amazing story this year. The kick wobbled off the boot, favoured nobody. Nan Kervis bent down to pick it up. Douglas put his body in the line, put his shoulder to the wheel. He got caught quickly <laughs> and there'll be a ball up out of side. Yes, that was uh, Lambert who was coming the other way. Lucky, I think he suspected Douglas was coming hard at him and he just braced himself for contact. Jacobs, Nan Kervis, Sloan's kicked a couple of goals, almost won the free kick. Seeds from there, what can he do? Puts up a high ball. Where's Walk? He's been quiet. Betts is there. Uh, also Cameron, Cameron and Ellis. Off hands, out of bounds it goes. Right Tell you what, Rance pocket. is doing a lot of grabbing of Taylor Walker. Right? The umpies are looking at that. 4 2 26 2 3 15 Glider old garage doors scoreboard early. One and a half minutes here in the second quarter. Inside 50 for Adelaide. Light rain still falling. Jacobs taps the ball forward. Running through again was Dan Curvis. He missed it. Eddie Betts will have a shot at goal. It's in the air. It's in the air. And it's just oh, missed dangerous. to this near side. I still think the breeze is borrowing to that punt road in the way the Crows are going. He gets the lead out now to a neat 12 points. It was a great snap. Kick in now. Long ball. Rioli's been quiet. Brown's done a real lock job on him. Hardigan couldn't take the mark, spills over the top now. Atkins has been good, finds D-Mac round the body, over the shoulder. Sloan's got to go here. Sloan will always go. He knew they were coming. They didn't get him, though. He's a long kick, Rory, but he goes short and finds Lynch. Oh, that is Oh, lost it, hit him hard after, too. Is that a 50? Nah, look, he's, he's put his hand up and it's somewhere near the ball. We made him earn it. See, Rory Sloan was good there. Probably could have got the carry, but he saw Lynch. In a better position, this lad, the conduit, has been outstanding well, it's good all work, year. Good work by Walker as well because uh, Dave McKay hooked it back in. It looked like Sloan going back. The Walker coming out was going to clean him up, but just pulled and protected Rory Sloan. Got to love Tommy Lynch. 31 goals for the year. He's a wonderful player, and he too pulls the ball. For almost the same kick as Jack Revolt in the yeah. first quarter. Misses to the left-hand side. Adelaide 4-4, the Tigers 2-3. Yeah, light rain still falling, lights on margin is 13 points, Glotterol Garage door scoreboard, you've got to kick your kicks, you've got to kick those goals, Ellis kicks to himself out this near side, the members side long, almost up onto the wing, in front oh. was Jacobs, what a mark, he plays on to Douglas, Douglas will spear the ball for Walker, diving spore was in a unique spore from behind Rance, ball jars free Prestia kicks it to the outer side it's Talia and Rewalt, Rewalt and Talia oh Talia overran it, Rewalt with him with pressure, coming through as oh. Martin third man in, you heard Wilds, oh oh Back now to Edwards, too far out to score, squirts it forward. Rewalt takes a mark, still rain falling, left hand forward pocket. He's just too nimble for um. Talia had the turning Talia, circle yeah, to Queen Mary. He, yeah, he panicked, just, it, he panicked. Didn't sit up for him, but it's a really dangerous kick though going for Walker. You try and hit a bloke leading at 40 metres in the corridor. You know if that gets spoiled, that's going to hurt you. Well, Lynch missed one 30 seconds ago. Now Rewald's got it. He's going towards the city end. He's in the left-hand forward pocket. He's played well apart from his kicking. Well, this is about his fourth shot at goal. I tell you what, he's been great. He can kick straight. 
Breeze going over his shoulder. He opens it up. Kicks around his body. He's hit it a little bit. Skinny, oh, but no! he's got it. No one on the goal line. You're Kitty kidding. mistake. You're kidding. Or well, do you reckon Kelly upstairs. just got it? They're going to go upstairs. I reckon that's over the line. It looked to be a goal, and you're right. There was no one that standing on the line. That is a kiddie mistake without no, a shadow of a doubt. It's over that's the line. Goal. Well, they can't see from that angle. The ball's got to be completely over the line. Kelly just got a hand on it. One. Here's a better angle. No, that's oh, that's a goal. The goal up by goal. a goal, didn't he? That's a goal by the video replay. He got a touch on it. This is an important decision. And the whole ball has to be over the line. I can see a little bit of line, yep. a little bit of footy. It'll go back to the umpire's call, I reckon. Low at range, still falling. Take it's a goal. The time. It's a goal. Rewalt's got a goal. Kitty mistake by Adelaide. Rewalt, massive turnover in the context of that game for sure. And he's cut the margin of seven. He's got his first. Well, the other thing it does, it takes the pressure off, off of uh, Jack Rewalt because... Had that been touched, he would have had four shots at goal for four behinds. Now he's got a goal alongside his name. He takes a big sigh of relief, and the next one he lines up for, he's feeling much more comfortable. The big zap ball went through 18 knee, inches off yeah, the ground. Knee high. It, and yeah. just makes you wonder, where was uh, some of the other Adelaide defenders? Well, Di Talia should have mopped that up. He's a little bit touchy-touchy, I reckon. Adelaide by Come seven. On, uh, Jack Revolt's come out of the blocks firing today. Still raining. McIntosh got the job on Tommy Lynch on the wing here. Jacobs and Ann Curvis at each other all day. Ball comes to Koch and gets first lick at it. Over here to Atkins. Rioli's been really quiet. They got him again. Trying to burst his way through. The free kick is Rioli or Townsend? Holding the man. No, it's come back to Rioli, I think. So he played that super game in the prelim. He's a good player, good young player. It's a very famous name, Rioli. He's going to go for home. And a spearing kick up towards the pocket. Pushing and shoving. Good oh. mark there. Jack Kelly. That was brilliant. Made a mistake a moment ago, but redeemed himself with a lovely mark. Light rain still falling here. Adelaide lead by seven. Six minutes gone, second term, and Kelly now brings it along the wing. Who can take a mark? Sloan in front. Asprey got hand of the ball. Lambert forwards it up towards centre. Half forward. Oh, good mark. Hardigan again as Caddy closed quickly. Well, he's been a rock. We give that a drum and golf mark today. He's had a couple of chesties. 4 4 28, 3 3 21. We reckon the Crows have got the breeze at their back. Light rain falling, as oh. we said. Oh, Knight got met heavily by McIntosh. Hits the ground running. Gave it off now to Atkins. Spears it. Off to Lynch. Back to Atkins. Back to Rory oh. Sloan. Hamble got smothered off the boot. Diving in his Matt Crouch. Knight there with the Shepherd. Matt Crouch was brilliant. Good work again by Caddy and Lambert. Lynch now with the Hamble. Hamble's over the top to Jacobs. He can go to Sloan, under pressure, Sloan to the left hand half forward flank, Cameron goes back with it, so too Rance yeah. Tyler Walker let up, Rance stayed back he took the mark, he's brilliant at that empties out, Ellis, left hand half back flank, Crows by 7 points yeah, it was nice by Ellis, he just held Cameron off so he couldn't come in and cannon into wonderful Rance. courage from Rance, as young Graham now gets it back to Brandon Ellis in a high kick in the revolt direction, who's led Talia Merry dance, the two dinosaurs go Jacobs and Ann Kerbis Jacob slapped the towards the boundary and they let it go. It might be deliberate, it yeah, is. Yeah. He made no real attempt to keep it in. Greg with a footy. No one stands to mark again. Adelaide need to get a wriggle on. Greg's high ball. Here come the cavalry. Big back group of eight players went out of Douglas met the ball with purpose. Ellis met him quickly, almost <laughs> simultaneously. And the ball comes to a halt. True centre half ball. Here's about for stat. I reckon Douglas has touched it five times and been counted in there five times, hasn't he? Four, four to three, I three. Like Game it, on here. Margin seven points. Glotterol garage door scoreboard. Eight minutes gone. Second quarter. Jacobs has been terrific. Gets it out. Martin got around one, two, three. Hasn't got a left leg, so goes inside out. Laird comes back with a fly to the ball. Rewalt handballed out to no one in particular. He heard Rioli. Knight's with him. Knight and Rioli. Rioli and Knight slapped on again by Knight. So do Rioli. Back into the goal squared. Laird gave on the up to Seedsman. I love how the wings just empty back and get it. Goes to the outer side wing. Cameron now over the top of him. Cameron's oh. got it. It's sitting through. Eddie Betts is breaking. Knights is baking. He had a bounce. Has one bounce. Goes inside forward. Knight. Can it sit for him? It's bouncing and wobbling. Oh, it's a terrible oh. bounce. Socket through for a point by Rance. Eddie was out. Charlie no, just didn't have the composure. He, he could have kept going through for a point. Margin eight. That is an opportunity lost. I think well, he did the right, made the right decision, but Riley oh. Knight overran the footy with no one between him and the goals. And it could be the call of the year for you, Robbie. You let everybody down. Cameron now redeems himself on the left shoe. Nice kick. That's better. So deja vu. It's a Cameron tonight. This time he's marked it. Eddie's in the goal square on his own. Eddie wants it long. Jenkins also. Oh, superb. They go short to Walker. Very quiet. First term to Tex Walker. Now he can do the miraculous. This is not beyond him. Tight angle. 
Taylor Walker, you prefer him on the angles maybe than dead in front picks. <laughs> yeah, well, this is just his second touch. He's had one kick. It was good work by Knight. Just waited. He was probably right on his limit, so waited for Walker to get free. Well, I'm Come backing on, him in. I am backing him in. He's right for the punt. Will he try the banana or the, or the drop punt? Drop punt. Walker now. Can he kick a captain's goal? Boy, you've backed the wrong horse there. Almost to Jenkins. Jenkins again. Slaps it in towards his teammate. The hurry kick. It might go through a minor score. Gets slapped off about three pairs of hands. It is a minor score. Adelaide now lead by nine. 30 plays, 21. Nine gone second term. Come on, Texan. 4 6 3 3. 10 minutes gone. Lights on. Still light rain falling here. MCG Why not early the kick side in the then? second. Uh, a bit far out, I reckon. He would have backed himself to be good enough to kick a drop punt from there. Okay, Basha Hooley kicks to himself to the outer side. Rory Sloan, what a great mark up by Page, and he got two in the first quarter. Rory Sloan with all the courage that he plays with. He now goes long inside 50. Eddie Betts with the crumb. Jenkins pushes off his man, but that's Rance again. That man, yeah. Rance four again. On one. They're going to need this someone else to help Jenkins out. He can't compete against four if you're going to kick it in long and high. That Dick. man, Rance again. Dick Green was three, two. He missed him, but Rance has got terrific hands. The ball to the far side. Revolt provided a contest. Seedsman after it. Boundary line and Seedsman. Boundary line one. Out of bounds in front of the great Southern Stands. A great game of footy. Just looking at Eddie Betts. Got his hand up, signalling to the bench. He wants the runner to come out and have a chat with him. Okay, so Eddie's plenty of happy with the way the ball's coming forward. Might have to some moves. So Jacobs now saying, I'm the Ruckman. Jacobs and Grigg. Jacobs should win this. Gets his front, big frame in front. Slapped it down beautifully. But it's kicked off the ground to no one's advantage. Back to Mike Garner. Is that the <laughs> Chance gone begging oh, there. Yeah, it was. Could have had a shot from 40 bits. Well, he, he just stepped off the line. He was only 30 metres out. Lambert. And the, and the umpire called him play on. Crows by nine points to bout for stats. Get them shortly. Jacobs wants to come on. Matt Crouch has been on the bench. For an eternity. For an eternity. He's the super important player inside the stoppage. Now they go. Jacobs. Oh, I mean, Grigg didn't even go for that. They got it down to the ground. Greenwood couldn't get it. Edwards has been brilliant with ball in hand. Hamble's in traffic to Caddy. Has a shot at goal across the face. Going back is Rewalt. Good work by Talia. And through for a point. It was a backhander. Eddie comes off. Andy Ott will go on a small Finally. for a tool. And it's gone out of bounds. And uh, a point. <laughs> Eight points to the margin. Crouch still off. Yeah, Adelaide's inside, way. Inside 50s, 21 to Richmond, 20 to Adelaide. Thanks to Balfour. Well, it's game on now. It's really tightened up. It's only eight points. Goals hard to come by. And the Crows now from the far side. Laird. Little legs pumping hard. Kicks back towards the wing. Evades about five players. Cameron gets possession. Wobbles it in front. Wants a free kick. Walker's forced to go. Asprey there. Put his head down. Done pretty well so far. Tried to find Lambert's had a super year as well. Jenkins with him. Lambert off the ground. He wobbled it another 15 metres forward. It, and then it goes out of bounds. They say chuck it in. Well, that was exactly the same as the one here. 4 6 is tighten up, Bix. 3 4 22, margin 8. 14 minutes gone. Village Tavern in the hub of the Golden Grove clock. And there's a boundary throwing on the outer side. Again, Grigg just stands there. He doesn't even go up for it. So Jacobs now gets another easy tap down to Brad Crouch, to Matt Crouch. Matt Crouch off his non-preferred. Goes looking for Jenkins. Pushed in the back. No free kick. Rance has been absolutely superb. Every time he's in the vicinity, he either spoils it, marks it, gets it, or kicks it. Out of bounds, out of side wing. This yeah. second quarter, out there to kick four behinds. Richmond just the one shot, one goal. Yeah, it's a stalemate, really is. A real arm wrestle at the moment, Bix. As you might say, a tug of war. Slow now. Wobbles off the boot. McIntosh in the way. What can he do? He had the job on Lynch there for a while. has been really good and took a courageous mark. Just one pour out. Plays on quickly. Has got a man running impressed oh. here. He needs to get back up and about. Laird again. The little fellow. He's a champion player and a champion bloke. Brilliant. And he did some brilliant stuff to Lynch. Tommy Lynch turns round. Kicked in the head abroad. That would have hurt. Hooley got the rebound. Thought it was a mark. Can't mark it like that. In come Rioli to Martin. Martin sidestepped to McIntosh. The left foot who's down there. Rewalt gets back. With him is Hardigan. They might have made the change there. Castagna and Lever. Boundary line wins out. Left full forward pocket in front of the big scoreboard. Oh. It's 4-6 to 3-4. And it's game on. Tighten up. They're the best second half team in the finals, Richmond. Crows are the best starting team. So they'd be very happy with being just the eight points mm. down. 15 minutes into the second quarter, an inside 50 for Richmond. Again, Jacobs is all over them to Matt Crouch. He gets a kick out of the pack, playing behind was Greenwood. Ellis was in front. Light rain falling again, has a shot, and it's gone oh. out of bounds. Gee. Gee, it's a game of millimetres. Yeah. Another stoppage inside 50 yeah. alongside the left-hand point post. Well, it was a rush kick forward, and it was Jake Lever was tracking it back, and it bounced a millimetre inside. So great result for Richmond. They got a stoppage. 
OK, so boundary line stoppage inside 50. Again, Grigg with Jacobs. Jacobs wins another one to Brad Crouch. Brad Crouch will handle on the oh, outside dear. to Matt. It was a shocker. Matt gets tackled over the line, and that's great pressure by Richmond. Yeah, Give credit where it's due. That was outstanding, and Counts it's out of bounds. It, it? Left-hand halfback flank. He got absolutely speared into the ground, Matt Crouch, didn't he? Yeah, I would have thought that's a free kick all day, every day. He's a bull, that Townsend. That's who he's there to do, just provide pressure. He certainly yep. did then. Four, six, yeah, three, four. That, didn't he? Everybody on the edge of their seats. It's grand final. Stakes are massive. Tigers have come well and truly back in the game. D-Mac, Dave McKay, wobbled it towards the wing. Lynch got rock and roll. Cameron tried to pick it up. It's hot legs, football back no, to Lynch. Legs got taken out from underneath. Now to, now to Jacobs. They play it on. Andy Otten in there. Oh. Rance again. Tried to claim the free kick. He got the crumb. Grimes and underground kick towards McIntosh. It's set up beautifully. Him. Now to Edwards. Now they're moving forward. Gloucester. Ringer, ringer, Rosie. Went, did a full 360. Works into the pocket. Townsend back there. Oh, oh two on one. Big clash of players. Big clash of bodies. But Richmond can reset. Also holding on. Free kick. Free kick oh, from Tigers. Oh, no. It's played it against Jake Lever. Jake Lever put his body up against the Richmond player whilst Kelly came over the top. Can't wait for the paint professional well, replays well, coming on now. Well, I think the jumper did get pulled off the body Here picks. we go. Yeah, yeah have a look. All day, every day, that just, one. Just to set the scene, last time we had this equation, Townsend had the kick. Lever stood the mark. He kicked it straight in the face of Jake Lever. That was after the siren, and that was 55 out. Bix, this is only 40 out, 45-degree angle. Yeah, um, just it was unnecessary by Lever. He's reaching around. He's trying to corral him, but he's... I reckon it was almost subconsciously grabbed a fistful of Guernsey just to keep him where he wanted him. The umpire saw it. Eight one from set shots. He was kicking him through before the game from this very spot. There's pressure on this kick. Oh, it's oh. a beauty. He did that before the game, and he did it when he counted. And the Tigers come from everywhere. Townsend, 15th goal of the year. Remarkable start the former Giants. And all of a sudden, Vicks, it's a two-point ball game on the Glider of Garage Store scoreboard. Yeah, and it's interesting, isn't it? Adelaide's second quarters have been their best all year. They've had four shots of goal, but unfortunately they've had four behinds, whereas Richmond have gone forward. They've kicked two big ones, and that's what counts. And a really good finish by the young man, who's really played a cameo late in this year. Didn't play his first game until round 22. He's held his spot in the side. Well, it's grand final. It's going to be an arm wrestle. They'll have momentum swings. So there's one Richmond's way now. They trail 4-4 four, four to 4-6. Four, margin two points Adelaide's way. He's actually tagging Lever. Yeah, he is. He's yeah, doing he's a playing good a job. defensive role. Glider roll, garage door, scoreboard. Back in the middle they go again. JJ's doing the ruck work. There was Nan Curvis. Nan Curvis comes through. Handball out to Green with those long arms. Won it again. Goes forward. Oh. This bloke's been outstanding. Basher Hooley. 13 disposal. Basher Hooley, halfback flank. Took a terrific mark about for Stata. Lights are on, as we said. Still a bit drizzly. They've been terrific in the back half, Richmond. Long now to the outer side, half forward flank. Big fly from behind Hardigan. Ball's going to end up there with Lever, who runs back onto it. Does for Don't Argue. He needs to handle. Does a look away to Matt Crouch. Gave it to Brad Crouch. Brad oh. Crouch handle was terrible again. Oh, JJ high. got one high. He kept his head over the ball. Brad Crouch, his last two handles have been terrible. Feet. Oh, well, JJ's got it now. He can swing the ball to the outer side. He does now to Laird. Laird's got it on the outer side wing. Two points to march. They need the next goal. Pulls the trigger, goes short, and Lever's got it on that outer side wing. He can chip to D Mac. It's playing a bit cautious, playing a bit yeah, going scared, down the line I reckon, bit. going down the line. They're playing into the hands of Richmond. Big fly on the back there by Walker. Long loopy handball, foot race in two. Peeling off his man oh, was Rance, oh. tackled by Eddie Betts. It's holding the ball. Eddie Betts, you superstar. Right hand, half forward flank. Will take his best picks, but he'll have a shot at goal where Walker missed one about 20 minutes ago. He's played on. Campbell's now to Walker. Walker goes long with the right leg. It's an impossible angle. Big fly by Cameron. Ball goes down. Now a big loopy handball ends up there with Caddy. Good tackle again by Jenkins. Can he get it out now to Atkins? He gets set upon by Caddy. Umpire comes in. Left hand forward pocket. Another ball up. They need a goal here. Wilds. Two points the margin. This is, that was better by Adelaide. The last three kicks that have come in long, Adelaide have got up the ground and Betts has been involved. That one, Cameron got it on the deck, so try and lock it in now. Into time on, but still seven minutes left of real time. Atkins, a shot on goal, snap on goal. Oh, the face of goal. Did that hit the yeah, post? on the full. Out of bounds on the full, just hit the padding. But Richmond's pressure, they talk about the pressure, has been unbelievable. They've been superb. As Adelaide normally just cut through teams like knife through butter, not today. It's 4-6 to 4-4. And it is game one. It's a real grand final. The kick from Vloston. 
Back towards the wing. Nice, almost to Mark to Otten. Claimed it. Didn't get paid it. Sloan was held on to. Oh, umpire. Three dived on top of Roy uh, Sloan. He dived he on top of the foot. The He's going to play out of the ball, is he? He's still waving the arms. He's flapping the arms. Finally, it comes out. Can Adelaide make something out of it? No, Dustin Martin. He picked someone's pocket. Ended up with a Sharon. Kicks in the Castagna direction. Rewalt pushed out of the contest. It's game on now. They're all over the crack. Laird, is that a free Whistle. kick? It is. Goodness me, umps. Rory, Laird. This will be disposal number 15 for Laird. Sloan's at 14. Matt Crouch, 13. All thanks to Balfour. Got to love him, little Rory. Spots a man out the wing. In the form of Andy Otten. 4-6 four, to 4-4. Four, four. Sloan. Into time on. Lynch. Short ball to Lynch. Lynch a little short ball to Sloan. Marks inside the boundaries. Had a super game, Roy Sloan. Two goals in the first quarter. Goes long. Where's Walker? Needs to do something. Rance pushed him out. Nan Kerpus took the mark. Boy, I reckon there's a little hand in the back oh. there to Taylor Walker. Well, it was, uh, it was he was worked under it. Jenkins was also under the ball and enabled Nan well, Kerpus to fix, take a mark. Well, bombing it inside 50 hasn't worked. No. Just has not worked. They've got to lower their lamps. They've got to work through like they did last week against Geelong. Nan Kerpus to the outer side. Almost a mark. And I reckon it's going to be pain. It's going to be too Townsend's been really good. Gave it off the bash of Hooley out of side wing. Long with that left leg. Now it's D-Mac out there. Can he get a mark? No, he can't. Costanya kept the ball in. Hambles to Rewalt. Still on that left-hand half-back flank. And the umpire says we'll throw that in again. 4-4 four, four to 4-6. Four, There's a star, mate. The margin's two points, 22 minutes gone. Yeah, the Crows Second haven't quarter. met this pressure for quite a while. I know Sydney brought it to Adelaide, but... In the finals, it hasn't been anything like this with Geelong. It'll open up. Low-scoring game as we approach half-time. Hope you're enjoying it back home. The Crows hanging in there at the moment. Brad, uh, Matt Crouch had a super first quarter. Cotchin got booted the ball, went about eight metres towards Rewalt. Loved this game so far. Tried to win the free kick. Brad Crouch, another oh. handball low to Laird. Laird slips it out now towards Douglas. cotton has got him and takes him over and out. Tell you what, they're hurting them in the tackles, picks. Oh, they're trying to impose themselves. But it's more about Adelaide having been able to keep the ball on the body. Brad Crouch, his last three handballs have all missed the target. And what that does, then the bloke who has to go and pick it up, he's like a sitting duck. The 23 it minutes on the gone. Body, it's Tavern in the Harbour Golden Grove clock. Boundary throwing inside 50 for Richmond. They trial by two points. Nan Curvis won it. Trying to get through there was Butler. He got absolutely set upon. Brad Crouch, Matt Crouch, slaps forward. Greenwood again. Douglas, good work there by Martin with his strong body. d mac got absolutely rock and rolled again. I tell you, every time they tackle the Crows, they're burying their heads in the dirt, Vix. Yeah. What are the free kicks? Right Vicks? in the dirt. Free kick count is 11 to Adelaide, 13 to Richmond. Okay. And give us Cotchin's stats when you can for Balfour's Bix yep, as well. He's had seven kicks. Okay, so here we go. Umpire throws it in again. Still inside 50. Nan Curvis and JJ. Strong work by Nan Curvis. Kicks the ball free out. Kick. Going to be a free kick. Against Joshy Jenkins, right-hand halfback flank. They need the next goal, Bix. Plays on quickly now to Matt Crouch. Just got to love that man. All Australian. Hooley, though. I tell you, he didn't take the mark then, but he's showing fleet of foot. He reads the ball very well, doesn't he, Bash Hooley? Yeah. He's their best, him and Rance. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting Eddie Betts somewhere up around the ball. Betts has had just three disposals. Walker's had four. I wouldn't mind getting Eddie, getting him up the ground, see if he can get a few handball receives, touch the ball a bit. Footy on 5 double A, thanks to Glider or Garage Stores. Fantastic sponsor, fantastic game, but Adelaide would love the next goal. Crouch again to Douglas. Douglas kicks straight the man there. They're working the phone box on the other side. Tigers try and pick it up. It's like a training drill at the moment. Finally goes over and out. Who does this favour, Bix? Definitely Richmond, doesn't it? Oh, I think so. Keep yeah. it close. Yeah, look, we talked about him keeping him under 80 points, but you know what? If it's if it's a low-scoring game, Adelaide, we know, can score quickly, so they might have 10 minutes where they can bang three goals on. So they just have to keep withstanding and withstanding and ask the question of Richmond, how young, long can you keep going with this pressure? Young Jack Graham answers to match up with Matt Crouch. Jenkins got the ball down. But Zedwards bombs it forward to centre half for Tarly got fist to footy, ball lands free. Hardigan just slung it out of the air again. Edwards came through again, did God really well. Good. Now to Koch in his first handball. Little step on goal from 40. Is that Graham? The young fellas kicked the goal for the Tigers. He's only played four or five games. The boy from North Adelaide. He's got a big strong man's body. And Bix, he's put the Tigers in front. Yeah, great pressure. You saw Adelaide defenders, they just did everything to get at the ground. Then I think it was Hardigan under the pump, just threw it on his boot. And Edwards was in front of his man, got off a handball, and Graham accepted it. Showed real composure as well. Just watching the paint professional replay, he was about to slap it onto his boot. And then he just collected himself, took one more step, and kicked it beautifully. Boy. He's played, this is his fifth game, he's only kicked two goals, that's now his third. 
Okie dokie, they've hit the front for the first time, Richmond, by four points. 26 minutes gone, bit the Village Tavern in the Hubbard Golden Grove clock. Bit of confusion in the centre square, how they had to quickly drag in Rory Atkins, they were one short. Okay, Richmond by four, almost half time. Jacobs now with Nan Curvis, they're the best team out of the centre square. Brad Crouch misses another handball, Presky are under pressure, goes inside 50, it's in Martin's oh, area and he's marked it! He was on Lukey Brown, how can that happen? And he's going to have a shot at goal, 30 out directly in front, the superstar, the Brownlow medalist. Well, he drifted forward. There Hardy was a real the confusion oh, on the bench, Bix, wasn't there? There well, was real confusion. No one knew where they were. Martin was in the goal square. He was on Brown. He'll have a shot at goal going towards the city end. This will be massive. This will be massive before half time. Martin, 20 out, directly in front. The black and yellow army will love this. You'll hear a massive roar. He's kicked the goal. Ten points, the biggest lead of the day, do you mind, to Richmond? 6-4 to 4-6 on the Glorwell Garage Door scoreboard. Well, Martin hasn't played a whole lot forward, and Cole Hardigan was involved in the last play. After they got the goal to Graham, he came off, and then Martin went forward, and what that did, it left Luke Brown exposed. So Luke Brown's on, on Dustin Martin, and every Richmond player pushed right up the ground to leave him as a spare. Now, are they still arguing at the moment between Luke Brown and Daniel Talia? Who goes back and stands Dustin Martin? Hardigan's quickly come back onto the ground to do that. So uh, good work by Richmond players. They seized a little opportunity there, but then they got it out of the middle, which was critical. I'll give you a bow for stat. Richmond to kick four goals, three to four points. That doesn't happen too often against Adelaide. 6-4 to 4-6. Adelaide need to snare a goal before half time. There's still three minutes on the clock, but it's been all the Tigers. The Yellow Army, they're doing well. The hurry kick came from Seedsman. Walker needs to lift. Jenkins needs to lift. The fist again was prominent, decisive, big, and goes out of bounds. It went 30 metres, that fist out of bounds. Their defence has been magnificent. I see who's been good as well as McIntosh on Lynch. Yep. What are those head to heads, Bix? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, Lynch has had 10. And McIntosh has had seven. Nan Curvis just lifted in the last ten minutes as well. Yeah, well, Broad's picking up Lynch right at the moment. When Lynch goes down, McIntosh picks him up. So the Crows now get into left forward 50. Knight in there. Lost and he's been oh. strong. Almost holding the ball, not play. They sling it out towards the boundary line, right on the 50-meter arc. And there'll be another boundary throw. And Adelaide goalless. Goalless, Stephen, in the second term. Well, 10 points, the margin lights on. It's half time. It is a grand final. Glider Roll Garage Door scoreboard. Plenty of time to score. Two and a half minutes of actual play here in this second quarter. The Crows need to get a snap, a crack, and away they go. Jacobs wins another one. Get his stats. Lynch in front. Hambles to Jacobs. Smothered off the boot. Their pressure's outstanding. Oh, d came in. Had his head ripped off. About four Richmond players tackled him. They play a different brand of footy. They're frenetic. They oh, outnumber they the opposition, and they really do pressure as good as anyone. I love their method around the contest. Unique. Can the Crows break it open? Still plenty of time in the game. Again, Jacobs wins another one. Douglas gets a smother off the boot. Again, oh. they smother one. Presty comes charging through. Good work by Brad Crouch. Misses another handball. Oh. Gee, Brown wasn't quite good enough there. Now he does. It's very slippery. Back to Brad Crouch. Matt Crouch still work source. He gets another inside 50. It's a foot race in two. Andy Orton's there. McIntosh. Rance again will mop up. Kept the ball in. No, he hasn't. Walker's with him. Their back six is terrific. Their pressure on the ball, their forward line, they've got all the answers at the moment. They lead by 10 points, Richmond. Yeah, they just, Adelaide haven't been able to deliver the ball. That's why they're back six. They're appreciating the pressure that Richmond midfield coming in because there's been no real easy kicks. They are kamikaze with their attack on the ball. The Tigers have been a brilliant display of defence. Playing some good footy. Young Graham again. That's a 55-metre kick back to the centre. Adelaide just a bit rattled at the moment. The Krasl, Laird's been good. Here's a high ball. Can someone take a mark other than a Tiger? Pushing and shoving. Here's Betts. Betts was held. Betts was held, but umpire says nothing doing. Kitty. And it's Broad that gets the ball in his left boot and goes for home with a long bomb. It lands on the chalk and goes out of bounds. Deliberate. No, no, the umpire's going to say I'll not. You, nothing going Adelaide's way. Richmond are making all the luck but at the Adelaide moment. But Adelaide a little bit panicky, Bix. Yeah. They haven't been under this sort of pressure for a long while. Was he held then, Bix? Bets? Uh, Having a look at the paint professionals replay. Uh, look, the umpires have let it go. Perhaps, you, I reckon, you could 
play that. But okay, two minutes of play left. Richmond by 10 points. Nan Curvis again with Jacobs. Ends up now with Seedsman. He's got the ball. Gets around one. Then the other. Hamble now to Douglas. who got about his fifth tackle to Brad Crouch. Who had smothered off the boot. Richmond have all the answers. Dougie's Their been pressure hit. is out bloody standing. Bix, I reckon Dougie's been tackled 10 times every time he's got it. It's a hot foot, isn't well, it? Well, the tackle numbers, Adelaide have had 35, Richmond 32. So you'd have to say there's a bit more intent in the Richmond tackling. And they're making them hurting it. Well, they've got to get in at half time and really have a good hard look at themselves. Nan Curvis gets the ball, socket off the ground. Jacob's there. Lynch can get a handball now to Matt Crouch. He goes inside 50. Here's Rance and Otten. Otten and Rance. Otten and Rance. Ball out the back. Can Knight keep his feet? He fell over. Nothing going oh. their way. Rance slaps it through. So too, Nan Curvis. They have all the answers, Richmond. They're just playing with a little more desperation, commitment, want, grunt, and desire. That was like Skittles in a bowling alley. I reckon <laughs> six guys fell over trying to get to that footy. And that's another rush behind. That's about the third or fourth for Adelaide. The Need a goal. In. There can't be a lot of time left. Just over a minute on the clock. Oh, oh gee. Asprey got pushed in the back. Nothing doing there. Castagna was good. Goes back after it. Little toe poke along the wing. Oh, First oh, one there's a tie. So they keep it in. Oh, Lambert did. To Douglas and Douglas little fumble couldn't keep what, it in. Uh, Luke Brown came, limping off. Luke Brown with a really yeah. massive limp, Bix. Yeah, I just watching Talia. Came off Dustin Martin and Dustin Martin was 40 metres clear, and uh, there's a bit of a collision there in the in the marking contest. So there's, Brown with a corky. There's definitely a difference in intent on tackling the way the Tigers do to the Crows, even though the Crows are leaning there. Cotton. Little left foot check side. Seedsman had to take the mark and did. Played on quickly. Got the runner lead. Now this is promising to Mac. D-Mac. Back to lead. They've got him again, but he got hands the ball. Betts now. Did really well. Slung it out wide. Cameron and Rance. Cameron should win the foot race. Has a shot towards Knight. Knight couldn't take the mark. The defence again. How wide are they Unbelievable. Richmond are awesome, Bix. How wide are they forcing him? How much pressure through the midfield? They can't get any clean footy, Adelaide. Last gasp effort here. Only a few seconds left on the 41 clock. 41 seconds on the clock. They've got to make the most of it. Have not scored a goal this quarter. Only five behind. Need a goal here. So Jacobs and then Curvis. Boy, stakes high at the moment. Ball comes to ground again. Pressed here. Dodged a tackle. Threw it out. They are just going on by hand and by foot. Here's a chance though. Cameron. Shot on goal, Betts there, gave him no pressure again. Favours out of bounds on the full That should be the last score or last play. Well, 28 seconds on the clock. That's the village tavern in the Hubbard Golden Grove clock. 6 4 to 4 7. It's been all Richmond this quarter. Their pressure, tackling, their method around the contest, outnumbering the opposition has been nothing short of sensational. Can they do it for the whole game? Crows have got a big lift in them. Brad Crouch has been really, really held well. Hambled again to the feet of his opponent. Ellis gets it out now to Grigg. Good tackle again oh. by Brad Crouch. Out of bounds with a handball again the umpire says we'll just throw that in well that's it that's the thing about Adelaide Adelaide has still been able to generate scoring shots but it's just the way they've been able to do it haven't been good quality shots haven't been able to use the ball through the middle of the ground and haven't really given their forwards much chance four three to five points this quarter ten seconds left on the clock Adelaide can't score you'd think from here Talia now takes a mark this should be the last play and go short but Richmond have come to play boy their pressure we've seen it first hand They've been outstanding. So Adelaide had an 11-point lead at quarter time. And at halftime, they trailed by nine. They had a goalless quarter of the Crows. The much vaunted Adelaide attack did not kick a goal. Five behind. The Tigers rattled on four goals, three picks. And uh, they'll go in knowing they can win this grand final. Adelaide didn't put them away early. And the Tigers have hit back hard. Yeah, and just watching Luke Brown as well as he's limping off the bench. The three other players on the bench, Walker, Greenwood and Douglas, they all got up off the bench quickly. They ran out to meet their opponents. Luke Brown just taking his time going out there. Got a big collision. Looked like a corky. Might have been the right thigh. You know, Done a good I, job too on uh, Rioli. Yeah, Rioli hadn't had a lot of it at all. But uh, let's have a look at Rioli. He's had three touches in a half of footy. But just trying to run now, Brown, he's got a massive limp because he got that corky in that marking contest. Well, let's have a look at the goal scores before we go to the break for Beechwood Homes. Richmond do lead by nine points. Their goal scorers, Jack Revolts kicked the goal. Martin kicked their last one. Hooley, Townsend, Caddy, and the young Jack Graham, the boy from North Adelaide, kicked the beauty. For the Crows, two to Roy Sloan. These are all first quarter goals. Two to Sloan, singles to Betts and Greenwood, but slim pickings. Jenkins hardly touched it. Walker's hardly touched it. Eddie Betts has hardly touched it. And that's one of the reasons. Mind, they haven't had a lot of service, but no. that's one of the reasons why they trailed by nine points. Yeah, exactly right. The pressure has, has been really good from Richmond. Uh, and, and Adelaide going forward, you're right. They, they've been forced to be just bang it long and, and kick it up a drain pipe. And then 
I'll tell you what, the, the work of Asprey and Vloston, they've been really good because what they do, they use their body to work a Walker or a Jenkins. They work them under the ball and they just know that Rance is their designated marker. So they just all protect the drop zone of the ball. Don't let an Adelaide player near it. And Rance marks it. And we all rave about Rance, but it's been the work of his teammates who have allowed them to do that. And it's just a couple of times when Adelaide were able to bring the ball to ground, that's when Betts and Knight and those guys started to look a little dangerous, but it didn't happen often enough. A half-time wrap, thanks to Beachwood Homes, a real custom home builders. Just as we go to the break, this Tiger pressure we've heard about, it is absolutely real, was not it? They crash in, Bix, from all angles. And I think Richard Douglas is a big example. Normally, Dougie's good enough to slip out a handball. He's been collared five or six times and smashed to the ground. Yeah, it has. And DMAC, the same. They've been able to really put some work into them. Interestingly, um, the hit-outs uh, in Adelaide's favour, because uh, when Jacobs goes up against Grigg, he wins it every time. So it's 27-19, to 19, the hit-outs. But unfortunately for Adelaide, Richmond are winning the clearances 25 to 22. So they haven't really been able to to make them pay as much as they would have liked. In that quarter, particularly early in the quarter, the centre square, really uh, Richmond got on top. It's 7 to 4. Out of um, out of the middle, which would have Adelaide a little bit worried because we saw that one when they got it Prestia straight out of the middle, oh. and Luke Brown was marked up against uh, Dustin Martin, and it was a goal from the centre square, which really hurt Adelaide. So they've been looking at that and saying, can we just start to get a bit more of that? We'd like to even that out in the second half. What we do know that is anybody's ball game is only nine points, a low scoring affair, only light drizzle, uh, particularly in that first half. Looks like that's going away. We're going to take a break with his game on and Adelaide have got a lot of work in front of them because the Tigers kicked four goals to zip in that second term and they lead at half time thanks to Beachwood Homes. 6 4 40, the Crows 4 7 31. Hey, welcome back to the MCG and well, it might be an omen, but in the 100 metre dash, it was Menadju from Richmond. The one and one pretty easily too, Bix. He might have been foxing in the, the heats, but <laughs> they showed been. a clean pair of hills. He's collected five grand and you should have heard the roar he, he when was, he went over the line. He had the hands w- waving to the crowd saying, come on, cheer me. He was that uh, far home, about 10 metres out. Okay, now you're asking uh, what differences can the Crows do? Do they have to change their game in the second half, Bix, or do you do what's got them to the grand final for and won most of the games this year, keep well, doing. It's an interesting one. I think they can do a few things different. I'd like to see Betts get in, involved somehow. So whether we've seen him a few times come off the back of the square and come building through uh, from the centre bounce. So let's see if you can get the ball in his hands. He hasn't touched it much. Walker's played a little bit deeper that quarter, the second quarter. He tried to take Rance deep. Once again, get him up the ground. See if he can't get his hands on the ball because he needs to be entering it inside 50. He hasn't fired a shot. Nah, him. Jenkins needs to lift as well and see if he can't uh, have an impact. But it's about getting your hands in the footy around the slo- uh, around the, the ball. And we talked about Brad Crouch a couple of times. He's been able to get his hands on it, but just put it onto the deck. We know that Jacobs is getting a lot of the hit outs. Oh, at this, some stage during this second quarter, I wouldn't mind it, particularly when he's against Grigg. Clear the area. When he's winning the tap, he's putting it right at his toes. Richmond know that's where it's going, and it's just becoming a bit of a slog, and it creates pressure. I'd be a bit of a nod and a wink. Hit it long out into space. Get someone like a Sloan or a Crouch with a bit of a run-up. Get them to see, see if they can get them running onto the ball. And all of a sudden, if you get one or two of those clearances, the Richmond on balls are saying, you know what, I need to step back a little bit. I need to, to, to go back and provide some coverage so they don't get me on the outside. And that's when the balls on the inside start to open up. Have them start to second-guess themselves around the stoppage because at the moment, it's been all of the same. Half-time wrap for Beachwood Homes. It is a nine-point uh, ball game, Richmond's way. Um... We're going to see the resilience now, Bix. We're going to see the fight and the spirit that the Crows have shown probably since round 18. So let's assume right here, right now, Richmond won't drop off on that pressure. Mm. Now, they're not going to, because that's been their game for the last nine weeks. They're not going to drop it off. So the Crows' ball in hand have to do something differently because it hasn't worked at this stage. Um, and, And I think it's more about not so much yardage when you've got it free or forward to centre. But out of stoppage, I think they're just trying to chain it with handball mm. out of stoppage. I think they can get it forward, set up forward of the ball, and then when they've got it, hit up those lead-up targets, which they haven't been doing. Full credit to Richmond. You said it brilliantly. They're just putting them under pressure. Yeah, so it's the long bomb kick in. Hooley's getting it. Asprey's getting it. You know, yep. Rance is getting it. Yep. You know, All McIntosh doing a great little job there on Lynch. Now, do you persist with Lynch if McIntosh is going to close mm. that up? Could Andy Otten be the can? Conducer or the conductor, whatever you damn well call it. Someone's got to. Well, Lynch, someone's got to be the exit yeah. kick from defence. Yeah, I haven't minded. Lynch. Lynch has had 12 and had a shot on goal from 30 metres out. Like he, I think he's been. He's been I, all right. He's been okay for Adelaide. It, it really is just about executing a bit better. Well, you know that quarter there. Lynch misses one from 35. Riley Knight 
is no one between Riley Knight and the goal. The ball sits up, he fumbles it, then gets tackled. Eddie Betts in the goal square, the ball's bobbling around. Got monstered. We've seen him kick them all the time. So and they could have easily kicked three goals that quarter, but they just weren't clean enough. We've talked about some of their execution of their handball. That's that's the message. Talk about simple brilliance. If there's a if there's a ball to be picked up, if there's a handball to be laid into someone's belly, not at their toes, just do that well. And yeah. that what that does, that buys you a second. Because yeah. the minute you have to stop and pick it up off your toes, crouch a couple of loads. bang, all of a sudden you're tackled. So for me, it's Adelaide. Just get the fundamentals just that little bit better than what we've seen. What we do know about Don Pike and breaks, the boys do respond. So we'll give them a message yeah. and they'll execute it. There's one thing. Um, it's only a nine-point margin. I'm still bullish about the Crows. They're going to have to really, with ball in hand, use it a bit better. Get it, Richmond, like they're getting at them. Get angry with that. I mean, I've seen about five of them. How old's that young um, Townsend? I mean, Townsend's 20-odd. He's been absolutely brutal in the tackle. I want to see a Crow tackle a Richmond bloke and get them on the back foot yep. picks. Spear their head into the dirt. It's a grand final. <laughs> Spear someone's head into the dirt. Yeah, that's it. They need to have that aggression. They their um, their the tackling has been been outstanding. As I said, the Crows traditionally don't fumble that quick with their hands. They get a free man. They've been able to get a free man and I reckon even around the goals, how many times do we see balls rush through with Rance and the big bodies down there? Just uh... Well, four rush behinds. The other interesting one is uh, the inside 50s. Adelaide have had 28 inside 50s and kicked just four goals. I don't think we've called that all year because they've been so efficient. They've also conceded 30 inside 50s. That's very rare for Adelaide as well. They average just under 50 in terms of conceding So for the whole match. So Adelaide's defence, uh, Richmond have found a way just to get through it and create opportunities. And also just been a bit sloppy going forward. See Luke Brown out there, um, Rowie. Is he back out? Because he was limping. Well, I'm trying to find Luke Brown. I don't think he's out Matty there. Matty Crouch is a late one that's just run out after the rest of the group. I'm just trying to see if we can find Brown out there. Because he certainly had trouble league problems uh, when he went off. Charlie Cameron's doing the warm-up. Still trying to get our eyes on Lukey Brown. Yep, he's out there. Okay. He's out there, so yeah, no change to the teams. Four goals, seven Adelaide. Richmond, 6 four, 40. Lights are on. Rain's gone away. I reckon that breeze is still blowing towards the punt road end. That's the way Richmond will be going. Although the scoring end, Bix, has been the city end. Yeah, it has been so far. Contested possessions. We talked about how important that's going to be. That was absolutely even in the first half. 82 to Adelaide, 83 to Richmond. So nothing to speak of there. Adelaide have had a few more marks, 43 to 29. So they've tried to possess the ball, kick it short, and just try and pick their way through Richmond, but they haven't been able to do that. The clearances, as I mentioned earlier on, 25 to Richmond, 22 to Adelaide, even though Adelaide have had a fairly um, good advantage in the ruck through Jacobs. And the tackling Adelaide in front, 36 tackles to 33. Inside 50s, 28 to 30. And the uh, freeze at the moment, 12 to Adelaide, 13 to Richmond. All those stats, thanks to Balfour's baking people happy since 1853. 5AA footy streaming live on 5AA.com.au. Thanks to move it, lift it, drive it. The budget car and truck rental, 10 locations around Adelaide called budget. Bix, who's disappointed you? Uh, who needs to lift? Who do you want to see put their flag in the ground and actually do something? Because there's so many Crow players that have been down on their their normal output. Yeah, look, for me, it's, it's probably Jenkins, uh, sorry, uh, Walker and Betts. I, I think they're the two of the most mercurial players. And also, I think they're the ones that have the biggest influence on the group. When those guys get up, I think everyone else just thinks, you beauty, Tex is on, or you beauty, Eddie's done something great. And it, and I think it has the, uh, the ability to lift the team. It gets the crowd involved because the crowd love those two guys as well. So... Like I said, very quiet first half. Two kicks and two handballs for Eddie Betts. He's kicked one goal, one. He got that early goal in the first quarter. And for Taylor Walker, three kicks and yeah. one handball. A couple of shots of goal for Tex. Hasn't quite been able to impact as well as he would have liked. And Cotchen's only had the nine, I think, for, for the yeah. tie. He's been, he's been well held, but Martin's suddenly becoming... No, yeah. there's no Brownlow hangover for Dusty well, Martin. Well, it's interesting with Cotchen. He's had uh, eight kicks, one handball, but he's going at uh, 31% disposal efficiency. So he's really only had three effective touches in a in a half a footy. So good work by Adelaide. The pressure they've been putting on. Riley Knight's come off the wing into the centre square and put some time and effort into him. Uh, but really, in actual fact, well done to Richmond. The fact that he hasn't had an impact and they're still in front in this game says they've had a fair few other contributors. Well, Kelly's come off onto the bench. So too Greenwood and uh, Brad Crouch. We've got our eye on them. In the middle of the ground, it is Matt Crouch. Charlie Cameron goes to the back of the square. Richard Douglas needs a big second half. Rory Sloan with two in the first quarter. 
and Jacob's doing the ruck work. If we have a look at the Tigers, Cochin's in there, Martin's in there, Prestia. I thought Dan Curvis in the last 10 yeah, minutes like in ruck did a terrific did. job. Mm. He got them going, Bix. Yep, got, got involved around the ground as well. So, yes, he, uh, he had a really good quarter, that quarter, and Jacob's is over to him now to respond. Okay, here we go. Start of the third quarter. The margin is nine points. It is Richmond's way. 6-4-40. As Bix said, they kicked four goals. The Crows kicked five points. They're 4-7-31. And we cannot wait for the start of the second half. It's going to be an absolute belter. For all those that predicted large margins, she oh. ain't going to be a large margin. For those people that I spoke to, said it'll be one or two results. It'll be Richmond close. Mm -hmm. Or Adelaide or close by plenty. By plenty. Yep. Now, it's more likely looking like the Richmond close. But hang with us. It is our Olympic Industries scoreboard. It is the second half. It is a grand final. It is all or nothing. Any key matchups, Bix? I haven't seen too much change yet. Cotchin's in the middle. He's got Douglas alongside of him. Sloan going head to head with Dustin Martin. Okay, Brown also on Rioli, and we see Talia gone to Rewald. Here we go. Start of the second. Up they go, down they go. Nan Curvis taps it out. Douglas now gets boot the ball. No, he does. It was a diving lunge by Cotchin. Was outstanding. Story of the first half. Now Ellis gets the ball to the outer side. Big mark on that outer side with pressure from Laird. That was terrific by Lambert and that sums it up Richard Douglas again just couldn't get boot the ball well, he's Coxon's lunge mm. was outstanding long to the outer side half forward flank big fly oh. by Rewalt Lever went he needed to get a fist to the ball Rewalt starting to really urge his team forward goes long with the right leg Rory Sloan fist needed there's the fist coming through his Matt Crouch oh he's had a first fumble in his career diving over the top with Basher Hall is it a free kick no Standing tall on the tackle, and there's a ball up on the right hand, halfback flank. Yeah, that one with Douglas in the middle. He was about to kick it to the top of the goal square, got tackled, ball jarred free, and all of a sudden it's going Richmond's way. Jacobs now slaps it down, Martin bypass the ball, Cotchin to Rioli, little fumble. Graham's been good, the young man, trying to find Rioli out of bounds. It goes 20 round from the Tigers' goal. They're Whoa. going towards the punt road yeah. end. So this is dangerous for the big man in Jacobs because there's no real effort from the Tigers to even have a ruckman. So they're just reading off the hands of Jacobs. I'd love him just to, to build it forward by about 20 metres. So, Adelaide so Jacobs is going up on his own. Need to score and score quickly. Martin again. Got it to Graham. Graham tackled by Sloan. Back to Martin. Does it? Don't argue. Then lost the it. Up. Was that holding the ball up? I said no. Basher Hall in there. Matt Crouch is really good. Tigers still pressing and they press in numbers. And it goes out of bounds on the 50 metre arc, right half forward flank. So an inside 50, Edwards, who's 185, is rucking up against Jacobs and he just let it go. Yeah. Just let it go. So why did he hit it at his foot, feet? Yeah, bang it 30 metres forward. Come on, boys. Nine point margin. Now Nan Curvis comes in, does the ruck work. Jacobs wins it. He was sharked off brilliantly. Ends up with Lambert, has a shot at goal. Big fly needed by Harding. It was a round arm. He knocked about five players out. <laughs> Didn't he? That was well, a big hit on Bunker. Well, He's gone out of bounds alongside the right-hand post. You talk about aggressiveness. They've been aggressive when they're tackled. Well, that was great. He sported the ball and just whacked him. Yeah. Knocked yeah. him over as well. Knocked him in the lamb chops. Another inside 50. A lot of pointing. Jacobs gets to the front spot. Double fist to spoil to the outside. Graham got rock and roll. No free kick. Matt Crouch kicks the oh, ball. Oh, the umpire from 100 metres away scored it, has he? Has he? Is that a free kick, Bix? Yep. So the ball's going to come... I reckon Graham, to Graham, Graham who kicked the goal in the first half. Rory Sloan on him. I need to see that pay yeah. professionals oh, replay. It was high. He just, just his hand grabbed him banged momentarily. It, banged him on the chin as he no, got it. was there. I guess it was there. Yeah. So Graham now in that forward pocket. Boy, the this young will man. absolutely hurt. I know it's only early in the second Game half. Game number five for the young Game man. Game number five. He's already got a goal. The former South Aussie for North Adelaide will put a dagger in the heart of the Crows and he has! Graham gets the goal, the margin's 15 bits. What about the composure of the young man? In his fifth game, he's only kicked two goals ever in his career. He's got two in a grand final. Unbelievable. And just once again, game of inches. Not a whole lot in there. It's just Sloan's, I guess it was just his, uh, his thumb and his uh, the open bit of his hand clocked him. His left hand got him around the shoulder. The initial umpire in play didn't call it. The one from out of the zone called it, and it's a goal. Well, they've got to get the ball to Taylor Walker and Betts quickly. This is just uh, in a low-scoring game. 15 points is a big margin. Young Graham, two goals, unbelievably. He's only teenage on the ground. 4-7-7-4. Four, seven seven, four. Same amount of scoring shots. The Tigers have been more accurate in front of goal. And you don't want to give the Tiger Army any more momentum. Jacobs now. 
Can the big fella slap it down? This time Douglas gets boot to ball. And it's a high one up towards full forward. Rance wanted the free kick. It going on and on as he got it to it. Andy Otten, umpire on the left-hand side, said you're holding onto his jumper. Yeah, probably will hold it under his arm. Rance has been good today. No doubt about that. And it just suits Rance, doesn't it, to, to be able to wrestle with Otten. He's just a bit more agile. Kicks back towards the wing. Caddy, nice mark. Hit the hamstring late in the season. Came into the side, has been good in the finals. Caddy now. You can just sense they're getting more and more confident. Martin does it. Don't argue again. He grabbed him by Douglas. Slapped on by Rioli. Rioli in there. McKay. Rioli. McKay under pressure. Rioli kept it in, did he? Brown kept it out. Out of bounds. But Richmond are pressing. Yeah, he just sensed they've got a spring in their step. They've won a couple of key moments. Rants are one-on-one. Then a caddy takes a big mark. And then Dustin Martin wins a one-on-one against Matt Crouch. Adelaide need to fire a shot here. Yeah, well, they're turning one percenters into 50 percenters, Richmond. That's what good teams do. That's why they're in the grand final. Margin 15. Jacobs again comes in. Didn't even get a hand on it. Crashing through was Griggy wanted it more. Crashing through is Key wanted it more. That was Caddy to Martin inside 50. The don't argue. He gets rock and roll. Gets the arms free to Grigg. Has a shot at goal. Oh, he's kicked up. No, it's marked on the line. Thank Martin, goodness oh, for that. The three don't argue. His lever was terrific. Gee, that's a terrible kick. Walker needs to fly with this one. He does. Caddy's on the ground. Ends up with Edwards. Edwards sees a player at the corner of his eye. It was Lambert. Oh. They're having a real moment here. They're everywhere, Richmond. Hardigan really and, can smell it. Hardigan and Walker collided. Banged heads. Hardigan doesn't know where he is. She Keep your eye on Martin's that. Lambert now will handle out the Vlosten. He's got a massive leg, this lad. Have another pepper shot at goal. Going back with the flight of it was Talia, and it's gone through for a point. Margin is 16. They are really, really pressing. They've got the momentum. We've only played five minutes. The Village Tavern and the Hubbard Golden Grove clock in this quarter. Crows need to get the next one. Adelaide have not scored a goal for 37 minutes, and they need to get a couple quickly. So the kick to themselves and back towards wing. Jenkins needs to lift. That's a nice mark at Drummond Golf. Mark that they had a big toss. Got nothing to kick to. So Adelaide, Richmond are swarming like bees. They look like bees with a yellow jumper. Jenkins spears a pass, but it's speared into Bashahooli. He's played a superb game. He's been the interceptor. Fires it back towards Rioli. Up went Laird. Oh, Laird landed awkwardly. Luke Brown's limping. He couldn't make any sort of haste of that footy. And goes Once out Once again, bounds. though, Jenkins looks up, and it's Rance versus Otten, and he says, I don't want to kick it there. So he tried to invent a short pass, and it was picked off. Taylor Walker, still on the other side of the ground, couldn't come across to make a contest. Yeah, Paul and Andy Otten, he's uh, had limited opportunities. He needs to get in the game too, but it's getting um, very important now. Critical, six gone third term. So he said, Adelaide, it's been a drought, goal drought for a long while. Jacob's got manhandled. Ball comes down to Kelly. Kelly now to Cameron. Threw it on the boot again. It's a pressure kick. Walker's got to go. Third oh, man high. Oh, Lost it again. Terrific hands. And he's going to bang it back from whence it came. Yeah, well, they've got all the answers. They lead by 16. They're having a moment. Edwards has been awesome. Every time he touches it, something happens. 7-5-47 Richmond. Adelaide 4 7 31. They're all over and goes forward. Ball goes out the back now. D Mac dives in after it. Good little handle on the bottom of the pack. The Kelly snapped off by Prestia. Prestia to Castana. The long little handle by Lambert now to Edwards. He spears the ball forward. Oh, he is just a star, Edwards. Oh, and Griggs has marked it 40 out directly in front. This will be a real heartbreak. They have locked the ball inside 50. They're having a ping after ping after ping. And dare I say it for the first time for a while, Bix, the Crows look rattled. Yep. Absolutely oh, rattled. Shaky ass. Shell shot. Rattled. Stunned. Stuffed. Well, it's, this will be one, two, three, four, five. This will be six goals in a row to Richmond if he kicks it. Grigg now 40 out directly in front. Punt road in. You'll hear a massive roar if he can kick it. He has. They're on fire, Richmond. Almost a match winning lead out to 22 points on the Olympic industry scoreboard. Well, over to you, Adelaide leaders now, because this is real momentum. And you can feel the energy. You can see the Tigers players. They can feel something. Adelaide have to stop it. We've commended them on how they've been able to do it. Sydney, when they kicked five goals in the first quarter. It was Sloan that turned it round. It was the Crouch brothers. Walker needs to lift. So the leaders now have to see if they can somehow get some influence in this game. Because if they don't stop this run, the game will be over very shortly. Adelaide look like they've got no energy. Richmond running on top of the ground. And they've got the, the crowd behind them. They've got the scoreboard advantage. So a massive test now for Adelaide Crows. The hot favourite to win the grand final. Jacobs. 
Nan Curvis, Jacobs won it decisive down to Brad Krause. Douglas again got crashed into, sit on top of him. A boy, Richard Douglas, had oh. one of those days where he gets collared every time he gets near it. Have you seen a bloke smashed as much as Douglas has? 25 disposals to Richmond this quarter. Adelaide have had just 10. They've had five kicks and five handballs, and we've got 14 minutes still to play. Nine minutes gone. has been one-way traffic. They've been brutal at the moment. They'll go forward again. Lambert on his left. Talia couldn't get back and take them up, but he got a fist to it. That dangerous Butler. Butler got it to his teammate in town, said Butler got it back. He runs on the blue line from 50. Kicks it up towards full forward. Here come the cavalry again. Lever a little fumble. Martin over the top to Lambert. Lambert's going to kick a goal. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I see it, but I don't believe it. This is sensational football from Richmond. And Adelaide at the moment have not given a yelp. They have not given a yelp. They are on the ropes right now, and they are staggering. You can hear the crowd, the energy in this place is amazing, and you can see the Richmond players. They just keep winning one-on-ones. Adelaide had the ball in their hands three times. Every time they went to get rid of it, Richmond have tackled them. They've bobbled free. They got it again. Richmond dispossessed them again until Martin won one, got it over to Lambert and put him in front of goal, and he kicked it. Well, good teams, great teams fight back from here. Great teams like Richmond can hang on from here as well. Margin is 28, Olympic Industries scoreboard. Ten minutes gone, back they go again. Jacobs went up on his own, he tapped it back to Brad Crouch. Brad Crouch on his right leg. Walker cannot run, I'm telling you, he's on his knees. Well done to Rory Sloan, ran past about five of them. Basher Hurley oh. ran past six. He's playing inspired footy. I've never seen that lad play so well. Slapped off the ground, out of side wing, barely throwing. Listen to the roar, they're winning every moment, every 50-50. Every contest. Well, we said over to the leaders that was the ball went between Betts, Walker, and Sloan, and Hawley beat all three of them. I tell you, next goal, if they concede another one, it is almost game over. Adelaide need to get a wriggle on the kick up towards Sloan. He'll lead from the front. Here's a chance of Betts. Eddie Betts from 50 needs to kick the goal. Eddie goes towards goal. He's offline and well offline. He didn't know what to do. I'm not even sure he had a shot. He well, was. Andy on the same kicking to me. And he was going to handball to Taylor Walker. Now that oh. sums the game up. 27 points. That would have been a real good one. 4 8 the 9 5. 11 minutes gone. That's Still plenty of time. First score for a while. Can they lock it in now, Adelaide? 5 double AFL footy. Stay, stay. There's still plenty of time in this game. Keep the faith. Big fly oh. from this near side. Free kick. Oh, the Free bounce of the ball no. was Free terrible. Free to Jacobs. It's got to go to Jacobs. Good call. Big play professionals replay. Shepard off the ball. Needs the spirit in short. Goes now to D Mac. Here's the goal. He goes long it's sailing across the face and it's gone through for a point no luck margin 26 need to take their chances bigs yeah they do they've had the last two shots on goal haven't been able to kick it crows have kicked seven points in a row mm. seven points in a row without a goal and they need one quickly the long kick to the outer side martin went up the fist from behind knight had to go for the crows he did go plucked out the ball but got tackled quickly once again, the yellow jumpers in there everywhere. Greenwood, a few players oh. have to lift here. Ends up with Dusty Martin. This boy's the star, the superstar of the game. Finds Rioli. Rioli, the pace goes short. The revolt. He's marked 60 up from goal. Oh, Griggs running into the 50. Jack Revolt just set his play. Source Jacobs has to go. Couldn't get there. Almost a mark. Not paid. Boy of the crows under the pump. Kelly needs to spot a man. And he did just set to Brad Crouch. Brad Crouch by hand to Led. They're under the pump with every possession at the moment. Kelly now. Talia, what can he do? He just goes long and strong. Slow can jump. Slow did jump. Didn't take the mark. It spills free now. Walker going to get near it. Broad took it. Gave it a Cotchin. Richmond now. They've been irresistible and they go forward once again. Yeah, Cotchin to Asprey. Asprey to the outer side. They've got all the answers. Presti's got to play a breaking Butler at two and they're out the score. Lowers his eyes. Now goes long with the right leg. Needed a fist through it. Jacobs. Courage, oh. Jacobs. And he's taken a drummer golf mark of the day. That is brilliant football. The Lion Hart goes short to Richard Douglas. Oh. Got his head ripped off. Gee, they're attacking this kid. 9-5 to yeah, 4 good. 9 margin 26. Up. It had to be 50. But have a look at this forward line, Bix. I'm having a look at Taylor Walker. He is limping like an old draft horse. Fair dick and that left knee oh. heavily bandaged. We knew he wasn't right. Douglas now spears the ball forward. Andy Otten, we need to see more of that. Andy Otten swings away. Here's the lead. Walker! Come on, big man. Time for the skipper. 26 points. The skipper's got it. City in. But that's 40 the thing. out. Directly yeah. in front. He needs to know. When it. you say 
we knew he's not right. If you play footy, you declare yourself, Bix. There's absolutely no excuse. Well, cometh the moment, cometh the man. We talked about the leaders needing to stand up. He did it really well. It was a block by Eddie Betts. Enabled Walker to get free. Otten found him on the lead. Now, Big Tex is going to kick from 46 to. minutes. Yeah, he'll kick it. Captain's goal. Come on, Taylor. Lights on MCG. Taylor Walker, the skipper. Has yes! Yes! The skipper! That's the momentum. Look at him come in. Tex knew the moment. He filled the moment. He seized the moment. And the margin's 20 on the Olympic industry scoreboard. That's given my little heart a little bit of a ting ting oh, to bing bing. Mine has been fluttering. And you thought that Adelaide were on the ropes. Well, the bell rang. They've just been able to regain their composure and nothing like a goal to get a little bit of momentum back. Now, here's the challenge, Adelaide. Come on, get the next one. Two in a row. Well, Bix, you said they were on the ropes. They were actually down for the count, which may have given a bit of breathing they space. They got reckon? their breath back. And Walker delivered this beautiful kick from 45 out. But they need to go bang, bang, get a couple more quick ones. Can that revive in their first goal for 40 odd minutes? Cotton now, but the Tigers, oh. the kick straight in the back ahead of Crouch. Knight, Greenwood, ran into three oh. Tigers, board kicked it forward. Oh. Lands in the arms of Caddy. Richmond can do no wrong. Martin's out on his own. Caddy says, hold the horses. I'm going and I'm going to go long. But he goes short. He fooled everyone. Nan Kerbis, the big dinosaur, picks it up. Runs to 50. Goes short. Great delivery. And Graham, the young teenager, can go back and slot his third goal. He's got the eyes darting. I'm not sure if he's confident he's got the journey or not. He's going to kick from probably right on the blue paint of the 50-meter line. Nice no, good kick, though, Bix. I reckon he'll get the journey. Wouldn't mind if the big men are on the line, just in case. This will be a dagger in the crow's heart if he answers a Walker goal 60 seconds later. Jack Graham. Boy from North Adelaide. Kick on his way, struck it nicely. Boy, oh boy. don't worry about that, Bix. That's gone through post high. He's got three. And Richmond answered the Crows goal emphatically. 10-5-65. Adelaide 5-9-39. And that is as good a reply as you ever wish to see. Uh, we've got a touch of the Shane Allens about this boy. Two goals for his career coming into this game. He's kicked three and we're in the third quarter. But it was Adelaide who just over-possessed it at half forward. Riley Knight had a chance to kick it. He handballed to Hugh Greenwood. Hugh Greenwood tried to handball, got dispossessed, and a, a hack kick forward. I know you make your own luck. A hack kick forward. There were five pros. It landed in yeah. Caddy's lap. That's it. Dead set. All going their way. 10-5 to 5-9. You make your own luck. Richmond's certainly doing that. Margin back out to 26 points. Olympic Industries scoreboard. Need the next one. Crows, their fight. 16 minutes gone, as we said. JJ taps it down. Running back is Matt Crouch. Hambles off to Douglas. He got absolutely high, monstered high. again. He's got one high. You know, He's a warrior. Don't worry about that. A rag doll, they though. have absolutely attacked him. Gave it to Brown. Brown goes long inside 50. Otten's trying to get a fly. Ball to the ground. Eddie Betts with the crumb. Macintosh emptied out. He gets tackled and set upon. Got to be prior opportunity. Up by says... Give it to me, right hand forward pocket ball up. That's Cameron Betts, that's better big. Yeah, a bit of pressure when the ball hit the ground. They couldn't just bounce it straight back out. So, forward 50 stop. He's got a goal in the first half like this. JJ Nankervis, Nankervis, JJ. Ball jars free. Ellis gave it back now to Hooley. He's been one of their best. He gets the ball forward to Martin. Got one around his lamb chops there by Hardigan. Now it jars oh. out the back. Lux a 4 2 to Butler. Here goes the run through the corner. Oh, it's got to be on the ball up. Why'd you say play on? Now he's got the smash. That is just ridiculous. Holding the ball again to Mark. Jars oh. free to Rewo. He kicks it over the top. I can't believe the umpiring decisions. Kelly got one in the back. No free kick. Butler again comes charging through. Outside 50 gets Ellis on the wing grandstand side. We got rock and roll. He tried to break through oh. traffic and he got smashed, the young fella. But Not sure anyone tackled him. That was the thing. They just dispossessed him. He got him. bumped, yeah. 65 to 39. Short ball to Rioli, but Adelaide now. Hang in there, Adelaide. Hang in there, Adelaide. Get Rory Sloan on. We're halfway through the third quarter. The premiership quarter, they call it. Rioli now. Up and under. Can someone take a mark? Hardigan almost. Didn't pay it. Adelaide have got a tackle here. Beast Richmond at the footy. Can they tackle? Edwards is in there. Jenkins had a terrible oh. day. Edwards a high ball. Standing under it now is Kelly and Lever. And it's not out of bounds on the full, but Richmond can reset here. It's once again, though, it's been a few things going Richmond's favour. He snaps, and instead of going out on the full, it lands on the line again, and it's a, a forward 50 stoppage, and the pressure still on Adelaide. 
Adelaide have only kicked 39 points. It's been a barren day for them. Jenkins slapped it down, but Richmond, as he said, they're pumping the oh. oxygen. Here's what a chance that? for the Tigers again. Was it Castagna shot on goal? Misses to the right hand side. Out of that's no, just squeaked through for point. Presti, I think it Presti, was. Presti, 66-39. Well, they're giving him nothing, Richmond. Full credit to him. 10-6 to 5-9, 39. Margin 27. Short kick now from Brown into the pocket to Kelly. Kelly goes forward. The mark's been taken by Brad Crouch. Right-hand halfback flank. Got to change direction. Can't go long down the line. Richmond are just forcing him to do that. It's the last thing Adelaide want to do. Yep, they've been doing it all day. Okay, 20 minutes gone to the outer side wing. Fly from behind in front, Andy Ottinger. Got his head ripped off. No free kick. Rance got it on the up from board. He goes forward. Out of bounds on the full. So the there it is again. Behind. They go long down the line. Richmond bring it to ground and just run it away. Adelaide, you've got to be bold. You're 26 points behind. You've got to take this game on. Gee, they've set up behind the ball brilliantly, this mob, Richmond. I'll tell you what, the Crows can get up and win a uh, win for the ages. Because they completely outplayed at the moment. Completely under the pump. Here's the go. Hardigan now has got a man loose in Douglas. Douglas finally gets a bit of nice ball, clean ball, without someone bashing him in the ground. 66 to 39. 20 gone. Oh, turnover. Turnover. The Tigers have numbers everywhere here. Grigg around the body. Martin's here. Brown's got to go. Dusty Martin. Brown. Martin. Oh, my God. He took the mark. Plays on quickly. Comes out now towards Castagna. Thank you very much. They can do no wrong. And the Richmond Army are in full force. Unbelievable football. It's a mark to Martin, anyhow, I think. 11 6 to 5 9. I did not see this coming. I haven't rated them all year, but I rated them now, Mark Bickley. Yeah, well, Richard Douglas, he tried to do exactly what I say, and that was try to take the game on. He tried to pull the trigger through the middle. Unfortunately, couldn't quite execute it. There was a Richmond hand in there, it was a turnover, and then it went back the other way and Adelaide got scored again, so they can't go back into their shell though, they've got to keep trying that, because right now the game is, they've got to win it, they can't just keep plodding along like this. Every crow wants to win the ball, so they're all going into the pot of honeybicks, they need yeah. a bit more method around the contest, margin 33 21 minutes gone, back in the middle they go again, Nan Curvis, Rory Sloan being brilliant, gets his arms to Matt Crouch again, the pressure's intense, good work there by Cox, he made about 5 tackles in it, they get it forward again through Rioli ball now with Talia Rioli again Soccer's off the ground. Ball goes out the back to Lamb and everything falling their way. They can smell it. 33 points up. Richmond still in the pocket. Sloan again dives in over top. Caddy's in there as well. Umpire will call a play on. It does through Brown tonight. Now gave it back to d -Mac. He gets the empty out kick oh, from the outer side. Three. Walker was monstered. And this play here could win the medal. I tell you, Basher Hooley, outstanding. Richmond can smell it. They're 33 points up. Another inside 50. We've got to get those Balfour stats shortly. Almost to Mark. Good work there oh. by Lee. Got his head ripped off. Got tackled by about five. The umpire says ball up. That summed up Richmond's day. Yep. How many people got at the fall of that ball and outnumbered the Crows? Inside 50, 14 to 5. Unbelievable. This quarter, so they're absolutely dominating. I tell you what, it's not luck though, Rowie. They're getting numbers of the ball. And Jacob slapped a 25 out broad in there. Jen poor old Josh Jenkins can't get warm. Leave the hurry, kick back towards the wing. Andy Otten lumbered after, get pushed off by Rance. Oh, Rance too dear. big, too strong. Yeah, he's got it. Has he won the freaky he has? Grab the Guernsey again, Otten. Just panicking a bit in the one-on-one. -on -one. He just knows that if the ball bounces away from him, he's got too much agility and he's just grabbed hold of him. Yeah, but don't bring him up on the wing. Stay in the side 50 bits. I don't like that matchup in here, Andy Otten and Rance. A kick back now towards Nan Kerbis and Jacobs. Mark dropped by Hardigan, oh, Nan Kerbis Lance got the crumb. Hooley again, been outstanding. Wobbles it towards full forward. Ties get another one that's about home, you'd think. Laird now under the pump. Rioli in there. Look at the tackling. It's one, two, three there. Now coming in from every other yellow jumper. 20 up from goal. Lambert in there. He can't get it out. And I don't reckon I've seen, I don't reckon I've seen pressure like this for a long, long while. I've got to give them full credit. I gave them nothing, Richmond. I don't even think they'd be with the full floor of Adelaide today. They're 11 6 72 on pure pressure and heart to 5 9 39. Margin 33. Ends up a game with Siegeman. Pressure a game with Cotchen. Look away, Hamble. Now to Jacobs, who's tried hard. Caddy! Kicks it out of bounds on the full. A little bit of pressure to relieve. Crows need the next score. It needs to be a goal, Bix. They need to throw caution to the wind. Take this damn game on. Yeah, Laird's tried hard. A lot of players have hardly touched the footy seeds them now. Replace Brody Smith. Oh, no. oh, oh handball to Brad Crouch, who had no right to even ask for it. I don't think he did ask for it. Seeds them now. 
kicks up towards Walker, Otten rants. That was better by Andy Otten, but Bloston took the crumb. There's more jumpers out there, there's more Richmond jumpers than Crows. I know I'm going to have a head count. Ellis now, thanks to the half forward Martin. He's a sensational oh, player. Him. Grabbed by Kraut. Holding the ball. And he's been done. Well done. done. Well done, Matt Kraut. That was game saving right there. Only the second time of the year has been caught. Nearly catches Kraut. Kraut oh, goes to Seedsman. Play on. Seedsman does play and he heard Jerome. Long kick. Otten's got to go here and take a mark. Andy Ott went oh, up, God. didn't defect the contest at all. Coming through Rance, Ellis, they all get involved. Grimes ran his body. Lost and he's the tough nut. Caught by Seedsman. That ball's not coming out. Bounce up through centre wing. They need contest. something. They need something. Walker limps off. On goes Lynch. 11 6 to 5 9. They need something. Still time in this quarter. What about five minutes of actual play? 33 points to the margin. Richmond's way. Nan Curvis has been colossal in there. Goes out the back tonight. Gave on the up to DMAC. Centre wing ran stand side. He goes forward. Rance has been outstanding. Good work by Asprey. So too there by Vloston. Standing tall again was Antioch, but numbers went out again. Rory Sloan out the back. Prestia. He handles out. Good pressure by d Coming through again was Lynch. Prestia was terrific. Long loopy handle. A big football needed to be won. Laird gets tackled. He gets jarred free. Away go to Rich with their pressure again. That word pressure. Bouncing through the corner. Rewalks free. Can't get him. That was draw. Good work there by Lever. He left it still in the forward line. One more goal and it's good night. Socket off the ground, Butler. Running into an open goal. Socket off the ground by Atkins. Coming through his Hardigan. Good work there by Martin. No, Took it by no. no. Holding the man. He kicks this. The Price fans, Miles, will get in their car and go home. This 33 is... points. Martin's got it. Again, it's there because of the pressure on the field. This is as good as I've seen for uh, pressure. Ever, I don't ever. think I've seen any better than this, to be honest. Well, ever. we talked about the way the Bulldogs last year. He opens played up on. the angle. Martin's going to ice it. No. Oh. Missed. Lucky it... let off. 34 points is a dangerous lead in a grand final. It's only a quarter left, though. It's Not a magnificent time. lead in a grand final. So Crows now 11 7 of 5 9. Olympic industry scoreboard short ball to DMAC. So Crows many shell shot. There's so many Crows that have not given a yelp though, and they'll be under the microscope after the game. They were a, a solid favourite. A lot of people felt they could win by plenty, including me. Brown's got the footy. Yeah, this is where they miss Brody Smith. There's just no one with the penetration to be able to rip the ball back through the middle of the ground. Well, they're true, but they won both finals convincingly. The other two, oh, oh. Atkins is gone. Good night, oh, Dick. You are gone, young fella. They're trying they, to. They're trying to run and carry and do something different to get going, but it's just not working. They this rem- is frighteningly good picks. They remind me of a pit bull terrier that... They grab one of the ankles, you get away, and they get you again. The next one gets you. So Rioli, who's been a quiet player, can have a shot. The young man's a terrific player. Hooley ran through the centre. Oh, oh, you can't do that. That's unbelievable. I'm by allowed him to go through the centre and then take the, the mark. mark. Oh, dear. And then Eddie Betts should have been allowed to. You can't do Eddie's that, saying, Eddie's saying what's going on. So Hooley, if he kicks this... The alarm bells are ringing as strongly as you can ever hear an alarm bell ring. Basha Hooley, 50 out, you hear the roar too. He's normally a pretty good kick, he's a thumping kick. Had a great game, Hooley. Oh, strikes it okay, goes off to the right. He's going to miss in a minor score. They are peppering the goals. 11 8 74 to 5 9 39, and we've got 2 14 left well, on the clock. Since quarter time, the Crows have kicked one goal seven. Unbelievable. Richmond have been terrific. Short kick leave it. Now to Matt Crouch. He's tried his heart out. Adelaide's best. Margin 35. It reminds me of the game against Collingwood on this exact round if they can get it together. Hardigan on the half volley. Gave it to Crouch. Crouch to the outer side. One goal quickly now before half time will be brilliant. Kelly played on. On with his left leg to the forward line. Rory Sloan flew. Ball to the ground. Otten's got it to Rory oh, Sloan. Lord. Rory Sloan can't get it. The handle got missed. McIntosh gets tackled by Rory Sloan. Still on the half forward fleet. Good work to Greenwood. Oh. Oh, oh, his tackle got well to hell. Handball was to no one in particular. He got to kick the ball forward. Talia's ball got dropped. Ball to the ground. Butler again. Numbers again with Richmond. Handball ends up free. The Crows need to win this ball. Kelly was terrific. Crouch, Mac Crouch to the outer side wing of the mark's going to be taken by McIntosh. I cannot believe how good this team are at getting at the contest. There's only four aces in a pack of cards and Richmond are holding them oh, all at the moment. Oh, my goodness. They are playing unbelievable football. And they can sense it, they can sniff it, they can smell it. The kick now oh, might be another mark. Talia came in late. Kelly did well. Kelly then had it once again dispossessed. They're frantic. 
It's frenetic football from the Tigers. Adelaide get a quick kick forward. There's about a minute left on the clock. A minute and two seconds. Slow needs to be clean. Got it to Tommy Lynch. Lynch to Jenkins. He's been unsighted today. 60 out from goal. What can he do, Josh? Where's Cameron? Where's Ben? Needs to kick Here comes Atkins. Atkins from 50. Needs to kick oh, a goal. He's missed everything. Absolute everything. And are they out of bounds on the four? Or Richard Mark, take your pick. That sums up Adelaide's well, day. Well, it's the pressure of Richmond again. Now it's perceived pressure. He was on his own. He would have kicked that home and away. He's kicked it out of bounds on the four. 5 9 to 11 8. Stay tuned to 5 double A. Still a quarter of footy left. It is a grand final and they can get it together, Adelaide. Ball to the outer side. Slapped onto Lynch. Lynch squirts the ball. Beautiful footy. Right. And JJ's got the ball and he'll have a shot at goal. The siren's probably going to go. 30 seconds left. JJ needs to kick it. The margin's 35 and he's going to go from 50 metres big. Yeah, the one bloke who's really just tried to turn around, wheeled himself, has been slow. There's been about three or four contests. He's either halved them or he's won them and he was important in that one. Got it to Lynch, and Lynch found Jenkins. Needs to kick it. Margin 35, 29. It's a bite-sized chuck. Comes in. City in. Joshy Jenkins has kicked. The point. Three-quarter time. Stand and applaud the Black and Yellow Tigers. That was as good a finals football quarter as you will ever see. 11 8 74 Adelaide 5 10 40, well, margin 34. Let's have a look what happened that quarter. Richmond kicked five goals, three to one goal, uh, one goal, one. Five, three to one, one. And picks Adelaide in a half a footy have kicked one goal, like second and third quarters, one goal. Yep, and contested possession that quarter, 51 to 31, 20 the difference. If you lose a game by 20, you generally lose by 10 goals. So to lose a quarter by 20, it's always going to be five goals to one. That's probably a good result from Adelaide because Richmond had nine shots on goal. They could have easily had a couple more. So I'll tell you what, Adelaide, they, they tried to get themselves back into it. They tried to do a few things differently and take the game on, but everything they tried just didn't work. So they have to regroup again. Don Pike will talk to them, but, boy, they have got the job ahead of them. Hats off to Richmond. They've been unbelievable. As I said, I think they've surpassed all expectations. They've got a handy lead, more than a handy lead, and it's going to take an unbelievable effort from Adelaide to get up and win the flag because at three-quarter time, the Tigers lead 11-8-74, the Crows 5-10-40. We don't get many opportunities to win a grand final. Adelaide have 30 minutes to rectify the situation. Don Pike, very animated at three-quarter time, still is. And boys that are tied huddle in the Richmond camp with Damien Hardwick. Let's go to Mark Bickley to find out who did what. Yeah, let's have a look at the uh, inside 50s. 35 Adelaide have had just 35. And, of course, Richmond have had 47. So 12 more opportunities to go forward. Matt Crouch, still the leading possession winner on the ground. 28 he's had. Laird's had 22. Brad Crouch has had 20. Sloan's had 17. Dustin Martin's starting to get busy now. He's the leading disposal winner for Richmond with 21. Dion Presti has had 21, Hawley's had 20, and Edwards has been very, very good with his 19 disposals. The inside 50s, as I said, 47 to 35. The clearances, Richmond well on top now, 35 to 29, and the contested possessions, 134 to 114. Yeah. Richmond are absolutely yep. braining them in that department. Uh, Adelaide, they need to get the scoreboard ticking over early. They need to get some sort of momentum, start to get some belief, and they start to get the crowd involved because I tell you what, if Richmond get one or two, this has the potential to really go the other way. Well, Richmond to kick nine of the last ten goals. I mean, take that stat. Well, your and pipe. Crows have got one goal and a half of footy. They were four goals, two at yep. quarter time. 5, yep. 10, 40, 11, 8, 74, margin 34, almost the start of the last quarter. What we do know about Adelaide is when they get their yep. tails up, just think back to that Richmond game, uh, the Collingwood game here at the MCG where they mowed them down almost 50 points down. This is a grand final. Anything can happen. The speed and pressure has just killed the Crows. Maybe they were too tall. They need Maybe a goal they did miss B. Smith in the, in the first McGovern. three minutes, don't they? My word, they do. Umpires getting ready. Crowd has gone to a little bit of a hush. I think the Crows supporters are just at this moment absolutely shell shocked. Full credit to the Tigers. Okay, here we go for Cooper's Tires. The scoreboard, 11-8 to 5-10. Margin is a neat 34 points. And here we go. Umpire gets it down, and it was a terrible bounce. Nan Kervis won it. And umpire says, I'll have to ball that up again. No changes. Big Seti Betts still out of the goal square on Grimes. Yep, they've gone back to pretty much their original setup. Okay, umpire throws it up. Jacobs has been terrific. 
Douglas got rock and roll. Martin gets his hands out to Cox and they get a centre square clearance. They've been the best all year at that. Goes now towards the halfback flank. Oh, oh. Rioli has taken a one hand mark. A drum and golf mark of the day. When it's your day, it is your day. He goes forward. Big fly from behind by Butler. Look away, Hamble to Graham, who's got three. Ball ends up with Atkins. Atkins gives it to Brown. Brown doesn't know what the hell to do because of the pressure. Hamble's to man curves. That's got to be holding the ball up. He dropped that up by a said play on. Rory Sloan's trying hard. In there's Taylor Walker. Stacks on the middle right-hand half-forward flank for Richmond. You can hear the applause, the warm applause. Their pressure again. One of 50 50. They're going to cheer, cheer every moment, aren't they? They're going to count down this last 30 minutes, all these Richmond All they fans. have to do is just keep getting in contests. Adelaide can't score, and then Kerb is a shot on goal. Even the big Ruckman having a bit of fancy footwork. One thing Adelaide have done, Wills, is they've started with six forwards, so they're trying to even out the numbers in their front half because it's been the Richmond defence who have been on top all day. Cooper Tyre score, but Adelaide fans shell shocked. Richmond haven't won a flag since 1980. Rioli's doing the ruck. And they won that by 81 points. So Jacobs, that's another tactic. I think they've won all the tactics today at the moment. D-Mac under pressure. Grigg sweating off. They want holding the ball. Umpire's going to say no. 30 up from the Tiger goal. Just repeating that stat. It was four goals to two. So Richmond have kicked nine of the last ten goals in a grand final. They wanted to keep Adelaide under 80. They might keep them under 50 or 60 at the moment. Rewold in there. Holding the ball. We took it out of the ruck. So Crouch has been good. Matt Crouch has possession number 29 for Balfour. has played well. Oh, another good mark. Once again, time to Lambert. strange play by Crouch. It was a hold of the ball free in the middle of the ground. And Crouch played onto advantage running with a bloke chasing him. And he's ended up kicking it 30 metres straight up in the air. Crows are probably one stoppage, one hit out. But yet they trail by 34 points. Ball goes forward. Oh. Rewalks mark. This nah. will be it. Nah. Rewalk 30 out directly in front. The Tiger Army has gone. Boots well, up. The game is on his boot right now. Right now, Picks. 30 out directly in front, going towards the city end. The grand final is on Rewalk's boot. The margin's 34. 40 is just far, far, far too bridge, bigger bridge to gap. You'll hear the roar. Rewalk lines up. It's 11 8, the 5 10. Rewalt, a terrific mark, a contested mark. He's been all over Talia. Here he comes, three steps. It's the grand final. Gee. 40 points. Everybody gets in around him. And that has just ended a most disappointing day for pro supporters. Well, they've got to dig in here, Adelaide. They've got to try and get some sort of momentum. Really hard now to keep the belief when you're 40 points down. You've only scored 40 in three and a bit quarters. Nah, that nah. is really hard work. So, some pride on the line also here. Let's see who fights it out. Be the biggest comeback in history of a grand final win for me with only a quarter to go, 40 points. But they played, unfortunately, their worst day or worst game on the biggest day of their football lives. They don't come round that easily. We all thought the adversity, grief, tears might help them get over the line with being rich when the just been outstanding today. Full credit to them. They go forward again. Off the boot of Nan Kerbis. Slews out sideways. Dave McKay there. With him is Butler. And the pressure's just been enormous again. Caddy. They're enjoying this, the Tigers. They're giving him a mauling at the moment, the Crows. And the Crows can do no right. Check that score again if you just joined us. You might want to clean out the ears. Richmond 12 8 80. Adelaide 5 10 40. Kick one goal in 65 minutes of football. Yeah, margin 40. Lights on. Grand final, been very disappointing since quarter time. Jacobs wins another one. Rory Sloan, two goals in the first quarter. has been really well held. Cotton dives in over the ball like good skippers do. And they've turned. That summed up the game. They turned a 1% or into a win. Because Martin won it on the old 1-2. Gets the ball out. It's got to be holding the ball. Lynch can squirt the ball forward to Jenkins. Players breaking. Walker's one of them. Cameron's another. Hambles to Crouch on his long preferred. He gets rock and roll. No, he does to Don't Argue. Then goes for the right leg to Walker. And in the pocket, he'll have a shot at goal. He needs to open this up and put it through. Oh. You handball to the outside to a bloke who's a left footer on the wrong side, bits. Yeah, I think they're just saying, let's play on. Let's get the ball moving. We can't yeah. afford to hold it up. Time's running out. Got to just take the game on every opportunity. But this is the last roll of dice for Adelaide. Double their score, 40 to 80. Walker has a shot. He's put it up to the edge of the square. Jenkins and Jacobs. Jacobs and Jenkins. Oh, almost a crumb. Good work there by Cameron. And again on the line as a smother. You know, the 1%ers has been as good as I have ever seen. Picks um, Cameron, Betts, Jenkins and Walker unsighted today. Yeah. You know, the Mucks born to the attack. Unsighted. And the pressure's got to them. Pressure's got to everyone here. 
including no us. No question. No question. Dashan Uli, he's a chance of the Norm Smith. Young Graham's 17 possessions, three goals. Dustin Martin's had a terrific game. Yeah, Edwards has been really good as well. Well played well. Rance has been good down back. They've all been good. The kickback to the wing. Presti's been okay. Up went Rioli. Oh. Did he take it? Oh. Almost. Comes to Grigg. They're enjoying this now, the Tigers. Grigg off the side of the boot. That wasn't good. And out of bounds in the fall. There's going to be a lot of questions asked after today's performance, though. So they just have not fired a shot. Well, they haven't because Richmond haven't allowed them to. 12-8 to 5-11. One goal. One goal since quarter time where they no. started 4-2. They were 11 points up at quarter time and they trailed by 39. I mean, that's 50 points. Long now to the edge of the square. Up goes Lurch. Couldn't get the mark. Crumbing on the ground. Up by oh. says play on. Through to Lambert to board. He goes long with that right leg up alongside the wing. Charlie needs to go back. Hardigan's there. Goes with the fist. Uh, good work by Rory Sloan. Got tackled. Rewalt gets the ball out in front of Lambert. Lambert's got everything in front of him. He has a bounce inside 50. Has a second bounce inside 50. Can square the ball. Handles inside to press there. Good bloody night. Yeah, all over. Go home now. You might as well get in your heady Lamar, your truck, your tram, your bus. Get the tears streaming down your face. The Premiers will be Richmond. 45 points. And dare you say it, Picks. Congratulations. No, they just too good. It worked too hard. Wanted it too much. Out, they're just, their method has been better. They just outnumbered. They've been able to get players around the footy. And that one there, Sloan takes the ball. He's surrounded by players. He had to get rid of it. But it was three versus five. Oh. And Richmond just used the handball. Got it out. I'd say full marks to Richmond. Adelaide have been awful. There's no other way than it's awful. To Damien Hart. One goal in 70 minutes of football, Rowie. That's that's just for a side that have been so elite during the yeah. year. Caroline Wilson, pick your restaurant, mate. It's my boy. Well, I apologise to uh, Richmond. I've not rated so him. Do I. I really do. They've been outstanding today. And Damien Hardwick, Dimmer, hats off to you. I thought you were going to be sacked last year. Laird now, he's tried hard. Matt Crouch has tried hard. There's three or four that have tried hard. The rest haven't. Brad Crouch 50 now. metres, 50 metres. The bloke ran through the protected zone. So well, That's the only way they'll score a goal. Bitch. Well, that was Butler. It was on all day, every day. Didn't uh, clear the area. So Brad Crouch is going to have a shot from 30 metres out directly in front. To reduce the margin and what back to 39. Yeah, well, they just have to, they have to kick this. They have to go back to the middle. They have to keep taking the game on. What a day to have a stinker. Brad Crouch had a bit of ball, but just hasn't used it well. Crouch, goal, nice kick. Come on, get excited, Adelaide. Nice kick. Got to keep believing. They're trying to, they're running running around a bit, but they're running on empty at the moment. 13-8 to 6-11. They've scored two goals since quarter time. And uh, what are you, travelled nine minutes of the last quarter. It's been an unbelievable display by the Tigers. And for any chance, picks, they need two goals in the next three or four minutes. Well, they do. Brad Crouch, 20 disposals, five kicks, 15 handballs. But he's gone at 55% today. That's well down on what we expect from him. 13-8, 6-11, eight minutes gone. The Village Tavern in the Hubbard Golden Grove clock. Umpire sets himself, margin 39. So Jacobs tried his absolute heart out. Back Brad Crouch, Matt Crouch, Greenwood's in there. Nan Curvis has just been fantastic for an undersized Ruckman. Wins another one. Now gets a quick kick. Ball jars free. Matt Crouch, terrific handball. Gave it off to Brad, who fell over. Crashing through was Cameron. Here's an inside 50. Mark needed. Walker pushes back. Grimes free kick. Free, free kick. Free kick to Walker. Taylor Walker. So Taylor Walker, 30 out directly in front. Well, it's the one we said. They need two in the next three minutes. This could be one. Have I gone a bit early saying Caro? It's your pick of the restaurant. Oh, well, you'd, you be, you'd be happy to go the other way now, wouldn't you? <laughs> Probably. It's Taylor easy. Walker. Come on. If you... Keep some interest in it. I love you, Bix, because you, are, you, you've got hope. And where there's hope, there's light, there's a chance. There's 15 What's minutes that left. movie, Dumb and Dumber? Yep. There's a chance. <laughs> liar, liar. Liar. Taylor Walker. Punt road right in. He's put through back-to-back goals. Come on. Two it's 33. Could we? All of a sudden. Bix, could we? Three or four players got to him. There's a bit more spring in the step. Well, that's two in a minute. And they need another goal in the next couple of minutes. And then maybe Richmond might suddenly doubt because they have not doubted all day. They might park the bus picks. Oh, well, when you start defending with 15 minutes to go, you give the momentum to the opposition. So Adelaide, can they keep this going? Well, they came over the wet sail against Collingham. This is a grand final. They, they cannot let Richmond score again. And even there's a pulse in us again, Bix. 
There was a pulse in the commentators. Richmond have got seven defenders. They put a spare one back. Adelaide have been playing six forwards for the last ten minutes. Can they get another goal in the next couple of moments? There's 14.36 left on the clock. Back in the centre, the first bit of life all day. Brad Crouch has got it. They go forward again. To long kick, Asprey pushing and shoving. Ottman's there, Rance, big fist. Comes out towards Lynch, gathers the ball. They oh, gather him very quickly. Once again, Douglas rock and roll. Their tackling has been outstanding, but Adelaide all of a sudden getting a sniff. And a bit oh, more spring in their step. I like it. It goes out of bounds. Right full forward pocket. It's 13-8 to 7-11. Well, yeah. here's the other thing. There's no breeze. There's bright sunshine. It is all for Crows to get in there now. 33 points and inside 50. Jacobs has got it. Has a snap at goal. Left leg. It's gone through for a point. Cuts the margin to 32 on the Cooper's tie scoreboard. Seven goals, 12, Vix. So yeah. that's 19 scoring shots. To 21. To 21. 11 minutes gone last quarter. Long kick. Season's got to go. Jack Grimes, Jock Grimes went over the top. Sorry. Comes down the ground. Crouch has been really good. Matt Crouch tackled court. Won't come out. We've got to oh. keep it on that time clock, Vix. It's 14 minutes and counting. Yeah, Adelaide had an outnumber there. They just Crouch was wrapped up beautifully. See, another goal, though. You never know. The Tigers could be a bit jittery. They've been... Their oxygen level's really high today. Jacob's got the ball to down, down. Cotton took it. Seeds are now. He's caught. Tackled. Another big tackle, Matt Crouch. He's played a superb game. He's had a superb year. Oh, He's a superb player. He's crow's best. Yeah, just looking forward to the ball. Even numbers. No spares for Richmond. If Adelaide get this forward, they're a massive chance. 32 points is the margin. Up they go again. Young Graham's been outstanding. Only teenage. He's only played five games. The boy from North Adelaide. Brad Crouch to his brother. They hurried up towards Lynch. Was he hand manhandled? Probably. Umpire says all legal. All fair and love and war. Oh. Trapped beautifully at half forward. Now they're going through Preston. It was Townsend that did the good work. Preston's got a man he likes. Up at centre half forward. Pushing and shoving. Oh, it's a free she kick. Oh, it's a shepherd up. Free kick to who? Who? Is it Adelaide or Richmond? Oh, oh no. For I reckon what? Caddy. I thought Caddy Shepherd. Harding can go and believe it. For what? Have a look at it again, Bix. Did, oh, didn't go for the ball. How was that a free kick? Caddy turned around and looked, looked at him. Looked at him and stopped him. He impeded his run. Now, this is That's a, a joke, huh? This is a pivotal moment of the game. It's Adelaide repressing, and I thought it was an Adelaide free. They've given it to Caddy. That is a joke. And this is going to hurt if he can kick straight. Normally, a good kick is uh, Caddy. In he comes. Oh. And he's missed. So, Adelaide get a reprieve. 13-9 to 7-12. Josh Caddy, 10th yeah. position. Well, plenty of time left on the Village Tavern and the Harbour Golden Grove clock. Watch the Lee Matthews one. For every minute, you need a goal. Well, it's 33 points to the margin. Back in the pocket. They're running. D-Mac now goes with the left oh, leg oh, to oh, all seeds. It needed a hit. kick. It was a courageous kick, and it did hit. They've got to throw caution to the win, Adelaide. You've got to keep going, Seedsman. Crows trail by 33. Richmond are up. Long now up onto this wing. Big oh. fly by Rand. Couldn't afford to just He's kick like it down the, the line. Bigs. He is like a wall. Rance now with his right leg to the right hand half forward flank. It's Kiki. Ball marked almost by Costanya. Now with Brad Crouch. He goes forward of centre. Gave it off to Hardigan. Hardigan sees a player on the outer side. I reckon that's Kelly. Kelly's got Atkins breaking. Turn around, son. Atkins now should get the ball. Kelly's going to give it to him. He's Dougie's been solid. He needs to run. You heard Biggs. Keep going. Talia, keep going. 7 12 to 13 9. Margin 33. Long to Walker. Walker's body work was terrific. He'll swing around on his left leg on the outer side side wing, now he goes with the right leg pops the ball up, Eddie Betts with the fly, he flew and he marked and he handles to Charlie, can't get free Charlie, handles back, Charlie got leg, Charlie got leg is holding the ball, no, no, no that was the moment Bix, they needed it, Charlie got leg What's Eddie Betts' stats? Bix, he's been quiet today, he's had three kicks and three handles, wow, on the big stage, how good's this Edwards been? Kick back. Well, he's another North Adelaide boy. They've got a few of them out there at the moment. Rewald, he's been good too. That's Jack Rewald. He's beaten oh. Tali today. It's a 50-50 ball. Look at Rioli go. Rioli and Brown. Brown and Rioli. Rioli got away. Brown grabbed him. Rioli got up. Lever grabbed Rioli. Is that on the ball? Umpire said, no, good effort. I'll play it on. Towns it in there. Serious? And it goes out of bounds. Left full forward pocket. They, I've never seen a team turn one percenters into wins ever today. in my life. No, they've been good today, the Tigers. A one goal they? will seal the deal, you'd think. They cannot afford to concede now, the Crows. It's inside the Tigers' 50. And the crowd might be a bit nervous, but they've got a handy break. It is still 33 points. 
and we know they can score. Almost a free kick to Richmond, not played. Hawley again been outstanding to Caddy. He tried to get back to Martin, has played a superb game, the Brownlow medalist. Kick up towards full four, Townsend's there. Lever, got the ball to ground as a Jakey Lever's last game for the Crows, but Kay goes off the ground. Brandon Ellis in there, Cameron. Cameron shrugged his shoulders, got it to Douglas. Douglas burst through the centre, bounce number two. He's caught, drops it, picks it up again. Oh, he's out the side. Now they go out wide. Lynch. It's Lynch. Lynch all on his own, can run to 50, goes short. Oh, went to oh, spot his man in Blossom. Wow. As one of the most critical smothers in a game of footy. They are coming out late. They're coming. They've got to get it on the scoreboard. They've got to take every chance, though, Bix. Oh, that needed to go. Walker was out in the goal square. He's got two. Margin 33. Cooper's tie scoreboard. Still time. Where there's hope. Bix is giving them hope. Boundary throw in. Jacobs taps it out the back. Good work there by uh, Lambert. Gives it off now to Greek. Oh. Greek gave it to Edwards. Gee, Titch Edwards, you've been a star, son. That's Long inside kick. 50. It's a foot race in two, and it's been marked. I reckon that's a terrific mark by Townsend. Players breaking from all angles. This will be it right here, Bix. Hawley's Basher clear. Hawley wants it. Basher Hawley, he marks this. He does. He kicks it. Give him the Norm Smith He's picks. been the one that's got away, Bix. So he's just been um, let off a leash. He's been like the lead at the other end, but he's been more damaging. Yeah, this will be his 23rd disposal. Gone at 77% efficiency. He's already kicked one goal, one. And he's lining up for his second. 33 points the margin, 13-9 to 7-12, bright sunshine, 2017 AFL Grand Final, Cochin comes off to Roars, Lever is limping, the ball's in the hands of Basha Hooley, this will be the biggest roar you'll ever hear. No. It's 34 Come points. Come on Adelaide, from this kick in, they've got to move the ball with some boldness. Can the... they do it? 9.30 left boy. on the Village Tavern. The Hubba got him, time got oh. turnover, oh, no, the kick out from the has been marked by Townsend. And the young fella's had a remarkable start to his Rich McCree. He's been on the list for a while, former giant. And he can go back. He kicks, what was it, six and five in his first two games. He can go back and this will seal it, you would think. He's had just the three kicks and four handballs. He's got a goal, kicked a, a really good goal early in the first half. This one here. He's trying to seal it for the Tigers. And he can just about sense the roar that's going to happen if he does. Well, he's a beautiful kick. He's played four games to kick 15 goals. This will seal it. Look at that. Have a look at that. And that is snuffed out. Any chance Adelaide had of winning the game was only a small chance. That is game set match. 14-10 to 7-12. He's done a job on leave. He's kicked a couple of goals. He's tackled well. And Damien Hardwick, full marks to him. He's turned this side around. They've gone small, but boy, oh boy, Bix has it worked. Yep, indeed. And uh, Lee Matthews' little uh, mantra, Crow's now seven goals behind and there's eight minutes to play. We're getting very close to calling this. If we haven't yeah, we've called it. 14-10 <laughs> to 7-12. They've been absolutely awesome. Full credit to them. To Damien Hardwick, for the board, for holding their nerve, for making the right decisions. They are 40 points up, and there's seven minutes to go in a grand final. OK, here we go. Martin, Brad Crouch, Matt Crouch, trying hard. Knight comes through, gets his hands free again. The pressure was too good. Big tackle by D. Martin. Oh, he's going to get a free dear. kick. He did the fend-off off Rory Sloan. He's lost to Larynx. He's but the free kick's going to too. come to Martin. Martin now with the right leg to this near side. Seedsman needs to go. He does. McIntosh has got it. Right hand half back flank. Squirts the ball forward. And there's another mark mm. right on the 50. I think the wheel's gone now from Adelaide. Yep. They realise they can't do it. Richard, Richard's got it. Richmond realise they've got it. All of a sudden, they're not tired anymore. They're running. They're yeah. loving getting yeah. their hands on it. Adelaide, it's all just becoming too hard. Chicanier so the handballs to Martin. Martin oh. was going to have a shot at goal. It's going to come back. 14-10-94. Bigs first to 100 was always going to win, but it's going to be Richmond. Yep. 7 12 54. I might have giggled because what can you do? You've lost the grand final, being absolutely outplayed by a team with absolute want and grit. Long to the edge of the square. Big fist through the ball, and it's going to hit the post. Mm. Boundary throwing alongside that right-hand post. I, I 20 minutes gone. I don't think they're the most talented team, but I think it's the hungriest team I've seen, Bix. Yeah, they've been remarkable. There's been a lot more talented teams than Richmond. They yep. won a grand final on pure hunger. Yeah, they've yep. played with passion, just like the Bulldogs did last year, and they're going to get the same result. They get another goal. The crowd again, they go absolutely berserk. Adelaide under the pump. I've never seen them like this for so long. They've just struggled all day. All their key components have gone missing oh, and holding the ball. the ball. Doesn't matter now, Roy. What? Nah. Let them enjoy it. They must win by 13 goals. They get a free kick, maybe 50-50.
Let's have a look at it again on the paper versus replay. Diving on top of the ball. Well, they often let that go. They paid it. Butler. The butler's got it. Right full forward pocket. Just watching some of the vision on the uh, the, the screens. Uh, Brendan Gale, Crying. the CEO. Peggy O'Neill. Tears welling up in their eyes. Uh, well done. Man. Butler for icing on the cake. Thank you very much. Wow. This is incredible. Hats off to Richmond. It just goes to show the will and the want can beat pure talent. And their will and the want fix has been better than Adelaide's today. Well, Melbourne tonight, it won't be painted red, it'll be painted black and yellow. This city is alive with the passion of Richmond that has been. Brendan Gale and a few of the other Richmond people have just, they're in tears. Too much for him. He's been overcome with emotion. Former player for a long time. CEO now. The Richmond faithful, they know it's theirs. Well, it's a demoralising loss now on the biggest stage in the AFL. And it's one of the greatest grand final wins by Richmond. Oh. Jacobs gave it down now to Brad Pouch. Ball goes out the back. They're running on head, on fumes. Don't worry about that. The Crows. Asprey does a long loopy handball to Boston. Taylor Walker ran into his back. The umpire said play on to the outer side. Lambert's got it. Margin is 46 points. Who predicted this? Plenty of time left for them to get it over 10 goals. Yeah, I predicted Adelaide to win by 46. 15-10 yeah. to 7-12. Cooper's tie scoreboard. Lambert now goes long to the outer side. Half forward flank. Smothering through the ball. Nan Curvis got to boot the ball. Good work there by Rory Sloan. Out the back was Edwards. He is just a star. Hambled in traffic to Nan Curvis. He goes forward. Ball's almost been trapped down there by Castagna. Taps it out the back to Butler. He didn't want the ball. Brett Crouch did. Oh, it was a smother there. Dusty! Martin. Dusty! Dusty! Dusty's oh miss! No sense the of fear. The <laughs> was willing in the oh. brown line medalist. Now I'm getting on his back. Margin 47. Is that a fair game? 101. Fair. 101. He's had 26 disposals, Dustin Martin. Fix, rack your, rack your brain and tell me if you can think of a side that... Perhaps has not the talent that's one like this. It's unbelievable. Yeah, they right. fooled everybody. Revolt now. They're enjoying the party. They keep the woods full forward. Pushing, shoving. Martin's got it again. Round the body. Finish it off, Dusty. Finish it off. And he has. Boy, oh boy, Dustin Martin. You might have a Norm Smith to go with your Brownlow. He's got a couple of goals. You can't stop the man. Who said the Brownlow would get in his way? He's had a remarkable year, well, and he's enjoying the moment. There's tears in his eyes, too, because well, they have won the game a long way from home. I'll tell you what, if you haven't put your three votes in already, if you're a judge, you've probably just got swayed then, because you look at his numbers, 27 disposals. He's had 21 of those contested. He's had eight score involvements, two goals, two, six clearances. Absolutely has to be in the shuffle for the Norseman. 14 goals to two since quarter time. 53 points to margin. It's going to be a 10 goal. Been a complete drop. team performance. Yeah. Yes, it has. 100,021 here. Cooper's tie a scoreboard margin. 53 back. They go again. Sloan he's tried hard to Matt Crouch. Gave it to Laird. They're probably their three best combined right there. Goes forward. Lost in that back six. Superb. They're going to cheer every single possession. Five and a half minutes of play left. They're out by 53 points. Boston now with that big red beard goes to the outer side wing. Lever with a fist through the ball. Maybe that's his last touch in a Crows jumper. I hope it's not. Hamble in traffic from Rory Stode to Lynch. Too Lynch. high. How's that? Four of them tackled him then, Biggs. That is, the, that, that is their game. They play a different brand to everyone, this mob. They get at the opposition with frenetic pressure, chase and tackle. Yeah, they've been outstanding. No doubt about that. We it dip our lid to them. Betts just had one of those games he'd like to forget. Been, he's had a few mates, though, little Eddie. He's provided all the cameos. Now, Walker's got a couple of goals to his credit. And if he goes back, he may slot his third, but has had no real impact. Walker goes for home. Lands in the square. Nan Kervis up. Oh, oh, and the big fella said, I want the party trick. Put out the long arms and took a terrific mark, a drum and golf mark of the day. Nan Kervis kicks back outside the defensive 50. A nice mark. That lever. Plays on quickly in the pocket. And the mark's been taken 15 metres out from Goins. Charlie Cameron. Doesn't matter how quickly you go back, Charlie, the game's over. I tell you what, all due credit to Crow's supporters. No one's left. No. Still a full house. 100,021. Charlie Cameron, five last week. 
And he kicks the goal now, but it's all elementary. Well, Dustin Martin, just thinking about this, he's going to get votes again in the uh, the Gary Ayres medal. He could be the Brownlow medalist, the Norm Smith medalist, the Premiership player, and the Gary Ayres medalist as the player of the finals. Yeah, give it to him. What a year he has had. What a year Richmond have had. What a turnaround. I'd give it to him. Well... Well, yeah. Cotchen probably was leading up until today, but cotchen has been quiet today. Well, he was well held, wasn't he? Yeah. 16 goals, 11, 107, Richmond, 8, 12, 60. 47 points, Rowie. 47 points, yeah. Cooper's tie scoreboard. Still about three and a half minutes of play left. Very disappointing for Adelaide, but all due credit you... to Richmond. That Tiger Town, the Tiger Army, it come, it roared. Hardwick take a bow, the entire team take a bow, oh. the entire club. 1980 was their last flag with KB. Ball comes through to Douglas, to Matt Crouch. Outstanding Matt oh. Crouch. Oh, the ball was smothered off the boot to Cotchen. Kicks around his body into the pocket. Hardigan with another chest mark. Give that a drum and golf mark of the day contender. I'll tell you, with him. the pressure from Jack Revon often outnumbered is outstanding, Vix. Yeah, he doesn't right. kick a lot of goals anymore, but his pressure is outstanding. Yeah, Richmond, shattering, isn't it? 1980, I mean, at the start of this year, you could have given any odds that win a flag. Man Curvis again stood tall and takes a free kick. Matt Crouch has tried really hard. He's at his best. Man Curvis, 17 disposals he's had. 11 of those have been contested. That's his fifth mark. He's been really, really good today. This is where you really enjoyed in a, in a Premiership victory. Broad's got the footy on the other side. The crowd are chanting. It's just been an unbelievable display of just grit. Hard grit, hard tackling. How they kick the first couple of goals of the game, bearing in mind? Richmond kick again. three How points. He be? They're still going. Martin again to Prestia. Runs to 50. He wants to join in the party. And he has missed. He has missed. The crowd's still moaning and groaning. Doesn't matter. How's that score on? Adelaide only kicked eight goals. Richmond almost doubled their score. Okay, quick kick in now to Brett Crouch. He was very fumbly the first half. Everything he did was under pressure. Richard Douglas was another one that got set upon an attack. Gave it to Kelly. Tried hard, that young man, to Greenwood, whose calf has him. worried him. Greenwood now right-hand half-back flank. 48 points to the margin, Richmond's way. You'll hear the roar. Jacobs, one of the Crows' best. Tried hard. Back to Brett Crouch. Below his knees, terrific to Laird. Laird now to Matt Crouch. Matt Crouch goes forward. Tries to find Charlie Cameron with pace. He had to take the ball. He does now. Ball's opening up. He gets tackled. Oh. Great football there by Asprey. And he got it back from Broad. Broad kicked around his body looking for Grimes. It's going to wobble out. No, he's kept it in. Now it's out. He's been good throwing. too. That's yeah. a job on Betts, Dylan Grimes. 48 points, Richmond's way. They're all at their feet. They're standing. They cannot believe they've won you know, their first flag since 1980. For two years in a row, momentum's won a flag. The Bulldogs last year, they, they rode the crest of a wave. Well, the Tigers have done exactly that. We thought they might be a little bit stage fright today, but they haven't been. The kick towards Grimes again. Little Eddie, as we said, had a day that he'd love to forget. He's been an outstanding player, but unfortunately today there's been no Eddie magic. No, there hasn't been. Their, their ability to get the ball quickly into the, into the forward line and have some space for them to work in. Every time it's gone in there, there's been numbers, there's been players, there's been bodies. Most of them Richmond that's just made it really tough now, though, for us. He's got the goggles on Rewalt. He has got tears streaming out his face. 29 streaming. gone on the village tavern time clock. They've been irresistible, frenetic, fanatical, pressure enormous. And as I say, I think everybody's been stunned by just how good they've been. They've got some stars, but they've got all the other tradesmen, blue-collar workers. They pop it back towards Rewalt again. Over the head of Talia. Here's Dustin Martin. He's the king of Melbourne. Put the crown on Dusty. Gets a handball to Townsend to Revolt. Revolt applies a big bear hug on his Talia. McKay to Hardigan. Goes back to McKay. D Mac still running hard. Now to Douglas. Douglas on the wing. The member's side, little short ball. Went about eight metres to Sloan. He gives it back to Dougie. Long kick up towards full forward. Out comes Green, but it's all Richmond. Thank you very much, and Asprey takes an uncontested mark. Plays on now to Boston, the back six superb. The midfield is outstanding. The forwards led by Rewalt. Cotchen, the skipper. Here's the wall. Listen to that. 48 points, Richmond. They're going to be the 2017 AFL Grand Finalists. Now to Basho Hawley from the first bounce to the last has been awesome. Chips it over the top to Prestia. He's been what a good recruit too. he's been. He's what been good. a recruit he has been. Prestia now back to Cotchen. Cotchen, another raw. 16 12, 108, 8 12, 60. Best time to play footy if you're a Richmond player. You know you've got it won. 
The crowd is cheering every person. Have a look at them down here, Bix. Yeah. Uh, Hardwick's on yep. the boundary now. They're all clapping each other, well, so they should. 2004, a player is a premiership. Now it's a coach. So well done to the club for holding their nerve. Laird gave it to Jacobs. Jacobs on the outside. Running and taking it as Brad Crouch goes back inside 50 to Walker. He oh, should mark. Hasn't he stopped does. trying, Tex, the big man. Taylor Walker, yes, he has the skipper now to Lynch. Lynch has got it. 48 points to the margin. 30 seconds left. You'll hear a massive roar. Congratulations to Richmond. Damien Harbick's in tears. All of them on the bench. Rioli's in tears. Another Rioli wins another medal. Another medal picks. Unbelievable worlds. Bring it home, mate. Okay, so the kick now from Knight. It's been a disappointing day, but not if you're a Tiger fan. I reckon Adelaide would be flat as a bush biscuit. Knight now. Kick on its way. And Hawley. Called to play and runs out of bounds. Ten so, seconds. So dying seconds. You wish in the roar here. On the boundary there. Jubilation. Three seconds. Been an amazing game. But for the wrong reasons for Adelaide. The ball's going to get thrown in. Big men go up at it. Up goes Jacobs. Ball comes to ground. Where's the siren? A high ball. Outside 50. There it is. The Tigers jubilant. It's been a long time between drinks. In fact, 37 years. And the underdog has got up and fought so hard. And they thoroughly deserve their win. And won by 48 points. They've held Adelaide to eight goals. And been one of the most stunning performances in a grand final for many a long year. Congratulations, Tigers. Let's hear the song. Unbelievable scenes here at the MCG. Richmond against all odds. A defeat of the highly fancied Adelaide. Held in eight goals. 16-12 to 8-12. Unbelievable and thoroughly deserved. It's what you play for, isn't it? Have a look at the Tigers fans. They are rejoicing. There's tears of joy flowing down the cheeks. And there's the cup. Matthew Richardson will present it to Trent Cotton and Damien Hardwick. We were hoping it'd be Mark Bickley to that late Crows, but no excuses today. On the big day, they fell well short, and Richmond bought their A game, no doubt about well, that, Bix. Well, they did. 37 years it's been to Peggy O'Neill on her board. I mean, fantastic. They were challenged. They held firm. Let's go down to Channel 7. They got Trent Cotton there. We've been about all year, and that's 22 contributors. Dusty's pretty special, but the guys have been fucking outstanding. And that roar today, too. You go and enjoy. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, we didn't pick it up, but we could see that he's pretty happy down there. Cotchen, Damon, uh, Dustin Martin. Unbelievable. All the weight of the world in his shoulders. His dad's, dad's in uh, New Zealand. Let's go down to Richo. Yeah, the guys out here. You see how much it means this group with the guys out here in Swiss didn't get a game today. About your coach Damien Harvick, just tell us something about him again, mate. What was he like this week leading into the game? Uh, just to stay the same, mate. We've, we had a process in place as we've had. We've learned a lot of lessons over the year. We've had that same process. Who would have thought, mate? We finished 13th last year. Been by 110 points in the last round, mate. And now we're fucking through this. So, oh, you can say whatever you want. Yeah, that was Jack Revolt with Matthew Richardson. Thanks to Channel 7, Richo, a happy man. It's just an unbelievable story. We thought the Bulldogs' fairy tale last year couldn't be bettered, but I'll tell you what, to come from 13th to win a premiership and win by yep. like goals is just remarkable. Well, there's no real template, is it? If you have a look at what the Bulldogs did, they played on spirit. You look at Richmond now. We were saying about Peggy O'Neill and her board and Brendan Garley's executive, Damien Hardwick. He was out the door. He was out the door, Bix. They held firm. Yep. He changed. 
He had a lot of reflection. They got mm. some new assistants in there. Benny Rutten, fantastic for him. Trent Conchon as a skipper. He got into the finals and he said to himself, you know what, we're going to win this and I'm going to lead the way he did. Dusty Martin, what a year a bloke's got. I got the goggles on the uh, the Crows. They were just outplayed, outgunned, outwanted, outwilled. Didn't fire a shot. They no, Rowie. were absolutely outclassed. Well, not outclassed, outplayed by a mm. team whose game style on the biggest stage was better than theirs. Yep. They're, End of story. Well, they just didn't allow Adelaide the time and the space to be able to use the ball. That was the simple thing. Adelaide just just didn't use the ball anywhere near or have the system oh, anywhere. Pressure, yeah, the pre- the pressure is enormous they took, they took the time away from them. And we saw against Geelong and GWS, Adelaide pretty much did what they pleased. They were able to, to lift or lower the eyes and pick out leading targets, all that. But there's just no time, no space today. And right now, they are in a world of hurt, Adelaide. They're and exhausted. They're looking at the other team celebrate, and they feel like they're a million miles away from uh, ever trying to get a chance. And you're right. You might not get it. doesn't happen, does it? You just don't automatically go to a grand final again. They had a great run of injury in two right at the end with Brodie Smith and Mitch McGovern. Bad luck. Bad luck there, but they were beaten. I'm not sure they would have won with those two. It's an eight, we're talking eight goals. They were they were bull, almost bullied today with the way they gang tackled on that and... There'll be questions asked, no doubt, Vix. You, you can't you can't accept that when you're the hot favourite. Everybody in Adelaide have thought the Crows would win. And they've lost by eight goals. And just disappointing on the big stage not to bring the A-grade game. Yeah. Well, they weren't allowed to bring their A-grade game. That's the credit that we've got to give to this playing group. You know, Damien Hardwick had them absolutely on the rivet from the first bounce to the last bounce. which just an incredible effort. So have your say, if you like, Baker Young stockbrokers. 5AA footy feedback line, 8 double two three double o double o. Richmond, 16-12-108 to 8-12-60. Dusty just has a massive hug there with Richo. Damien Harwick comes out. He shakes Don Pike's arms. I'll tell you what's happened just in the last two minutes, Bix. Yep. The clouds have cleared. It is bright blue so- sunshine. It's as if the footy god said, you know what? Here's your moment <laughs> Shine right on now. You. Shine on you, the Tigers. Premiers. Well, the lights are in full bloom too. Makes it even better, but it's an impressive form. Damien Hardwick must admit, Vix, I raised my, my eyebrows were raised when he got reappointed after thought he had six or seven years there. Um, but he cha- he was bold enough to change his game plan complete with a small forward line and just incessant, incessant pressure. And it's, you know, Jack Graham comes in, he's playing his fifth game today, kicks three goals on the biggest stage of his life. Unbelievable, only teenage on the ground. Yeah, Unbelievable. Seven players with less than 50 games. It's just players. Nathan Broad has played a handful of games. He, he was a plumber last year. He was working part-time and he's come in now and he is in this team. I'm just watching Trent Cotchin go and seek out Taylor Walker and shook his hand. It is, uh, like we said, it's a joyous occasion. It's such a polarising day. The Richmond fans and the Richmond players and officials are just over the top and it was desolation on the other side just well, 50 metres away Adelaide sit there wondering where did it all go wrong well the tears are streaming down the crows faces but there's tears of jubilation for Richmond the difference between winning and losing it's just massive yeah, what about the massive. game though Matt Crouch he had 35 possessions in a day when a lot of his teammates couldn't even get one or two picks just a remarkable yeah, amount of let's time. Let's have a look at some of the numbers. The inside 50s ended up uh, 58 to Richmond, 45 to Adelaide. Incidentally, Adelaide's score of 8 12 60 is their equal lowest score. They scored 60 points against Melbourne in their loss earlier in the year, and that was their lowest score for the year. So, unfortunately, Adelaide chose the absolute wrong day not to be able to get it right. Uh, let's have a look at the, um, the contested possession numbers. Um, Richmond won by 27. That is an absolute smashing there. They were able to get their hands on it first. Uh, let's have a look. Dustin Martin had 21, Prestier 11, Edwards had 13, Cochin 12, and then Curvis 11. So those players around the footy, they're able to win it, get it going their way. Brad Crouch ended with 27 disposals, had a really good second half. His disposal efficiency ended up uh, 63 after he was 50% at half time. Ironically, um, the coach standing right next to Jake Lever. Jake Lever, about the only crow that is standing, everybody else on the ground. and. And Donny Pike next to him, but uh, wow, was that the last we've seen a lever? Well, probably. We'll talk about that shortly as the uh, crowd still sing. Um, whatever stat you want, the most damning is the scoreboard stat. Yep. From quarter time, Crows kicked four goals, ten. That was pure pressure by Richmond to 14 goals, nine. Yep, that's There's it. the margin. You can't afford to do that, right can there. you? 
you can't afford to kick poorly, unfortunately. Who's your Norm Smith? Um, I tell you what, if they hadn't filled out their forms till very late in the game, I think Dustin Martin's a massive chance. I think Edwards, I loved Edwards's game. How was Edwards's game? Yeah, Prestia was very good. Hooley was good. This could be quite even. There's, as we know, there's half a dozen judges. Everyone sees it slightly differently. So um, I don't think there's too many Adelaide players in there. Maybe Matt Crouch might scrape in with a one here and there, but the reality is it was Richmond's day. They had most of the good players on the ground. Well, they've got the Gatorade shower there. Dustin Martin's come up behind the coach, Damien Hardwick. I think, I think the head. class of Martin maybe gets it. You see, every time he, he was so dangerous, they couldn't catch him. He got caught once holding the ball by Matt Crouch, but kicked a couple of goals, could have had four himself, gave out a couple. I'd probably go Martin, but you're right, Everett's play well. Their defence was outstanding. Asprey, I, Rance. Yeah. I had good. a look at the uh, Gatorade shower that Dusty Martin gave to Harbick. Now, Harbick was one tough unit. Harbick wanted to punch the bloke that Gatorade. Then he looked around, it was Dusty. They hugged each other. <laughs> it was quite funny. That score again, 16-12, 108, Richmond. Adelaide 8, 12, 60. A margin of 48 points, 100,021. It is our match review, thanks to the Barrow Hotel Group. Brad will be out there in the outer. I think because he's a port man, might be happy that Richmond won, but I won't put words in his no. mouth. I'll have a frothy with you, Brad. $10.90 lunchtime meals, Monday to Saturday. It is at the Albion, one of the great pubs in Adelaide. The Birkenhead. Well, I love the Birkenhead and the Lighthouse. Have your say, Crow supporters, Had if it. you can. 8 22 What a grand final. See, I just saw uh, a look like an AFL official um, talking to Jack Revolt. Well, well, he played well too. He well, was, I just wonder. Often he, you do that. It wasn't Patrick Keane who normally? I thought his game on Taylor was outstanding. Kicked a couple of goals. Could have had six today for dropping the f bomb. You reckon? <laughs> no, no, no. I think he's talking to him, saying, "This is what you do. You might be the North Smith medal." Basher Hooley's got to be up there too. Yeah, had him in there. Played really four. well. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, they wouldn't tell the bloke who's the Norm Smith before. I think they do every year, mate. Oh, do they? They go whisper in their And he went up to who? Rewalt. Jack Rewalt. Well, someone from the AFL was speaking. Oh, I don't, think, I don't think four judges have nah. got Jack Rewalt best on ground. I wouldn't have thought picks. so. He had five shots on goal, two goals, three. Nah. Was, just saying. That's generally what they do, just to give them a few minutes to compose themselves. That'd be a massive and shock. And maybe if got think it. of one or two people they like to thank. I mean, look at Matt, Matt Crouch is arguably the, the best player on the ground. He was outstanding for the Crows, but he won't get it. The Crows are sitting down. A couple of them are standing up. Taylor's standing up. Lever's standing up. But they're, they're almost taking up, I don't know, the entire centre square. No one's sitting with each other, are they? They are just flat. Let's go down to the ground announcer. Toyota, represented today by Mr David Butter. David, thank you to the team at Toyota for your outstanding support of our great game. I'd also like to congratulate today's field, boundary and goal umpires on their contribution to today's grand final. Well, it's been a tough day at the office for the Crows. And I'm going to invite their captain, Tex Walker, to the podium to say a few words. Yeah, very tough uh, for all that laid up. Tex is first half, very quiet. Tried hard in the second half, fix, but couldn't get a run on. No, unfortunately, couldn't quite uh, finish off his work as well. Had a lot of shots from a long way out and on angles and kicked two goals, but probably had four or five shots. Uh, firstly, congratulations, Richmond. Too good. Thanks to the sponsors. And sorry, Crows fans, we couldn't get it done, but thank you very much for travelling. Thank you. Mm. It's hard to argue with that. They were too we good. We look forward to seeing the Crows back in action in 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, would you now please welcome James Hurd to present the Norm Smith Medal to the player adjusted as best of field in the 2017 Toyota AFL Grand Final. I would have thought, look, I thought Martin, Hooley, Rance, Prestia. Yeah. Thank you, Craig. The winner Edwards. of the 2017 Norm Smith medal is Dustin Martin. Yeah. From oh, 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 oh. Boy. Dusty. What, what a year. What a year, Bix. Dusty Martin. How do you do that? <laughs> How do you do Brown that? Brownlow, now the Norm Smith medalist. Has that happened in the same year, though? Maybe. I'll, I'll have Did to heard? Have did that come Stewart? Well, thanks, Michael Boss. Thank the the Simon Black would have, wouldn't he? Thanks to the fans Simon for coming Black. out. Yellow and Black! <laughs> well done, Dusty. And you can almost guarantee now he wins the Gary Ayres medal as the best player in the final series. So he could not have had a better well year. to Dustin ever. Martin. Well, it's every young footballer's dream to be on the grand final day on the last Saturday in September. And ladies and gentlemen, it is with much pleasure that we welcome 22 winners of NAB AFL Oz Kicker of the Year competition 
from the NAB AFL Auskick program, who will now present medallions to the players of the Richmond Football Club. Starting with number one, Nick Vlaston. He played well too. Yeah. He's solid, he strong. He was good early, oh, wasn't he? Strong. He ended up with 15 disposals. Uh, went at uh, 80% disposal efficiency. Very, very good player. Number two, Dylan Grime. Yeah, he did a great job at Eddie Betts. Picks absolutely smothered him, I thought. Yeah, Betts just had three shots on goal, kicked one goal too, but Grimes won a lot of one-on-ones and also came across as third man in a lot today. Number three, Dion Pressier. Outstanding effort from him and of course came from the Gold Coast. You reckon he'd love that decision there, Bix? Uh, well, that's it. It's such a stark difference, isn't it? Gold Coast on their knees at the moment. Dion Pressier on the Premiership day. Number four, Dustin Martin. Let the Raw tell the story. Best player in the comp. He's only going to get better too, I reckon. Dustin Martin, outstanding. A quiet lad. He did it all. And I reckon him, him signing five, gave the real Ellis. Ellis. Ellis, he's been pretty uh, solid this year. They said he was an outside player, but been a lot harder this year, Bix. Yep, ended up with 14 disposals for the day. 283 metres gained. Number six, Sean Grigg. Yeah, he got a goal. Was solid. Second ruckman. Plays a unique role. Came over from Carlton. I bet you he's happy. 17 disposals for Grigg. Number eight, Jack Revolt. Yeah, good game. I, I thought he beat Tarly today. Could easily have had five or six goals. And his pressure, unbelievable. Lone big man up forward. Yeah, he did really well, didn't he? He's... Number 10. Shane Edwards. He's well, the boy from North Adelaide, Titch. I tell you, ball in hand, there was no better today. Under pressure, he did some amazing things. We spoke to him this week, Vicks. I'm wrapped for the young lad. Well, he told us about dreaming about the grand final. He said, you Number can't 12, help what you dream David about. Asprey. And he's, he's living his dream right now. Asprey's come off two near reconstructions, and he's the pillar down there with Rance. Very, very solid on Josh Jenkins. Number 14, Basha Hooley. He'll get votes in the BOG for mine, for me. He gets a big roar. Got one, needed another one. He just linked up from half back. Got a great leg and a good start. Good on him. Number 17, Daniel Rioli. Yeah, pretty quiet by his standards, but he's a star in the making. Played two other great finals today. Did what he had to do, Got and a, he'd be happy. A massive corky uh, late it or about halfway through the last Number quarter. Number 18, a Alex Really Rance. good final series. That's a massive war as well, Rance. And Vicks, what was his numbers? He was fantastic. Yes, Alex Rance ended up uh, surprisingly only with 11 disposals. So he's had nine kicks, two handballs. Number 21, Six Jacob marks. Townsend. This lad plays his role. A remarkable, only five games this year. He's kicked 16 goals in a couple of days. Tackling pressure on Lever was really good. Number 22, Josh Caddy. Well, it's about time he moved over from Geelong. They didn't want him. He's a premiership player now. Winners are grinners. Yeah, and initially he wasn't keen to come. Wanted to stay at Geelong. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a really wise choice, wasn't Number it? 23, Kane Lambert. Yeah, he's had a pretty good year, Kane Lambert, under a cloud during the week with uh, some sort of leg injury, but he certainly played his part. It's like Cole Harding a couple of years ago, I think he's playing for Williamstown or somewhere in the VFL. Been able to come into this side, make a position here. Well done, man, Curtis. I'll tell you what, he missed out with Sydney, but he was awesome today. I think from quarter time, he got on top of Jacobs. Yeah, I agree. I thought he was very good. His work around the ground was excellent. Ended up Number with 18 disposals. Cameron McIntosh. Yeah, McIntosh had a job to do early on. He's, uh, he plays his part. Not a fashionable sort of player, but once again, a team player. Yeah, he was really angry and aggressive on Tom Lynch for a lot of the day. Number 34, oh, Jack Graham. Oh. Well, he was the under-18 captain last year. Got overlooked in three won the Lark rounds. Medal, didn't he? he won the Lark medal. Three goals. The boy from Tea Tree Gully. Very proud. Well done. Number 35, Nathan Broad. Just got the Norse medal judging now. Nathan Broad, as we said, is a plumber 12 months ago. He's now an AFL Premiership that? player. Uh, Dustin Martin got 13 votes. Basha Hawley got 10 votes. Number 40, Dan Butler. Yeah, Dan Butler did a couple of nice things. Applies pressure, one of the small forwards. And Harold it. Number 46, yeah. Jason Castagna. They just do their job picks. Yep, and they bring the heat, the pressure. They get a chance to kick a goal. They're able to put some on the scoreboard. Castagna got one today. Butler got one. Ladies Both and gentlemen, just number nine, the captain, uh, Trent Cotchen. How's the roar? Well, well How's deserved, that roar? Well deserved, this man. Turned his career around. Had a horrible record in big finals. We'll tell you what, he's put that to bed. Fully deserves it. What a roar. What, well done to... 
Trent Cotts and remarkable. Ladies and gentlemen, would you now please welcome to the podium Michael Malthouse to present the Jock McHale medal to the coach of the 2017 Toyota AFL Premiership team, Damien Hardwick of the Richmond Football Club. Oh, take your head off too, honestly. Uh, Mick, a former Richmond player. Unbelievable. Mm. Yeah, well done to Mick. That's a massive hug too, <laughs> Damien Hardwick. Absolutely outstanding. you got to love the lad, I reckon. Yeah. Indeed. That's as big a smile as you'll ever see. Yeah. And here he comes, Richo Mann. What a cheer, listen to this. Firstly, uh, commiserations to Adelaide. Obviously had an amazing year uh, and continued that form through finals. The AFL and their partners. I'd like to thank Richmond sponsors, Jeep, Bingle, Swinburne and Puma. To all our board, staff, volunteers, there's so many people that make up a football club. Uh, they put hard-earned, spend a lot of time at the footy club and, and it makes it a pretty special place to be around. Huge thanks to uh, our families, our friends and uh, the boys. It's been an incredible year uh, and I've just loved working alongside you all. And finally, a massive thank you to our fans and our members. You deserve this. What a great speech, Trent. Yeah. He's had a big two years. He's a Brownlow medalist now. And Thank now he's you. a premiership captain. Once again, we played an outstanding opposition today. You're a simply wonderful football club, wonderful organisation. We've got a great respect for the Adelaide Crows. We thank you for the competition today. <laughs> We're good enough. 48 points they got smoked by. 48. Like to thank the AFL. I'd love to thank our sponsors in Jeep, Bingle, Host Plus, the Swinburne Centre and Puma for Dustin. <laughs> I'd also sincerely love to thank Mrs Hardwick, who's somewhere up in those stands up there. <laughs> Good man. Well, she was one that gave him the, the self-reflection. She said, you're not the man I married. To Come Peggy, on. Brendan, our board, we did it. Oh, brilliant, man. To my assistant coaches, my football department, the love of my life, the players, I commend you blokes, you're simply outstanding. I've never seen a side like you, you're unique, I love watching you play, you're an incredible team that is now a premiership team. Oh man, good speech. Damien Hardwick take a bow. Mr. Beat. Yeah. And finally, to the Tiger Army. This one's for you! And now, the moment you've been waiting for. I have much pleasure in inviting Tiger great Matthew Richardson to present the Premiership Cup to Trent Cotton and Damian Hardwick. Yeah, Richo. All those barren what years he played well in. Well done. Hardly played a final. Is that a Richo chant right here? <laughs> yeah. Now, full marks to him. Thoroughly deserved it. What a moment. What a moment that is up there. <laughs> that is what it's all about. As the confetti the springs out of the big cannons behind them. Listen to that song. Yellow and black. Well, the crows are limping off, and yep. as we would say, Stephen, we did not see yeah. this coming. No, we didn't. Full credit again to Richmond. Yep, you're right. Off they go. Matt Crouch is out in front. Probably their best. Led second best. Rory Sloan was outstanding. Don Pike's not happy. Campo and Vix. There's no guarantee you're back here next no, year. Not. Lever could be gone. They're talking um, some of the assistant coaches could be gone. I think Cameron will stay, but could be. You know, Rory Sloan, the end of next year. He's going to be a free agent. 
these boys, that 22 bix will never be the same no. 22 again, no, and that's, that's the thing with this. Yeah, that's There's you, no guarantees in this game. That's why you seize the moment, isn't it? You would have looked at last year, the Western Bulldogs had 13 players who had played under 50 games, and you thought, wow, when they keep uh, developing and they keep getting more experience, they're going to be unbeatable. Well, it just hasn't happened. Trying to get that same unity, that same passion, that same feeling that you have when you're playing well, it's, there's no formula, and, and Richmond have got it right now, and and they are just so untouchable. But Adelaide, they have to go back, regroup, lick their wounds, and try and uh, see if they can get back. Too many again. players, picks have just had um, days well below what they normally do. Yeah. Their, their output was just nothing like normal. Matty Krauss just looked at his numbers. He's finished up with 37 disposals, 37 disposals in a losing grand final side. Brad had 29, Laird had 27, Sloan 21, Douglas 20, Kelly 20, Tom Lynch 18. So there's the numbers there. Have they got the votes? Did he get any votes for the... Um... Uh, let's have a look. I'll just... No, I doubt in that goal losing side. Was, um, he would have got them all. Martin got, Martin got one, two, 13, three, four of the threes, and Hooley got one three. Yeah, so Martin in with 13, Hawley 10. They are my two best. Alex Rance got two, Shane Edwards two, Dion Prestia yeah, two. Yeah, that's about right. And yep. Jack Graham one. So and no crow. we're no Not one crow. crows in there. So nah, they're cool. Jack Graham, what about that in his fifth game? Gets a oh. vote in the Norm Smith medal. Well, he's a kid from Tea Tree Gully, played for North Adelaide, as we said, the Lark medalist. Three goals, and they were bloody good goals too, Bix. I love looking at the kids down at the um, graffiti head. <laughs> just playing... Snowman in there. Keep your mouth closed, kids. You'll end up with it in your cob. Yeah, so yeah. Richmond are going to do the lap of honour. This could be the longest, the slowest, and the best lap of honour they'll ever do. Yeah, Dustin well, Martin get the keys to Richmond. Keys yeah, anywhere in yeah, Melbourne? Anywhere. Yeah, he's been wow. a superstar, hasn't he? And done it in his own way, which is great. I think we're starting to, with the exposure that he's had since the Brownlow medal, or even in the last month since he signed up, started to do a bit more media, starting to understand him and get a little bit of a, an idea of uh, his personality, and he is, he's, he's different, he's unashamedly different, he doesn't apologise for that, and quite like what he's been able to do. This is the greatest time when you're a footballer, you've won the flag, was watching Jack Revolt go over to the, uh, he's obviously picked someone out in the crowd, he's looking up at them, he's pointing at them. It's almost Adelaide in where he's looking yeah, at. Yeah, I think it might be his partner or someone, he's really just punching the air saying thank you, this is just a great time. Big um could you see this coming? Well, I didn't know. I thought Adelaide, if, if there was going to be a blowout, I thought it was only one way it was going to blow out, and that would have been Adelaide's way, but not to be. And you sort of sense there, there is this moment once the once you know that you can't win the game and the opposition know they can't lose, it was just there is a tendency for it to get out of control because you just when you're when you're on the good side of it, you just run and you want to keep touching the ball. Yeah. All of a sudden, all your tiredness just evaporates and you just can keep running. Whereas when you know you can't win, all of a sudden your legs feel like lead. You can't move. You realise that you're just going through the motions. And that's a, a really it, tough time. It's an unfortunate because it wasn't what you call a great grand final. It was for Richmond, mm. but when you look at the final margin, <laughs> they just went further away in the second half, Bix, oh, further well, and further and, away. And that's what they've done uh, in this final series. And, and to be quite honest, it hasn't been a cracking final series. There was the game with Port Adelaide and West Coast. That was a close one, but pretty much, other than that, every game was, uh, you know, five or six goals. There, there wasn't too many close ones in there, but that doesn't diminish what Richmond have done in any way, shape or form. They've just been too good. Teams haven't been able to stay with them, and they have quite rightly put a distance between uh, the opposition and themselves, and there's just a giant group or cordon of players walking around. They're now in front of the uh, uh, the AFL, or well, no, it's not, it's the members on the other side. AFL members, yep, in front of the outer side. Dustin Martin's got the cup. He's surrounded by about 40 photographers who are just following his every move. I reckon and if he tried to walk on water right now, <laughs> he'd probably a fair chance he could. He's just uh, There's not much he couldn't do. Uh, match review thanks to the Bro Hotel uh, group. $10.90 lunchtime meals. We saw Brad and the team down there last night. Be, I think everybody disappointed. Did not see it coming, but as we said from Outset, hats off to Richmond. First premiership in 37 years, and boy, did the supporters love it. A great speech from Cochin, and also Damien Harwick. Dustin Martin, well, he's the man of the moment. Just has been for pretty well the entire 2017. We'll take a break. Your calls, 8223 What do you think of that? The Crows, boy, they'll be back in the rooms licking their wounds. And unfortunately, it was on the biggest day of their lives. Most of them were left short. We'll take a break back with more shortly. 
Yeah, we've seen for many years it certainly was. Hats off to Richmond. Um, we came here full of expectation, hope, apprehension. Adelaide kicked the first two goals. We thought, here we go. They were four goals to two at quarter time. From then on, then he kicked another four goals for the game, and Richmond kicked 14. That tells a big story, Mark Bickley. Let's take some calls. Eight double two three double O double. I want to hear from the Crow supporters too. Um, as we said, we didn't see it coming, but Richmond, well, they were like rabid dogs going after a bit of stray meat. They were fantastic. Let's go to Lindy. Kick us off, Lindy. Hi, guys. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for listening to me throughout the year, and thank you, Rowie. I love you guys very much. And as for the Crows, they just got outsmarted by a wonderful coach, and I love the Crows just as much as I did yesterday, and I will tomorrow. So it's okay. So don't get cross with the Crows, because they've done us proud. They did, Lindy. Well done. And, and, and full credit first has got to go to a club that just they want the will, the desire for the contest was greater than the Crows. The Crows weren't deplorable. They had a crack. They just weren't allowed to play their game. Hetz was saying to Harwick, great planning, saying to Cotter and his team, well executed. The Crows would love their time again. I think um, no one saw this coming. It's a 48-point win. Again, thanks for that, Lindy. Keep the calls coming in. You know... Eight double two three double O double O. But we spoke to Lee Matthews and said, Lee, who wins this grand final? He said, you know what? This game's played ten times. Crows win seven. I agree with that. Well, the Crows need to play that other seven because the other three... <laughs> you know the other thing, too Bix, good. it's a 21-goal yeah. turnaround from round six. Was, yeah. 21 goals. Well, one of the things I was thinking to myself just in the break was it actually probably hurt Adelaide that they didn't actually go up against that pressure or they didn't go up against Rance and the way the defenders played them for so long because they just... I didn't think they saw this coming today. They didn't quite see the no. way that the defenders were going to do that to them. So, anyway, um, they will have a close look at it and they'll be, uh, yeah, they'll be disappointed with how they handle it. Let's go to, to Peter. How are you? Yeah. Good, thanks, guys. Um, very, very disappointed. Um, Bits, I just heard you say, you know, they'll have a good look at this, but I don't think they will because the main reasons that we did not lo- uh, win today was because of the leadership. Taylor Walker should never have been the captain. Rory Sloan should have been. Josh Jenkins has just been signed up for God knows how much for the next few years, unsighted. And this has been the story of our um, year. When we're going well, those two guys play good. Well, and Peter, when we're Peter, down, Peter, they finished when on we're top, down... They finished on top of the ladder, Peter. So you can't say it's been the story of the whole year because those guys, you'd have to say if you finish top, they stand up more than they don't. The last two finals, they, they've they been involved and they've been had good wins. They're clearly today, poor today. But don't start saying that they don't stand up because when you finish on top of the ladder, people stand up. Okay, okay, Mark, I accept that. But when you say they're going to look at things, what are they going to look at, please? Well, I'm just saying they'll look at how they were, um, that, that, that Richmond picked them apart today. They dismantled, weren't they? Yeah, they did. And so they so haven't that's played the coach, Richmond. Is it? Well, they will have a look at it. Of course they will. Now, there's some other stuff in there today they probably weren't expecting. Some of the stuff with the ruck, I think, surprised mm. them a bit. The fact they didn't send a, a second ruckman up. Now, you, 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 you make How could ju- that surprise them? They've been doing that all year, Bix. Yeah, look, they're mm. not. Greg's generally rucked against them, but I just reckon that they, they would have thought they might have got, had a few different things. But in the end, they weren't good enough. They didn't think on their feet yes, quick enough. They were not, they, they, yeah, you're right, Bix. They were not good enough, but mm. Taylor Walker has to stand accountable for his game today, and he won't. It'll, it'll just carry on its same merry old way. Oh, what, Pete, what about, I think, no, hang on, yeah, Pete. I think you were hurt. I, what I did like about Taylor, he didn't turn the toes up. He fought hard. He's he thought it was his class. Yeah, no, when, I'm not going to make excuses for him. When we kicked a couple of goals, we were yeah. right. he, he, he shines. Yeah. But when yeah. the game, when when we're winning, um, he plays well. When when we're behind, you don't see him until we start to come back. And that's what happened today. What about yeah. Peter Eddie Betts and Jenkins games as well? I mean, and Cameron is a yeah, few Jenkins. others. I just said Jenkins. Cameron's what? another one. Betts today? Last, last, week, last week was a cameo from, um, um, from Charlie. His best game. And today, unsighted. What, well, we he go, got hurt. Didn't he get hurt early, Charlie? Yeah, we could go oh, through the whole team. No, could... no, he, yeah, no, he didn't get hurt. He, he had a little twing. He came off and he was back on again. Mm-hmm. But you go through the whole team today and you could say, you know what, Daniel Tarley was down. You could say that Richard Douglas just didn't God really smashed. get any penetration with any of his play. Tom Lynch wasn't great today. He didn't have the freedom, didn't find the ball as often as what he could. Uh, Sam Jacobs, as we mentioned, Rowie, thought Nan Curvis probably got the better of him, in the, certainly in the second half, most likely the last three quarters. So you go through the whole side. Uh, when your team 
is obliterated like it was today and pressured and forced to uh, to kick the ball to the extra numbers like they were. There's, there wasn't very many good players at all. Brad Crouch, even, you know, Brad had it 27 times, but he would be disappointed no without, impact, yeah. with how he used it at different times. He made mistakes. Well, thanks for that, Pete. Hang in there, mate. I know it's disappointing losing grand finals. Our Baker Young stockbrokers. 5AA footy feedback. There's no can you feel it. I can feel something else. Let's go to John. Hi, guys. Johnny. Yeah, last night, you guys on the radio and getting these clowns ringing up. They're going to win <laughs> by this and all that. Hey, that was, they played non bruise football after the first quarter. You must admit, you guys have played the game at, the high, at, at this level. That was non bruise after well, I'll the tell first you what, quarter. The Crows will be black and blue. They were assaulted out there. <laughs> In the end, the Crows had more tackles than what Richmond did. But, but they were, they that just, surprised me. That yeah, did surprise but it, me. But it, it was the way that Richmond got at Adelaide. They, they just shook them, them off. They, yeah, well, but don't say that it was Bruce Freak. Have yeah, yeah. I know we're disappointed, but let's not start ripping into to the players because they gave it everything that. Now, they weren't good enough. That's absolutely where... Because we're, Richmond we're, wouldn't allow them to be good that's enough. That's what I'm saying. So defence and pressure beat skill and talent. Well, at the moment, Adelaide weren't able to execute under the absolute heat that, that Richmond brought. Now, they were just... They couldn't handle it. Yep, that's fine. No, they couldn't, but John. That's they couldn't handle it. Just like Geelong last week couldn't handle Adelaide. That's pressure. right. Just like that's GWS. right. That's right. So, but they got the, the board have got to have a look at these players who play on the big time stage. There was quite a few went missing today. Yeah. Walker played OK. I hate people r- running him down. He stood up and kicked his... He's couple. I just wish a few others would have stood a bit tall too. Well, Eddie, that Eddie Pitts had a, entry was Eddie Pitts had a quiet game. I mean, yeah. they, a lot of them did. You just can't blame Taylor Walker. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. Matthew. Gentlemen, I'm at the ground like you guys. And my God, that's a hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I must have stayed. I stayed and watched it. I'm a, I'm a 30-year-old man and I was there for 97, 98. And um, I'd soaked up the pain. And the reality is we were outplayed, outcoached and outclassed. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I think the better team won of the day is, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to be angry enough for this process was, and I'm as passionate as most. And the reality was Rance, Watson, Cooley, um, ran a muck the entire game and we couldn't do anything to stop it. They transitioned so well from there, uh, 50, um, and made us pay. And the reality is, um, for whatever reason, uh, you know, 30, 40% of the boys were really down and um, they got shown up in the biggest stage and the real unfortunate part is um, it goes down in history that Richmond were the better side and I think if you play that again you never know, you can't play hypothetically but my golly I don't think you could have played much worse. Matthew, you couldn't have summed that up any better, mate. Great balance. In, enjoy your trip back. We'll make you sure know, it's a safe one. I said to Bix before the game, if you look at consistency, Richmond were the most consistent team all year. They had the two blowouts, and the other losses were by after six, the eight points. Yeah, after the siren. Just looking at Ivan Marriage down there, what a warrior he was for Adelaide. He's uh, come over to Richmond. Yeah. Um, done a lot of coaching this year with their ruck crew, and so congratulations to him. He's been a part of a premiership now, which was absolutely sensational. Uh, just quickly, Dustin Martin, the sixth player in history to have won a Norm Smith medal, a premiership, and a Brownlow. Only six wow. players have ever done that. The others are Heard, Greg Williams, Judd, Black, and Bartell. But he's the first to do it all in the one season. Well, match review, thanks to the Bro Hotel Group. Uh, let's go to Shane. Have you say, Shane? Yep, uh, congratulations to Richmond. Uh, we, I think we played right into their hands. Uh, I do wish that we could have lowered our eyes a little bit more and hit targets going into the forward line entry. However, uh, if you can stomach watching that game again, I want you to take a particular notice of a Josh Jenkins and the way he chases the ball out of uh, uh, defence. His work has got to lift in that area. Big tick to Sloan. Um, fight tooth and nail for every ball. And, and just going on with that about... Um, uh, uh, the Brownlow medalist. Since when can you put your hand into someone's face and push off or fend off and still be allowed to play on? I thought oh, the no. minute you contacted the face, uh, it's holding the ball or too high. Yeah, you're right. They probably got the umpires weren't too bad. I yeah. mean, at the end of the day, 48 points. They got absolutely smoked. 16, 12, 108. That's Richmond, 8, 12, 60, a margin of 48 points. It is our match review for the Barrow Hotel Groups. We'll have some player interviews. We'll sit here, have your say, 8 2 3 Daniel. Hi, guys. Uh, I just wanted to put my spin on it all. Everyone's been really negative. But, you know, I've been a Crow supporter for 30-odd years, and 
I say you, you win together, you lose together. And uh, everyone's getting stuck into individuals today, but uh, Jenkins and whatever else. But no one was chasing out of that forward line. Everyone had a bad day. It was just one of those days. And if you look at the grand finals in recent times, they're won by runners and ball carriers because when the nerves are on, the pressure's there. Um, you know, running the ball rather than kicking it when the skills drop a little bit is, is a big plus, in my opinion. And, and that's one area the Crows have probably been a little bit down. They've got a lot of scrag in the middle, but I think that's one an aim for us in the next couple of years. Get some ball carriers in there. Apart from McKay, we, we just don't have those link-up runners, and he was in our defences today. Um, that's just one area I think we need to concentrate on, but no point getting stuck into anyone. Uh, everyone had an off day today, from my opinion. No, yeah. well said, Dan. And maybe you go back to selection. Andy Otten, a lot of people were happy for him to be in. I most certainly did. Big um, cumbersome up forward, weren't we they? We were cumbersome up forward. Yeah. You had Miller, who was stiff not to be there. But, Bix, you go back to B. Smith, who can run the lines. Yep. They can still improve to that group. One of the fastest and best inside 50 chases was Mitchie McGovern. He bloody did a hammy. But they're not worth it. He, he, he couldn't even get the starting block. Having yeah. said that, doesn't make up for eight goals, no, does it? it? Doesn't. No. no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah, Greenwood. Thanks, Daniel. Greenwood looked really tired. Yeah, well. he, he was... had seven in the first quarter, ended up with 13 for the game. I've so never seen Dougie. Six touches. Every time he gets the ball, Smash. bang, bang. And Dougie's really quick to get Smash. rid of it. No, they smashed him all the time. Okay, eight double two three double O double O. Have you say forty eight points? Wow! It's Tiger time. It's Tiger Town, and I feel for all those Crow supporters who got to get in their heavy Lamar and head back to Adelaide. I feel for Mark Bickley to pass the baton. <laughs> all the pressure has been on him for years and years and years yeah. to get the chance. I'll tell you who you feel for. It's the players you feel for. They give their heart and soul to this to get to this mm. day to have a crack at it. And now, once again. The isolation they would feel. They're a million miles away from winning a premiership. They've got to go all the way through next year, winning and winning and winning, just to get the opportunity again. So they would feel desolate. G'day, Troy. How are you? G'day, guys. Uh, yeah, disappointed. Uh, number one, I would like to say um, congratulations to the Tigers. And also, I thought the umpiring today was exceptional. They missed a couple, but, gee, I thought it was really good. A few of us were commenting on that. But another thing I'd like to say is, Roe, you, you called it earlier in the year. The Crows um, have won a few games where... Um, what do you call it, structure has beaten talent. I've heard you say that a few times. And you're absolutely bang on because today in grand finals, you can be as champagne football as you want, but the Tigers look like Neil Baum was coaching them today. They played like a 70s VFL side, that they just moved it forward at all costs and got physical and beat a side that's just used to winning very easily. It's a bit like the Bulldogs' manic pressure last yeah, was, year. Yeah, no Almost, wasn't it? They, they replicated yeah, thanks, that. Troy. Absolutely. And that's what wins grand finals to me. That that just it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be precise. It's just got to move it forward, and 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 that's just what it looked like. They look like a very old school uh, VFL team to me from the 1970s, except without a bit of biffo. But yeah, Crows just look like they weren't given the opportunity to play the champagne footy that they get at home. That's yeah. all. And and Troy, there would be a ball or a passenger play or a contest where it's going to be the Crows. They're going to win it. Did yeah, it come exactly. two or three or four tacklers, one chase one, and they turn a, a, a zero out of a hundred win mm. to a win on their favour? The ball just bounced their way because they made their own luck. Yeah, they did. They and, were unbelievable. And when it's your Thanks, day, Troy. it's your day. A couple of quick kicks forward went straight to Richmond. A couple of bounces. There was one where Riley Knight was over the back. Charlie Cameron kicked it to him. I don't know whether it didn't sit up or he didn't. It sort of bounced on its end, and all of a sudden. If that sits up, he picks up, walks in an open goal, kicks yeah. a goal, and Adelaide are away. Instead, it doesn't. Richmond tackle him, and, and Adelaide miss an opportunity. What you're saying, if butts and candy nuts? That's exactly there were right. too many if butts and candy nuts yep. for Adelaide. And, and winners, are, winners and losers can please themselves. You there, Kerry? Rowie, Vic, how are we all? Yeah. Flat as a bush, bloody biscuit, Kerry. <laughs> hey, look, I've probably had too many Moscatoes, but that's okay. We <laughs> lost. I'm disappointed. But we fly as one, we lose as one. I'm not going to ring up and diss any player. Mm. But hey, congratulations to Richard. Right? Yep. Good girl, Kerry. Good call. Better person than me. Just looking at Dustin Martin. He is the king of this town tonight. Oh, He's well, the, the big... only player ever to have won a Brownlow medal, the Norm Smith medal and a premiership in the one year. He's standing on the, the sort of picketing of the fence with the Premiership Cup in front of the adoring crowd. It is absolutely remarkable. And just looking at Justin Lepich, who last year was sacked as the coach of Brisbane, is now a Premiership oh. uh, assistant coach. It's I quite saw um, Trent Cotchin's wife go up to Trent and give him a big hug as he would with the two young kids. But remember, she 
came out and stuck up for yeah, Cons yeah, when he got bashed from on, everyone. So how about leaving my leave my husband alone? Well, he's a crack. He's had the last laugh. Any Cotch yeah. was outstanding. Led from the front. Loved his speech too. How you going, Gregory? Good guys, yourself. Three three observations. One, wherever new barn goes, success follows. Yes. Two, the Crows will have to be in the Bryce Gibbs with everything that they possibly can get if they need enough hard ass on ball. Yep. And the other thing is they now appear to be in some things, their, their structure, people are saying now, are they going back to the deal Craig thing where they become Crowbots? Yeah, we might... You know, it. when it breaks down, it breaks down and it breaks down bad. Just yeah, hang on there, we'll, we'll come back to you. But let's get down to the rooms because Daniel Tarley has uh, agreed to give us a bit of time. Must be really tough. Daniel, thanks for your time. None of us saw this coming, but their pressure was enormous. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to speak, to be honest. I'm, uh, I'm just really numb. So, um, yeah, credit to Richmond. They were they were too good today and, um, you know, beat us up around the ball. And um, I thought their back line was super. Their forwards were really dangerous and, um, yeah, just beat us up all around the ground. So... Um, yeah, it's just really numb here, disappointing feeling, and um, yeah, credit to Richmond, they were too good. Daniel, um, no doubt you're expecting their manic pressure, a bit like the Bulldogs last year, but did they surprise you? I've never seen so many Crow players get caught, and not by one player, but by two or three. Yeah, I, th- I thought we just didn't adapt to the game, you know, we, we overhandballed and um, we weren't clean, and you know, we just put ourselves under pressure, and, and as you said, they were at us, and and just at us, and uh, we didn't play the right way. We didn't kick it forward, and um, you know we've beaten up in in the air. You know their their backs beat our forwards, and their forwards beat our backs. So um, yeah, it's just disappointing feeling and, and a shocking day to have that bad a game, I suppose. Yeah, Daniel, we feel for you, mate. Um, it looked like in the second half when you were trying to get back into it, you're trying to do the right thing and not kick long down the line. You were trying to take it on, but every time you you tried to be bold with your ball movement, it just didn't work out for you. No, that's right. Not much work for us today, and um, not many guys had good days. So it's just, uh, it's just, I don't know. It's a feeling you can't even describe how, yeah. how numb you are right now after losing your grand final. So Daniel, um, yeah. What was what was the thought at halftime? It's only nine points, but they got a real run on. I think four goals to nothing in that second term, but it's only a kick and a half. What were you thinking when you went in halftime? Uh, halftime, we were still really confident. You know, we felt really good and. Um, we hadn't played our best footy, but we were only nine points down. So, um, you know, I think it was that third quarter where they were just at us and, you know, we let those two or three goals, you know, happen early and from there it was always going to be hard. So um, we didn't really lose belief till probably, you know, almost halfway through that last quarter. But by then it's, it's too late when, you know, that you've got a home crowd behind a team that's just surging. So, um, yeah, it, it wasn't our day. Yeah, tough tales. And thanks for taking our call. The listeners want to hear from you. Um... I thought you two All-Australians, from the first to the last bounce, Laity and Matt Crouch were positives, absolute positives. Yeah, and, uh, and both those guys really stood out. Um, you know, Matty's done it all year for us, and, and Laity gave everything off that half-back. So, um, yeah, they played their role. But, um, you know, as you know, when you, when you don't have 20 guys doing yeah. it, um, you're never going to get over the line. So, um, yeah, as I said, too good at Richmond, and um, we'll, we'll, you know, use this and and hurt and um, try and get back here next year. Did the occasion get to some of the boys, Daniel? It was just unlike Crows today. I know the pressure of a grand final, the enormous pressure of the weight of the world, but do you reckon the occasion got to some of the lads? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, we were just beaten by a better team and it just wasn't our day. You know, they were they were hungrier, um, got more numbers to the ball, probably outworked us, which has, yeah. you know, been a strength of ours all year. And um, that pressure that we pride ourselves on, we didn't bring, so... Um, nah, Richmond are too good and I don't think it was the occasion, it's just um, outplayed. Has uh, Pikey addressed the team yet, at all? He has, um, yeah, just, what do you say, you know, um, you just work all year and, and to get done on that last day is just really hard, so um, we've got to use this as motivation and it's just hard now to even contemplate being here, but um, yeah, we'll move forward and... Um, just got to try and get back in and do it again. Uh, uh, and last one, Charles, and again, thank you. Do you think your game style does stand up to manic pressure? Yeah, I do. Um, I just didn't think, you know, we played the right way today. You know, we okay. we, you know, we started really well. We just, you know, then over-handballed it and overused the ball a bit and 
Um, we knew they were going to bring that pressure, but it was just disappointing that we weren't able to, you know, adapt and absorb that pressure, you know, when they come at us halfway through the second. So, um, yeah, as I said, just a real numb feeling, and the boys are, you know, shattered, as you can imagine. They, they played almost like the Bulldogs last year, Daniel. The pressure, was oh, we could see it from here. I mean, it was just it was gang tackling, and it looked like they had three or four extra men on the ground at times. Yeah, and, you know, it starts at the contest, and, and when you can win the ball and, and put it in your front half in a grand final and, and then bring enormous pressure like they did, it's just it's really hard to move the ball. So um, I think we got, I would imagine we got smashed around the contested possession. and um, That and work rate, you know, underpins any game, and, and when you lose it so badly, you're never going to win. So, um, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Tiles, thanks for taking our call, mate. We appreciate it. You've done it on many occasions. And, Bob, half of us and all the fans that... that They've enjoyed all the work throughout the year. I know it's it's a really cold comfort right now, but you'll recover from this and you'll uh, hopefully move on to get another crack at it. Yeah, thanks. I just want to say thanks to all the fans for supporting us. I know everyone's hurt now, but um, you know we've, we've given our everything. everything. She wasn't good enough, but um, you know we'll be back. And I've been through a lot worse than this, so um, yeah, we'll be back. Good stuff. Hold well on, mate. Thank you. Yeah, and Charlie Charlie down the rooms. He hear the hurt in his oh. voice, and he basically admitted we were. Just beat by better side. Yeah, smashed. Sma- smashed around the contest. Contested possessions, uh, minus 30, 140 to Minus 30? Minus, minus oh, 30. Dear. Now, it was even at, it was even at half time. So the second half, mm. they lost by 30. Absolutely smashed. Just seeing the Richmond players now, they've just gone off the oval. They're in the room. They're in the room. Put the cup in the middle and put, sing the song. Put the cup in the middle. I'll tell you what. Is there a more pleasurable thing to do as a footballer? I'm not sure. We'll I'll go down there. Well, yeah, no, I, I think, think we've got to, out of respect, I think you've got to oh, hear absolutely. this song. Absolutely. It's a magic moment. I think we should have respected them today. They were awesome. awesome. They're Weird. getting all the players in. the still players coming off the ground. They're trying to get everyone together. They're going to sit at Trent Cotchin. The putting, in the middle. They're, oh, no, they're getting all the, the VFL players in as well. So all of club in the giant, giant circle with the cup sitting in the middle. Damien Hardwick, just it's an amazing turnaround. Well done to him too. Dimmer, Coach of the Year. There'll, there'll be a lot written about that. I spoke to Caro in the media room, and I think the story out of the room is Damien Hardwick. Some self-reflection, got told to change. He was out the door this time last year. Out the door! Now, nah, bold move by the... the <laughs> and now he's a Premiership coach! And, and I wonder what, whether this might be the start of... The, you know, we've already looked at Nathan Buckley, who's been reappointed, when many said, you know, maybe they should go. So maybe the... What Richmond have done, maybe have set a template and said, you know what, instead of just chucking blokes out, let's... Yeah. What about them. Jack Graham and Townsend? Played a handful of games mm. between them. Both yeah. premierships. Unbelievable. Yeah. And um, both played pretty well. Just having a look, Peggy O'Neill, Brendan Gale, the board, everybody's in the huddle. Very shortly, we'll get it to sing. I think that uh, it's being led here a bit by Trent Cotchin. He wants everybody in there. Yeah, He's saying, right. hang on, yeah, hang on, every, hang on. In. Until everybody is here, we're not oh, seeing the song. We're seeing Ivan Marich. Yeah, they're waiting for Ivan. Ivan was the... the la- he's, he's got rid of that... Um, hang on, here, let's go downstairs. Okay. Here it is. Fantastic. Oh, I've never been sung with such gusto. Oh. All of club involved, and what a sight for <laughs> Richmond fans. 32 years, heartbreak, finishing ninth, losing finals, you name it, it's happened to them. Try 37. 37, sorry. 1980. 1980, there you go. So many t- wondered whether this day would come. Well, there'll be a few rejoicing. Let's well, go to Greg. How are you? I'm still here, yeah. So I said there were three observations. One, that everywhere Neil Baum goes, success yeah. seems to follow. Yep, yep. Um, the Crows will probably be into Bryce Gibbs. They need that hardness at that centre square. And and I would imagine, um, you know, it, it seems when their structure breaks down, people are saying again now they've, they've become a bit like Neil Craig, but, you know, when they called him Crowbot. So when that structure breaks, the, the whole bow breaks. Yeah, well, thanks for that, Greg. It, oh, look, there's always reflection and critical reflection after a, a grand final loss. But once again, you've got to be careful not to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Did lots and lots of really good stuff this year. To uh, show big sheer talent, 
Doesn't you always need more win, than does that. it? You need more. They, there they, was a saying, raw talent is not enough. They raw talent hungry, is bro. not enough. Mm. And it never was. Daryl, how are you? Ah, uh, flat as a bloody bush, Vic Biscuit, fellas. Yeah, um, I rang you this morning and I said that I had 40 grand on the crows. <gasps> so, um, Did I, you lay off any? Uh, no, I ended up losing a lot. So oh, Daryl. I'd, I'd picked up... I'd won, I'd won 103,000 over, over the, the length of the AFL season. So I, so I blew 40 today. But I was just, responsibly? I, I was just, you know, that confident the Crows were going to get up. But just a couple things. Um, the field kicking today by a couple players was off. Um, and when they tried to get a handball out, just Richmond would just always get that hand in and yep. slightly, you know, smother the ball. And the other one is J- uh, Josh Jenkins. It just seems that if the ball gets a metre away from him, well, he's done his job and he doesn't chase. Oh, look, I'm, yeah. I'm more critical of his work in the air. When the ball comes in and there's two players, 1v2, just has to... Look, I know he, he's working on it, and I know it's tough because they, they bodied him out of the road and that Rance marker, but that's his job, to bring the ball to ground, to keep the ball alive, and there was times when he was just moved a little bit easy today. Look, I love Josh. Um, many don't, but I've been a big supporter of his, and unfortunately no, didn't there. have a great game today. Daryl, we say gamble responsibly. Mm. Clearly putting 40 grand on the Crows today, you didn't gamble responsibly. No, he won 100 for the year on Adelaide. Match Barrow yeah. Hotel. We're wow. going to take a break uh, if you just joined us. It's not a great day for Adelaide. No. Tigers, while well, they're celebrating, still are. They will all night. They will for a week. All summer, 16-12-108. Disappointing Adelaide Crows, 8-12-60. It was a margin of 48 points.